Yo, what is up, boy? It's your boy. Back with another one. Back with some UFC fights tonight. Um, I've been watching uh, uh, Octagon and um, LFA right now. So, we're watching LFA right now. I'm watching like the LFA main win right now. I mean, the uh, Octagon fights so weren't, weren't that terrible, to be honest. <coughs> I might need to take some fucking cough syrup or something. Yeah, we're here early. Let's go. I hope you guys are having a fucking beautiful day today. Be good. We're gonna be here till like midnight. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Yeah, I gotta turn my TV off in a bit. I'm just watching like some LFA. I want to see the LFA main win right now. I got a Neto in like a parlay, long chart parlay. So I need him to win this one. Um, so let's see if he can do it. I mean, the under one and a half uh, didn't cash in the Oliveira fight. Honestly, the under one and a half was gonna cash. But uh, the guy got a head kick knockout in like third round. I didn't watch the fight, but I saw the results. Yo, let's go, let's go, Sean in the house. Let's go, Sean in the house. Uh, Miss Up MMA in the house. Let's go, Miss Up. Um, let's go, man. Let's freaking go, man. I'm excited. I'm excited for today, man. I'm excited for tonight. Ernesto said it. What's up? Let's go, Ernesto. We got Mario Barri. Is it 420 in here? Let's go for it. Are you, are you going to be smoking it up? Watching fights uh, long? Let's go, man. Dark Surf said, uh, what's up, pick? I'm fucking chilling, bro. I'm doing great right now. <laughs> so got, uh, still got some cough, like dry cough and shit. I got, I'm going to. Probably take some um, medication like in, in in a bit just to fucking feel better, but uh, it's not as bad as it was yesterday though. Yeah, it's it's going great, bro. I'm fucking doing great today. Let's go. Uh, Nate Brown in the house. Let's go, Nate Brown. Let's go, Nate Brown. He said, "I'm not too invested on this card. Decided to put another two units on Max instead of one unit on the Chepe." And uh, you put one, yeah, one. Who's Chepe fighting? Isn't he fighting? I can't remember who's fighting, but um. Uh, yeah, these Chepe is a fucking dog, man. Chepe is gonna fight for your money. Chepe always fights for your money. That's the one thing I like about Chepe. Like uh, he was losing that first round to Jenkins. I remember that one. Like even though I was on Jenkins' side, but Jenk like Jenkins. I mean, he he was trying to uh, yeah he was taking him down in the second round. So like I like the fight actually from Chepe. And he fought some good guys, man. He fought Brito on uh, LFA. I think he fought Brito on LFA. And um, are you guys watching? Any of you guys watching LFA right now? Like um, Octagon's on right now too. Octagon the main win and the LFA main win's on right now. I don't really know what's going on with the Octagon main one. I only watched the co-main one. I only wanted needed a uh, puppet, puppet to get it done. He got it done. So I think the LF, the Octagon main one probably gonna go the distance. So I'm not really excited to watch that one. Is it five rounds? I think it's five rounds, right? Maybe three rounds. Yeah, I'm excited for the card, man. We got Muhammad Usman, bro. I guys, I changed my pick from. Uh, so let's go over the picks again. So. I changed my pick to uh, Daria. Like, I don't know. Rendon, like, I, I watched a couple of fights back this morning, and Rendon, like, I don't know. Like, she doesn't get the takedowns. He's probably going to be cooked on the feet. But I'm worried about Daria's cardio. That's why I'm not putting any uh, money, money on that fight. So, Because I don't want to be betting on that fight at all. But, yeah. Let's we'll see what happens, though. <laughs> Darius. What's good, Darius? He said, um, I'm trying to get a health cat. R R Q. Let's go, man. I hope you make a bag today. Let's go. I'm excited. Let's all, let's all hope we make money today at UFC. I don't have that much invested on this card, but uh, let's see if we can do it. And Nate Brown said uh, he fights uh, Morgan Shar. Yeah, yeah. Morgan Shar. Yeah, like uh, he's, he's a good striker, like good good kicking game. But uh, I don't think he's gonna get a uh, uh, Chappie out of there like he did uh, with that absolute fucking bump. Yanis Gamori. Right? He fought Yanis Gamori, and he folded him with the body kick in the in the first round. So. Yeah, I'm excited for that car. I'm excited for that fight. Uh, I remember that Trevor Peak fight. I had a bet on Trevor Peak and Chepe fucking whooped him for three rounds. It was a fun fight, but Chepe is like really, um, he's really getting better right now. Damn, my fucking face is getting all fucking purple right now. Give me a second, guys. I got fucking messes. Yeah, the main ones right now. I just need net. Oh, I'm watching fucking. I'm watching the Octagon main event for some reason. Okay. Come on. Let's see what's happening here. The fight already happened? Okay, it's, it's about to... It's The main one's about to come on now. In LFA. I gotta turn my fucking TV off. I was watching... I usually watch... Like, whenever I'm watching fights at home, I usually just watch on my TV. Um, Because it's much better watching with the sound system. But when I'm streaming, like, I gotta watch it on my PC... Like, on my monitor... But uh, yeah, the Frenchy, uh, uh, Morgan Charrier. I know he like he's good record isn't that pretty, but he's a good striker though. But I think Chepe can mix in the grappling in that one. I really hope he mixes in the grappling. I don't want like even though he's not he's not a bad striker, he's got a good chin on him. 
But uh, it would favor him to like mix in the grappling and now and maybe just take him take him down like from the start, like don't play around on the feet. But uh, yes, Chappie's got some power too. Like Darkstar, let's go Darkstar in the house. Said uh, now I got to give myself a break until this card has been a nonstop fight for a minute. Yeah, I like I was I, I took a little nap. Just uh, I was up. <laughs> yeah, I was up last night. Um, we we're trying to watch Ryzen, bro. I literally bought the pay per view and it wasn't working. So like they still haven't refunded me for that yet. But uh, Ryzen fights, other than the main win, I mean, all the fights are pretty horrible in Ryzen. But let's go over the picks, guys, for uh, for uh, for the card. I mean, the picks that I made for this card. I'm not, like, crazy excited on any any fighter. That's why I picked the Log Tavika as a, as a dog. Because I know Puello's going to go out there and fight for money. But uh, he's going to have to close the distance, so I do want him closing the distance in that one. But uh, let's see what happens. Uh, let's, pull up the, let's pull up the tap all the years so we can see. I also got to set up the ESPN Plus stats, right? Live stats. You'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's talk about like the bets that I like on this card. I, the only pick flip that I did was uh, from Renan. Even though she's undefeated, like I just hate her striking so much, which is why I picked Widow over her. Like, but. I don't know. I'm not betting uh, Daria like minus. Uh, yeah, you know, I've seen the line flip, bro. Like, I don't like, I already bet on uh, Billy Cortillo at plus money. Like, bro, I wish that I, I, I should have waited, right? I should have waited until, like, I, I seen the line flipping, but I should have waited. One second, guys. Yeah, I should have waited for the line to flip completely. Um, Let's go, TG. Let's TG in the house. Let's go, TG. Uh, Daria said, um, is that LFA going on? I need a pick for my parlay. The LFA is already done. It's main win right now. I think Nito is gonna, probably going to get a TKO, TKO. And um, like in, in the cold main win, I mean, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't a trouble fight. <coughs> this guy won. The favorite was, this dude was like minus 700. You can't really play that. I mean, you probably can parlay it, but minus 700 is just crazy. But uh, let's go over the picks for this week. Uh, for this, for, Let's go over the picks out. Again, okay. yo, we got fight round in the house. Let's get fight round. Are you excited for the fights tonight, bro? I can't fucking wait for it. I'm getting, I wasn't that, as excited like throughout the week, but I'm getting excited now. I can't wait for it. Miss upside on nothing crazy. Uh, uh, I don't have like crazy action on this card, but I got a couple of units on this card. Billy, uh, yeah, I think Billy's gonna win, bro, but I'm worried about him getting caught early. Like, other than that, like, I don't think Jalot throws enough volume where he's gonna be stealing the rounds round after round. But um, I hope he gets it done. Pascal said, um, I hope Billy Cortillo isn't washed. He's getting up there. Yeah, he's 35 years old. You're right. I don't know. I don't think he's washed. Though, right? Like, I still throw a ton of volume, which is the only reason why I'm favoring here, because he throws a ton of volume. He's going to fight for money. Like, the law is going to have to put him away early. He's going to have to wrestle nonstop, in my opinion. Here we go, guys. Main event time now, LFA. Let's see how this one goes. It's probably going to end early, though. I'm just going to watch it on the side, I guess, for LFA. Let's go over the pick. So the only pick flip that I did was uh, from Rendon. Um, even though, like, I'm not picking um, this girl. We'll go over the pick. So Muhammad Usman taking on Mick Parkins. I'm leaning towards uh, Mick Parkins because of striking. But I'm not. Uh, I like the overs. I like the overs a lot. I got the over one and a half. I got the over two and a half in a parlay. So I like the overs in this one. I think the overs are super live in this one. And, uh. Yeah, I, I think either way, like, it's going to be a really sloppy fight either way. Um, I'm not confident in either one of these guys, but uh, Mick Perkins, just, as long as he doesn't get taken on, I think he's probably going to be able to strike him on the feet. But, um, yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, Muhammad Usman can definitely win this fight. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of money coming in to Muhammad Usman on this fight. So he can definitely win this fight. I wouldn't be shocked if he gets it done here, uh, probably by, like, 29, 28 decision or something. I don't think he's finishing Perkins. Perkins has a chin on him. But you never know. You never know. It's a heavy fight. Anything can happen. But I'm hoping it goes over because I need the overs in this one. I am not. I don't have money on either side on, on this one. But I'm going to pick Perkins by decision. But I, I don't really care who wins this one. It's not really like a fight that I really care much about. But if you guys are having Muhammad Usman on the plus money, I, I mean, I hope he comes through for you guys. I really do. But, um, yeah, this is a close fight. I mean, 
Uh, Perkins trains with uh, uh, Tom Aspinall, but he's not anywhere near that level of Tom Aspinall. But he's a good enough striker where he's like probably more t- tied with the punches, more technical. Cardio, I don't know who the cardio favors. I mean, maybe Muhammad Usman, if you can wrestle nonstop, probably going to favor him. Yeah, both of their last fights were close. I mean, Mike Parkins, like, some people think he lost the fight to Kyle Machado. He got outstruck in that one, but Kyle Machado, like, his cardio was holding up. Mama, this one's going to have to wrestle. I, I really hope your daddy wrestles so I can, we can hit the overs in this one. Uh, Fireworm said, yeah, we got a, a lot of close fights. Yeah, exactly, bro. It's going to be fun, fun fight, fight card to watch, though, either way. MSF said AJ Durable, though, he's never been finished. Yeah, I think this might be a time when he gets finished. Because Edmund Sabajin, like, when he's going out there getting it done, it's usually knocking people out. But, uh, I mean, he's this dude is tough, though. AJ is tough, though. Um, MSF said, Adario by TKO, KO, or decision. Mohamed is win by decision. Edmund by decision. I wouldn't really put Edmund in parlays, personally. But, I mean, it's, you're probably getting some good odds on that, right? Julian Rosa by submission or decision. I don't know. I don't know about Julian Rosa. Like, if his chin holds up this time, he's probably going to get it done. But let's, look, we're going to talk about that one in a minute. Um, all right. So I'm going to pick Barkins by decision, but I'm, I just need the overs in this one. I just hope the overs hit it. So next fight, Igor Severino taking on Andre Lima. I mean, th- these fight, this fight was basically even money last week. Minus 110 on each side. And I was thinking about maybe betting Andre Lima, maybe like a half unit or something, like, because I don't. Wouldn't put him that much money on a guy that's making his debut, but uh, he's a guy that's gonna be waiting patiently with for his for his uh, opportunities like to land punches. He's gonna throw. He's got way better kicking game, way better leg kicks. Severino's like more aggressive, which I do like. Severino's like really aggressive. He's he's a, he's a guy that's gonna go out there and like look for a finish early. But um, either way, like I think it's gonna be a really fun fight. I don't have any money on this fight to be honest with you guys. Like. Not even a single dollar, not even any parlays, long shot parlays or anything. Like, I was thinking about maybe taking the over one and a half. And the long shot parlay, I just couldn't do it because both these guys are really untested, like, at this level. And uh, Igor, like, scares me, man. <laughs> Igor does scare me. This dude, like, he, like, he gets kind of impatient out there. Like, I could see uh, Lima catching him with a punch when uh, Igor's re- getting really aggressive out there. Either way, I just hope it's a fun fight. I think we're going to find out a lot about both of these guys in this fight. And, um, like we're gonna find out who the real deal is in this one. Um, I'm gonna pick. Uh, I was leaning towards knockout maybe during the week, but I'm gonna pick Lima by this season. I think I think Severino is really tough, but um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really crazy confident in this one, but I think Lima is like the better technical striker, has better good enough take on defense. I don't see him getting taken on here. Severino is like the guy that's gonna. Is he kind of far fights like Charles Oliveira over there? Obviously, he's not to that level, anywhere near close to that level. But he fight is like super aggressive. He's like goes balls to the wall right from the start. So I think Lima can uh, can stay safe on the outside and just just kick his legs and score points and maybe maybe get a late finish, maybe third on finish or like second on finish. But I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna say decision because I don't really have. I don't have a, really have a good read on this one. All right, guys. So. Either way, like, if you guys are taking Igor plus money, I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate the plus money on Igor, but might as well take him inside the distance, right? What's Igor inside the distance? I'm just curious now. Igor inside the distance is um, plus 255. Damn. It's going to be tough to finish down to Lima, though, but... What's... uh Okay, what what about inside the distance, no action? Plus 145 for Igor the Silva. Inside the distance, no action. But he was getting rocked by Janata so well in Dino White Tender Series. You, ne- you never know. You never know anything can happen this one. But uh, I'm going to I'm gonna say Lima probably by uh, maybe KO or like either KO or this isn't that. That's what I think is going to happen. All right, guys. Next fight we're going to be talking about is going to be uh, the fight that I flip flipped on. So I was leaning towards Monster and Don. Then I went back and watched more fights of hers. And I think she lost this fight. This was a robbery. I mean, this cloudy girl is whooping her. Like, and, um, what I do, the reason why I was picking Rendon, because he will mix in some takedowns. She's tough enough. She's not, I don't know. She's probably going to, I don't I know. I know a lot of people think she's probably going to get knocked out here. I don't know. She's really tough. She's Mexican. She has a good chin on her. I could see Daria landing enough damage on the feet. She's way better striker. I mean, Rendon has horrible striking. She strikes like a high school, high schooler, like when high schoolers are, high schoolers out there fighting in high school. I don't like. I don't have any money on this one, to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm not really confident on this one, but 
Overs, I don't like the overs either because I, I could see Daria like getting a knock out here. Like, see, land if this C keeps him on the feet, he's probably gonna knock her out. I like, I'm picking this isn't for Daria because I do think Renan is tough enough. I don't really, I wouldn't really advise you guys to bet on this fight. They're like, there's very better spots than betting on this one. Even the overs are like, it probably goes over. Like, I'm picking this isn't for Daria now. Like, I was leaning towards, um, I was leaning towards uh, Rendon at first, but. I don't think even if he gets a takedown, he's not really a finisher, race. Right? He's not really like a submission grappler or like a, has ground and pound or anything. He just kind of holds you down. Maybe he can do that. Maybe he can do that, but I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be able to. He's gonna be able to do that in here. Uh, he just has such a dumbass. Didn't even uh, shoot when he was rocked. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy is just he's the striker, right? He's never really gonna shoot. I'm not. I'm, let's just forget about Kennedy. This Kennedy is never our, my friend. The LFA main one, main one starting right now. I want to see how this one goes. Come on, Neto, get it done early. But yeah, um, I'm I'm gonna lean towards um Daria now by the season, but she can definitely get a knockout there. I really hope she gets a knockout. We don't need Rindan is like so boring to watch. Like I'm not really a fan of her fighting style. Like she's just just, just uh, absolute decisionator. I mean, most women's MMA fighters are decisionators, but um, she just has no ground and pound, no summation grappling. Like she's got like three split decisions in her last five three fights. Like. This one was a clear robbery. Brittany Cloudy actually won the fight. If you go watch the fight back, even the commentators were saying how plain and robbery, how plain and of a robbery that was. Like that was a clear robbery for um Cloudy definitely won that fight. She's piecing her up on the feet. Cloudy's like an absolute fucking bum can. And if she can piece her up, I mean I think Daria can like oh strike her, maybe knock her out late. Maybe put enough damage on her where she can able to, maybe get a Tico stop it, maybe. But um I'm gonna pick Daria by this season. I think she can get it done here. Next fight we're going to be talking about is going to be uh, Steven Wynn taking on Journal Aaron. Now I've seen a lot of people in Journal Aaron's in this fight. I mean, they might be right. I mean, because Steven Wynn hasn't fought the crazy competition. I mean, Journal, you can say the same thing about Journal Aaron's. William Gamiz, I mean, uh, William Gamiz absolutely gassed out in the third round. I mean, th I think Journal was having success in the third round with, uh, with the grappling. He was like close to locking the submission, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. But, um, I'm gonna. I'm leaning towards Steven Win here. I got him a couple of parlays. I think he's gonna cash as a as a parlay leg. Um, I'm I'm pretty confident in Steven Win. I think he's a way better striker. Throws way more volume. I mean, Jarno Aaron's only thrown like 50 significant strikes in his last two fights. Like, like just. I mean, he knocked out Sungu Choi, right? Sungu Choi doesn't really have the best chin, to be honest. Like, we, I don't think just uh, he has the best chin, bro. Let me pop out this chat so I can see you guys here. One second. I want to see this how this LFA main one goes. We still got like 30 minutes, right? Yeah, we still got like 30 minutes to go, like 20 minutes to go. I mean, but um, all right. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I know a lot of people are on uh, Stephen uh, uh, Aaron's, not Stephen Aaron's. I mean, uh, Jarno Aaron's. But um, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can like maybe you can uh, do enough on the feed. Like he's gonna have to grapple here. Like if he grapples, maybe he can do enough. But he just doesn't do enough out there. Like this is this is his fight. I mean, if he if he loses this, it's gonna be cut. Like, he loses this one, he's going to be out of the UFC. I mean, for sure, I think. Uh, Lucas said, uh, Benoit Santin will definitely be back. Yeah, I think he will be back 100%, bro. I, I do agree with that. I mean, it's Poria losing to Poria, like, doesn't really take your stock down at all. Um, Mustaf said, um, he had a staph infection and still almost choked out Dustin. Yeah, like, he was grappling him early, right? I think Dustin was trying to tire him out. He knew that he was going to gas out eventually. Neto, this guy's landed some good grounded punch shots. Neto's, Neto's getting pieced up right now. Neto, what's the hell is Neto doing right now? Holy shit. Darius, what's going on with you, man? Who are you calling a bozo? You gotta fucking... Just someone throw him out of here. This dude's always out here fucking hating. Talking shit, being negative. Yeah, thanks for... Thanks, Scott, Scott, Scott. Let's go, Scott, Scott, Scott. Good to see you in here in the chat, brother. Um... Probably, uh, female, uh, Scott said that uh, female fighters all get decisions, but um, then can't decide what what they want for dinner. <laughs> this is a fucking good one. Uh, I miss up said, why the fuck the fights on so fucking late? Yeah, I was hoping it'd be like 4 p 4 p.m. In, in the afternoon. I actually like when fights are in the 4 p.m. Um, okay, you're getting fucking banned. That's it for you, Darius. You can make another account. You can be back with another account. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Steven Wynn here. I mean, I was like maybe leaning third on TKO, but I think Jordan Owens is fucking tough, man. Like, um, he's never been knocked out, right? And I don't think he's gonna get subbed here. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe uh, Steven Wynn can put enough damage out there. Like, I know he's gonna be 
he's going to be out striking him for sure. I'm pretty confident that he's going to be out striking him. Jordan O'Hearn does have some power early, so Stephen Wynn's going to have to be careful early. As long as he doesn't get clipped early, I think um, Stephen will do enough to get it done. Uh, probably by decision. I'm leaning toward decision now, but I was leaning toward third round TKO. I don't. I wouldn't mind like third round decision or third round or decision. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, but I think the money line is a side here. I mean, money line is honestly not bad at all on this one. Money line for uh, Stephen Wayne is like minus 157. So it's come down now. I actually parlayed him back when he's like minus 200 or some shit like that. So Stephen, like, there's a lot of money coming in Jarno Aarons because I think people are expecting him to go out there and fight one of his best fights out there. I mean, Stephen Wayne has been knocked out. So, like, it's not out of the possibility that uh, he might get clipped and put away here. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is debut too, right? I mean, Jarno Aarons has been fighting in the UFC. So. I just can't get that picture in my head of him losing to Sungo Choi. I mean, getting grappled by Sungo Choi, who's not really like known for his grappling skills. But yeah, um, um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm gonna go Stephen Win here by this season. It's gonna be it's gonna be the pick in this one. I I think we're gonna see a lot of this season. I mean, Jamal Johns taking on Cody Gibson. Um, I'm like medium confident that Jamal Johns is gonna win this one. As long as he wrestles, like he's been wrestling, like he was wrestling with Daniel Guerra. Maybe because Daniel Guerra is a wrestler, was trying to wrestle him down, so maybe that's why he's trying to wrestle him. But Cody Gibson does throw a ton of volume, but I don't think it has a lot. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Like he can definitely, he's got some knockout potential. He can knock out, knock people out with the knees, flying knees and stuff. He knocked out a guy on on an Ultimate Fighter with like a flying knee. So I mean, he's got some, he's got some power too, man. If he, if you, maybe you can land some, land like a knee to the body of Mal Johns, but I think Mal Johns gonna be on him. I think he's gonna be like, I think he's gonna be stay on him like a fucking pit. Oh my goodness, Neto just got dropped. Holy shit, <laughs> he just got fucking rocked right now in LFA. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get fucking knocked out now. He's getting grounded. <laughs> Holy shit, these LFA guys are so fucking. Sh oh, he's gonna get hammered. Oh, he's done. He's done. It's over. It's over. Holy shit, it's fucking over. He's done. I don't know why the referee hasn't stopped the fight yet. <laughs> He's done, yeah, he's done. Holy shit. Bro, how's the referee hasn't stopped the fight? Yeah, I'm fucking shocked right now. He's oh finally stopped the fight. Holy shit. Nito's fucking shit. But yeah, um, where were we? Um so this guy probably gonna we're probably gonna see this guy in the UFC, the guy that won in the LFA main right now. But um yeah, where were we? We're uh, talking about Mal John. So like, if he grapples here, he's gonna win this fight pretty easy, I think. Um yeah, N Nito, yeah, he's, I don't know what the fuck Nito's doing out there, like, he's just, I don't know, like, he looks super fucking washed up out there. Normally, like, he'll, like, look pretty good on the feed, but he looked, he got knocked out. <laughs> he got knocked out in the first round, too. At least we didn't have to watch that for a fucking five rounds, so. if I mean, if you're going to lose, I might as well lose by first round TKO. But, yeah, um, Misaf said, how many accounts does this, that, does that have bum have? Probably, like, fucking billion right he's probably getting banned all the time on other channels he's probably got a lot of backup accounts um scott said uh get the likes in early boys help the channel out let's go guys we hit 1200 subs today man let's freaking go man big w's for 1200 subscribers i appreciate all you guys coming and hanging out with us for the live streams we got 15 minutes told the net uh, we gotta run through these fights quickly um let's just run through these fights so i'm gonna say my old john's by this isn't i like the over two and a half is honestly not bad um, I like Milo Jones by decision. This is just like plus one eighty five. I don't mind that at all. Milo Jones by decision because I don't think he's gonna. Cody Gibson has been subbed twice before, but Milo Jones not really like a guy that's gonna submission. Is like known for submission dropping. He only has two submissions. Maybe he can uh, get a re naked choke or something. But I mean, money line isn't bad. Money line is sitting for Milo Jones at like minus one forty. So money line is not bad at all. I don't mind the money line for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna pick uh, my old John's by uh, <coughs> decision. Next fight, uh, Ricardo Hamos taking on Julian Rosa. Um, I like Ricardo Hamos by KOTKO here. I think he will get the KOTKO here. Um, I'm feeling good about the KO here. I think uh, he's very live to get a knockout here. Um, Arosa, like he's uh, he's he's got some good grappling, like he's got some sneaky submission game. Uh, has decent striking too, but just the chin is just not there, man. You don't normally see guys getting knocked out like six times at one forty-five. He's been knocked out seven times, six at the UFC level. So seven, six out of seven losses of his uh, in the UFC for him are by KO TKO. So even that, I mean, and the, I think that 
Fernando Perdillo fight, like was uh, kind of an early stoppage. But um, yeah, like Alcacer is not really known for knocking people out. I mean, they had kicked him to shadow run. Like if Alcacer can knock you out, I, I think a guy like Hamos has got very dangerous striking. I think he can put him away. So I'm, I like uh, Hamos here by first round TKO. TKO to minus 250. I, I like the unders. Um, I got money on the unders in this one. I got the um, unders in parlays. Fight doesn't go the distance in parlay. So if this somehow goes the distance, I'm going to be fucked. I'm going to be <laughs> fucked. Absolutely fucked. If this somehow goes the distance. I'm really uh, banking on the fact that both these guys are going to fight. Not going to fight smart out there. Um, I think it's, we're gonna we're gonna be it's gonna be a first round finish either way. Like either if even if Rosa somehow wins this, it's probably gonna be like a, a submission, late submission, second submission, because Hamos has like very negative fight IQ. So um, I'm gonna, but I, I just can't pick a guy that's got chin issues like a Rosa. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss upset. Are you watching OKFC okay, or whatever? Um, you mean Octagon FC? Yeah, I, I was watching it on right now. I didn't watch the main win, but I watched the uh, co-main win. I watched some other fights. Um, yeah, I mean Octagon is not <laughs> is not bad. I like watching Octagon. Uh, Boss guy said I picked Cody. I mean Cody can definitely get it done if he just throws enough volume out there, right? He just gotta stay safe and not get taken out. He's gonna have to defend takedowns. If if Mal John doesn't wrestle, he's trying to knock him out. I think Mal John's gonna lose this fight if he just thinks that he's gonna knock this guy out because Cody Gibson has a chin on him. He's fucking tough. Misab said uh, maybe he's got chin surgery and his chin made out of titanium. Not, I mean, you never know. Sometimes these guys, like, like look at OSB, right? OSB, like, uh, like got knocked out by Felipe Lenz. Felipe Lenz got cut out of the UFC. They, they cut him. The UFC cut him. Even though he's on, like, a 4-5 winning streak, they still cut Felipe Lenz. And Felipe Lenz knocked out. Um, like, you can't make. I mean, I mean, math, I mean, math never makes sense. MMA is fucking crazy. Yo, let's go, Ernie B in the in the house. Let's go. What's going on with you, Ernie B? Let's go, man. I'm excited for some fights. We got 10 minutes to go. So, so um, un, under two and a half. What's under two and a half now? Under two and a half for this one is um, minus 175. Yeah, I, I like the under two and a half here, and um, uh, but like I like the Hamos by KO TKO plus 250. I think it's life for a KO here, as long as he doesn't fucking uh, make dumb fight IQ mistakes out there. Because you know, Hamo's not really a guy that you can really trust to go all in on the money line, like, or something like that. Like, I wouldn't really parlay Hamo's, not parlaying Hamo's here, but I think it's life for a kill here. Really likely. Because normally you don't see guys getting knocked out that many times. I mean, Rosa's in like uh, national territory right now with the getting knocked out. How many times have been knocked out? I'm got, I got Hamo's by KOT kill. Next fight is Trey Ogden taking a curl Hollabo. And uh, this is the, this is the underdog, uh, people's the public's underdog this week. Uh, of the week so maybe I, maybe I have a wrong read here but i don't know like hollabo i'm just not really sold on the guy he's got some power i mean he definitely hits hard but um i feel like trey Ogden has decent striking he's probably the better technical striker hollabo is the more sum dangerous submission grappler but his t wrestling isn't that good like i don't really like his wrestling like uh it took austin herbert i think austin herbert was the one that attempted to take down him and then he got stopped like in a in the scramble but Halibo, like, if he gets, if this hits the ground, I mean, Halibo is life for submission for sure. So if you guys do like Halibo here, I don't really mind the finish only for Halibo. I think Halibo can uh, wrap something up in uh, in a submission, like, in the in the grappling. But um, I, I think Trey Ogden will be able to stay safe on the outside, like, just uh, pump that jab out there, like, but... And Trey Ogden, like, doesn't really take a lot of chances out there. Like, his fight's kind of smart, I guess, on the feet. doesn't really, like, doesn't... We never really... And, you know, you don't normally see Trey Ogden getting clipped, right? Like, I haven't really seen him get clipped lately, so I think uh, I think he's gonna outstrike him on the feet. But I mean, maybe I have a wrong read on this one because a lot of public is betting uh, Halibo, and uh, AJ's lock is Halibo. So I hope he, I hope fucking Halibo, Halibo comes through for you guys. But I need fucking Ogden to win. Like I got not a lot of money, only like uh, I think I I got Ogden in the parlor with the, like half for less than half. It's not something crazy with the Steven win. So let's see if that parlay hits, but. Overs and unders, I don't really like the overs and unders. I mean, if uh, Halibo wins, it's probably going to be inside the distance. The over two and a half, minus 165. It was minus 140 early, so yeah, I think you guys kind of missed the train now, but I think it goes the distance. If Ogden wins, it's going to be decision. So Ogden by decision, minus plus 150. I honestly don't mind that. Ogden by decision, um, plus 250. Like it's, That's honestly not bad at all, in my opinion. I think that's pretty good for... Um, 
yeah, I don't. I think that's pretty good for uh, for him to for him to get it done here. Um, yeah, um, Halibo, like maybe he looks good out there, but I don't know. I'm just not really sold on him to be honest with you guys. He did have a win on Dana White Contender Series, which got overturned because he used uh, I think he used um the R uh, the IV uh to uh, cut weight or something. All right, guys, next fight, we're going to be talking about Luis Puello taking on Fernando Padilla. And, I mean, I'm fucking – I locked up Luis Puello here. Like, I don't really feel good about anyone locking up anyone else because, I, I like, the only reason I locked up Puello is because this dude is a good boxer. Like, he's going to stay in Padilla's face. Either, like, Padilla's going to have to put him away early or something like that, I think. Because Puello, like, Puello can fight, like, Nicole Nelson. Carl Nelson is not really the best striker out there. He just stays in your face, pumps the jab out there. Like, I, I can see Puello doing that, but – there's a reach advantage difference here. So I get why people are, um, why Padilla is the favorite here because he's fought the better competition. And uh, I actually bet on Padilla over Rosa. I had him by, um, by KO, TKO under two and a half, but Paulid with the Cody, Cody Durden. And I actually got some good line on those. That was like plus 1200. 12, I think it's 25 to win, like 325. So it was like, a, I made like three units in that parlay. So Padilla has come through for me. Then he lost me money against Nelson. Honestly, like Nelson is not terrible, so like, um, but he just didn't really shoot, really shoot takedowns. He didn't even shoot takedowns when he was losing on the feet against Kyle Nelson. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be picking uh, Perdilla here, but he's got the reach advantage. He can definitely make something happen, and um, I think Perdilla can stay in his face and like just outstrike him. I mean, maybe three rounds, just maybe land the bigger shots. Perilla is the more technical guy, I think. Uh, he, he's going to need to stay on the outside. If Perilla stays on the outside, I wouldn't be shocked if he gets it done. I mean, he's favored to win here, so I would not be shocked at all if he, if he stays on the outside and gets it done, but I'm going to go with the dog here, plus 150 dog. Um, I think he can make something happen here. But, if you, I mean, I wouldn't mind the points spread better on uh, uh, Perilla, right? I think he goes over one and a half. Over one and a half is like one, one of my best bets. I like the over one and a half here. Yeah, I don't mind the over one and a half here. Um... Yeah, plus 150 for Puello and Fernando. Perdilla, minus 125. Perdilla looks like he's on the juice right now. Do you guys see his, his pictures on Instagram? He looks like he's on, clearly on the juice right now. Um, so, um, Bet Online has this fucking um, mega portal or something like that. They have, um, so look at this, like Perdilla, Talbot, Williams, Namajunas, all twin by Keo, plus 16,000. 16, now, I don't think Talbot's going to knock out uh, Simon. And I don't, like, Williams has life to get a grunt and pump stop is, but, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, six, six plus 16,000 for that fucking, what is that? One, two, three, four, four legs all by KO. Is that by just knock it or is this by KO, TKO also? Like, I'm curious about that. But uh, over one and a half, minus 200 now. I like the over one and a half. I think the over one and a half can cash here. But I like the Pello here. I think Pello's going to get it done. Probably by uh, like KO TKO. I think he can get a no Pelo by uh, probably by Sidon because Pelo is fucking tough, man. He fought Dan Ige. If Dan Ige is not knocking you out, like I have a hard time uh, <coughs> seeing a Pelo knocking him out. But crazy things happen before, right? So you never know. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out, right? We're going to find out soon enough. All right, guys, next fight. Um, what's the next fight right now? So, <laughs> All right, next fight we're going to talk about is uh, Billy Corintillo versus uh, Juice, uh, Yusuf Jalal. And the lines are completely flipped on this one. Like, Billy Corintillo was mon opened up at minus 300. The lines have completely flipped on this one. So all the mon money has been pouring in. Yusuf Jalal, he's a younger guy here, 27 years old. He's only going to get better right now. So I get why people are betting him. If he, if he goes out and starts throwing more volume, like I could definitely see him getting something done. I personally need Dover one, two and a half, and I also need Corntillo. I actually bet him on Monfone 48. I wish I would have should have waited. Probably would have got a I would have got plus money on him. But uh, I was like, expecting the line to bounce back the other way. But uh, that's not what happened here. So Corntillo, we know he's gonna throw enough volume. Usually, like in most of his fights, going out there throwing like over 100 significant strikes in three round fights. So Corintillo is a guy that's going to put up the numbers. The only way I see Yusuf Jalal winning this fight, if he throws, if he like goes in all in the wrestling, like he's, he's actually a decent grappler. And uh, Corintillo has like a 60 something percent eight and defense here. But um, I think Corintillo will work his way back up and stay in his face, throw enough volume out there. 
Yusuf Zalal has just decent striking defense, so I wouldn't be shocked if uh, Jalal just stays on the outside, just frustrates him. But I hope Billy Quintelo gets it done. Um, I'm not really big a fan of Yusuf Zalal. They cut him because he's super boring and he wasn't really out there winning. I think he did enough to win over Blackshear, though, because if you go watch the fight back, I think he did enough. But, um, yeah, I mean, they, they ended that ended up being a draw, though. So I got Quintelo by the season, and uh, I liked over two and a half. I got over two and a half in a couple of parlays. I got the over one and a half in a parlay. Bad. I clicked. I click. I clicked the back um, on the wrong fucking page. But yeah, um, let's see what happens though. Like, I'm actually excited for this for this card. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, all right. Next fight. Um, what's the next next fight now? Hurry. Okay, I gotta pull up the tap all. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, so I got Cornfillo by the season. I think the underdog can get it done. He's actually the underdog now. But he's sitting around. Uh, Billy Cornfillo is sitting around um, plus 109 right now. I mean, I should have waited to bet him. I would have got plus money on him. I think he's going to get it done by the season. Cornfillo by the season plus 155. You might as well take the decision prop on him because I think he's going to win a decision. I don't think see him finishing. Use the law. So it doesn't take a lot of chances out there. All right, guys, next fight we're going to be talking about is uh, Peyton Talbot taking on Cameron Simon. And uh, I'm going with Peyton Talbot here. I think he's going to be able to see uh, finesse on the – he's probably the more better striker, like has more finesse on the feet. Simon actually looked huge, right? He actually looked bigger than him on the on the, on the scales. Maybe he had some shoes on, like some high heel shoes on maybe. But he actually looked bigger than him uh, on the scales. So I don't know. Um, either way, I, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it goes over – <coughs> two, and a, two and a half rounds. Um, it's gonna be a fun fight. I mean, I don't have money on either one, one of these guys. Holy shit! I got drink some fucking water. Like I don't, I didn't bet either one of these guys. Like I probably could have bet Talbot at minus one ten. But um, they're so like they're so really green. I mean, Peyton was losing that first round to uh, Nick Aguirre. So if you guess, you can definitely get grappled here because Simon is a decent grappler. I think Simon's going to win the first round. I think Talbot's going to win the second and third round. So I'm banking on Talbot to win the second and third round. I like the overs. I actually like the overs a lot. I think this goes the distance either way. Um, <laughs> over two and a half, minus 200 a year. Um, Simon, most significant strikes, um, most takedowns. And uh, what's, what's the other prop? Um, decision, plus 525. Holy shit. I mean, that's honestly not, not, not bad odds for Simon. <coughs> Plus 175 for Talbot by the season. If he takes his back, I mean, he can definitely, like, look for a submission, right? Because he does have sneaky submissions. But uh, I think he's going to go to the distance either way. Simon by... Um, if you guys like Cameron Simon here, I don't think he's finishing. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't see him finishing uh, Talbot at all. Plus 200 for uh, Simon by uh, decision. Plus 130 for Simon. You might as well take the money line there just to be safe. But if you if you like the underdog here, I'm personally not betting either one of these guys. But I think it goes. I, get, I think I think I think it goes over two and a half rounds here. <laughs> Minus 200. Um, boss guy said that uh, Talbot chin will get cracked eventually, bro. It just tanks power shots with his face. He does have a good chin, though. I don't think this is going to be the time when he's going to get knocked out. Uh, Lou said, I will be listening to your commentary pick. Him. Let's go, Lou. Yem Pereno in the house. What's going on with you, brother? He said, I'm going to be watching March Madness over this card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just watched the Roadhouse movie. Did you guys watch the Roadhouse movie? Bro, it's a fucking sick movie, right? I actually like that movie a lot. I watched it this morning. I was, like, waiting to watch it. I was, like, I'm probably going to watch it during the night, maybe tomorrow. But I was, like, I'm just fucking watch it right now. It's free on uh, Prime right now. The card's starting soon. So I like uh, Talbot by this season here. Let's run over these fights quickly. So uh, I got Sabajin by first round TKO here, but I'm not betting this fight. Uh, I don't really have the best rate for this one, personally. Dobson is a pretty durable guy, but uh, when Sabajin is going out there, getting it done, he's usually going out there, finishing these lower level guys. And this is a step down in competition. 
And I, I like uh, I like him by this uh, decision here. I think he's probably going to win. No, I, I think I picked him by first round TKO. So as a pick alone, but I'm not putting a single dollar on this one personally. Carl Williams by and versus Tafa. I'm picking Carl Williams here, but um, haven't bet anything this fight. Um, I don't. I haven't, I haven't been betting heavyweight fights lately. Um, I don't know. This like this could go either way. This could be a fight that goes either way. But um, I'm not really confident in this one. But I know a lot of people are picking Tafa here. Like uh, most people are picking Tafa here. Maybe you can knock him out early. Like if he gets grapple fucked, he might get grapple fucked here. But um, I think it's gonna be a fun fight either way. I'm really excited for this one. Okay, okay, what the fuck? Where's my fucking UFC five pass stream? UFC five pass. <coughs> there we go. The fights are starting right now, right? In a minute. Of course, I got Williams by decision as a pick, but um. I'm not really confident in this one. Leo, what's this go? Um, we got MMA clips in the house. What's going on with you, MMA clips? Let's fucking go, brother. Uh, Roadhouse is on Prime. Yeah, it's free on Prime, bro. I only thought I was gonna have to pay pay money for it. Yeah, Connor but ass naked. Yeah, well, I don't think we really need to see that, but it's a fucking sick ass movie, bro. I actually like Connor's um uh, first appearance uh in the movie. Like, it's actually looked fucking good out there. It's time. Yeah, it's fucking. It's that time, brother. Grimy, let's go. Grimy in the house. What's going on with you, Grimy? Let's freaking go, Grimy. Yeah, the Roadhouse movies on Prime free on Prime, bro. I was shocked. I was gonna, I was gonna pay twenty five dollars just to watch it because I actually wanted to watch the movie. But I'm thankful. Thank, thank God I didn't have to pay for it. And the clips have so much chalk on this card. This could go horribly or great for me today, bro. I hope we do really good today. But this card, this is a tricky, tricky card. At least we're gonna be out with out there with the crowd next week. But yeah, um, let's run. Um, let's talk about the next two fights. So, um. Pro Williams by decision is the pick, and then uh, for Rose, I got Rose by like a second on TKO. I think as a pick. I was leaning towards decision at first, but uh, if she's gonna win, I don't like her chances of winning by decision. I think she's gonna have to put Hebus away because Hebus is gonna she's, like she she can definitely like work her way into fights late. So um, I think Hebus by decision, uh, not Hebus. I mean Nama Junis by KO TKO, but I'm not betting this fight. Like there's a lot of these fights, I'm not betting at all. But I like uh, I'm picking uh, Nama Junis because she's better. She's fought the better competition. Has two wins over Yuana Jungdiachuk. Has two wins over um. Um, Jangri Ali, I think so. And she's able to mix and take on Jangri Ali, who's got way better, uh, way better well round skill set than he was. So, and she had kicked yeah, Jangri Ali to the shadow arm. That was crazy. I watched that live, and I was like, I wasn't there in live. I mean, I watched it on TV. So that was fucking sick, though. And I was thankful that I didn't bet that fight because I was thinking about borrowing really, really on that one. All right, guys, let's go. Let's freaking go now. Let me bring up the stats now for. Uh, uh, let's freaking go, guys. Let's freaking go. All right. One second. One second. Let's freaking go, man. I'm excited for this fight right now. Um, okay, how do I bring the stats? There we go. Sprain, SPN Plus. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see what happens here. I'm excited for this card, man. Maxi, let's see what happens here. Fucking uh, shout out to all you all you savages out there coming and hanging with us on Saturday. I know some people, some of you probably want to just not gonna not care enough to watch this card. I mean, I'm always gonna watch UFC fights. <laughs> I'll never fucking take a day off. I mean, breakdown said, uh, "Yo, pick him. Can you drop a link into Discord?" Um, let me see if this one's working. You can watch on UFC Fight Pass. If you have UFC Fight Pass, you can watch it for free. The early prelims. But if you don't have it, um, I'll try to find a link for you right now. Uh, check over here. Like I'll. Drop in the Discord. If you join the Discord, you'll find a link there. I'll pin the Discord link right now in the in the chat. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. I'm excited for this card right now. Cammy said I'm getting paid to watch the fights at work, bro. Fucking that's fucking amazing. Like if you're watching fights at work, I used to do that too sometimes when I was like like during the week. But I don't really watch. I wasn't back when I was like working like fucking 10, 12 hours a day. I wasn't really like watching fights. Like I, only, I was only watching the UFC. I wasn't watching like reasonable MMA back then. But that's fucking awesome that you can watch fights at work. Yeah, fights are starting right now, man. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. I don't want to forget to do a poll. Let's do a poll, guys. Let's freaking go, man. Excited for these fights. Usman. I know Usman's up. Everyone's favorite, uh, favorite underdog this week. I just need this to go over. I just hope it's a sweaty. 
sweaty fight Perkin. His name Perkins or is it Perkins? Let's see Perkins. I thought his name was Perkins. All right, there we go. He looks like a fucking menace right now. Holy shit. Yeah, this one looks fucking ready to go, man. He does the same thing his brother does, right? You like on his fucking knees, like, bro. Mick Perkins might get fucking wrestled fucking here for three rounds. This could definitely happen. Bro, let me put my fucking earbuds on. I want to fucking, I want to hear the audio here. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's freaking go. Finally, some action. Um, okay. Come on. Put my fucking... Oh. Let me see if this works. It's on. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. Ultimate fighter winner. It looks like I'm menace right now. Let's go, boys. Let's freaking go. Let's go. You guys are, yeah, I know I knew you guys would pick this one here. You might fucking get it done. I could be dead wrong in this one. I, either way, whoever wins, I just hope it goes over. I just need it, need it to go over. Usman doesn't look so flabby, yeah. Like, Perkins looks fucking fat. <laughs> he looks so fat. Holy <laughs> shit. I mean, he's not crazy fat like Gazi, Gazi but he's, like, so pudgy. Imagine Usman just knocks him out cold. <laughs> Yo, I want to, like, I don't want, I just need it to go over. I just hope it goes over either way. Come on, guys. Just grapple fucking Usman. Just gra grapple him. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go over and right over the top by Perkins. In the clips that I just like, better man, you can see the juice flowing in the veins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at this fucking, this guy, look at this guy's physique. Nice overhand right there by Perkins, though. He caught him with overhand right there. You don't have a pick for this one, just over. Yeah, I, I, I just have a bet for over. I just needed to go over. I got in, I got in a couple of, like, long shot parlays with some better turf fighters from yesterday. Four minutes, ten seconds to go. Nice leg kick there by Perkins. Perkins looks pretty good here right now, but Tusman has been throwing jabs out there right now. Let's see how long it takes Tusman to shoot a takedown here. Oh my goodness! Nice leg kick there by uh, Perkins. Perkins looks decent here right now. Thirty minutes, forty seconds to go here in the first round. Perkins, oh nice right hand. He kind of wobbled Tusman there with the right hand. Damn, Perkins got some fucking heat, bro. Oh, nice leg kick now by Perkins. This one got kind of rocked, bro. This one's getting rocked by uh, Collier, too. He, does, he gets rocked in almost every single fight. He's going to need to grapple. I don't know why he's not shooting a takedown here. He might get knocked out if he just... Oh, nice right hand over the top. He dropped. Oh, my goodness. He's going to knock out per Perkins. Perkins is gonna, he's about to get knocked out. Oh, my goodness. Swinging. No, guys. Don't swing. Holy shit. <laughs> This is not going over. I don't think it's going to go over. The, the way these guys are fighting. Big blitz there by Usman, though. Holy shit. Holy shit. No way. <laughs> Yo, this is not going to go over, guys. Fucking rest in peace overs. Holy shit. The way they're fighting, I mean, it was Perkins has his chin on him because he got rocked a couple of times with those punches. That was a big moment for Usman there, though. Usman's combination, like, his hands are fast, bro. Holy shit. Usman rocked him. I mean, Usman rocked him harder than... uh. <laughs> Perkins rocked him. The CEO of EPO gave him all the juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. This is ending soon. I don't know if this is, gonna, this is gonna go past the first round the way you guys are fighting right now. Holy shit. Come on, Usman. Russell, 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 just Russell. Well, that was a big blister by Usman though. Look at the back on Usman, bro. <laughs> I was I had a fucking physique like Usman. Two minutes, 50 seconds to go here in the first round. I don't know who's winning this round anymore. I still I don't have a clue. Where's Jacob? Is Jacob Jacob's in there, right? Is it wasn't Jacob there alive from We Won Picks? I don't see him around yet. <laughs> Come on, Perkins. Land some strikes out there. Two minutes, less than two minutes to go here in the first round. This is good that they're slowing down right now. Nice hat with their bouts now. I don't know. Usman might be might have won this run, but the blades, buddy. Oh, nice right overhand right there, Bosman again. Perkins gonna need to stay on his bicycle here. 
Usman just kind of recharges. Like he'll like go uh, go for uh, blitz and then recharge for like a couple of couple of seconds, like a couple of minutes. Then he'll like go in for another blitz. Usman's not wrestling here. Like he he's really trusting his striking here. Nice calf kicks to buy in Perkins now. 90 seconds to go here. Less than 90 seconds to go here in the first round. I don't even know who's winning this round anymore. <laughs> like I really can't tell you guys. Like it's a really close fight. But Perkin has been landing some solid calf kicks though. Nice another calf kick there by Perkins. I don't know why Usman hasn't. Maybe, she, maybe oh, nice right hand over the top by Usman now. Big Usman he throws big power, bro. Usman might be winning this first round with the with the big shot. Oh, he's he already, already cut him open. He Usman cut him open with the overhand right there. Yeah, that the overhand right cut him open. So he might. I think Usman might be winning this first round right now with the damage. Usman actually looks decent on the feet too. He cut him open. Park is bleeding right now. Oh my, nice, uh, <laughs> I thought I landed. Well, nice overhand right there, but Usman. Usman's actually looking good right now on the feed. I think Usman's winning this uh, round right now. <laughs> Bro, Perk is leaking bad. He's got a nasty cut on his eye right there. A nice overhand right there by Perkins now. When Perkins lands, it doesn't really do that much damage like when Usman does. Come on, guys. Let's go over. Let's just go over. And my Usman. Usman won nothing, I think. What was the striking numbers? Perkins all struck him, but it might be Usman's round there. Because he landed the more damning shots. Cut him open, too. I think Usman, 10-9, first round. He landed the more damning shots in that first round there. You see what happens. Uh, Parker loses the second round. He's going to be down two rounds. Bob, yeah. <clears throat> Bob's not feeling good, good right now. And I got some fucking dry cough myself today, but it's not as bad as it was uh, yesterday. Yeah, Bob's in the hospital, man. Hope fucking. Let's get some prayer emojis in the chat for our boy Bob, man. I was talking to him in the Discord, on Discord a couple of days ago. I was checking up on him, bro. I'll check on him from time to time. He's dealing with some type of illness right now. Here we go. Second round, guys. Coming up right now. I think this one might wrestle now. He might mix in the takedown, takedowns now. Now I'll let him know that you guys uh, were, were having have your thoughts. Nice leg kick there by Parkinson now. Like most of men, like he'll recharge his uh, he recharges his cardio, then he like goes in for a, for a blitz. Do you think also looks like Rigo? No fucking way, dude! You're tripping, Melly. Melly with the fucking dude. What do you? There's no fucking way this one looks like Rigo. <laughs> It's hilarious, bro. It's so fucking random, too. Nice cap kick to Bozo now. Similarities. <laughs> it's fucking, it's so crazy. Oh, nice overhand right there by Perkin now. Oh, nice overhand right there. That clipped Usman in the back of the head. That's big moment there by Perkin now. Perkin's been landing, he's been winning the minutes in the second round right now. In the first minute, less than four minutes to go here in the first round. When Usman goes forward, he's having success. It's not, it's not, it's not like putting pressure on him. It's, it's a lift. <laughs> I don't see the similarities. <laughs> oh, nice over that, that kind of missed there from Usman. Nice cap there by Parkin now. I, I'm shocked that Usman is not wrestling right now. Like I'm, I'm really shocked with that. Come on, we need I need over one and a half and I need over two and a half. Nice dodge there by Perkin now. Perk is moving pretty well right now. Usman does carry his power late. Like he knocked out Jack Pauga even though he's losing that first round. But he won the first round and uh, now he might be losing the second round right now. But he's only going to take one big shot from Usman to change this fight. He's trying to line him up for a big shot here. Three minutes to go here. Nice shot to the body there. Nice catch kick return by Perkins. Usman always cost me money. Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't bet either one of these guys. 
I just hooked over one and a half and over two and a half in parlays. Oh, big overhand right there by Parkin now. This one is putting pressure on now, finally. It's going to be a fucking split decision type of fight, I feel like. Yeah, this is going to be like a split decision type of fight, I feel like. Perkins has been doing really well. He's landed over 12 cat kicks. Nice, another cat kick by Perkins now. Yeah, I, I got the over one and a half and the over two and a half, so I just need this to go over. I think it's going to go over the way it's headed right now. They both have pretty good chins. They haven't dropped each other yet. Why is this not wrestling? What the F? Yeah, like, I don't know why he's not wrestling. He hasn't even attempted a single takedown yet. He's really trusting his hands here. Nice body shot to Roseman, though. Nice overhand right now by Parkin. Nice cap kick there, but those cap kicks are taking effect on this man right now. He's going to have enough. He's going to have a hard time now closing the distance for a takedown if he keeps getting these legs kicked off. Overhand right there by Parkin now. Parkin's winning the second round right now. Nice cap by Parkin. Parkin's really getting into slow right now. Nice overhand right there by Perkin now. I don't know what the whole is doing right now. Let's go Lucas Ferro in the, in the house. He said it's messed up how the UFC took away sponsors from the fighters just so they can uh, plaster 40 different hats <laughs> across the canvas. And the I miss those old banners, bro. Those sponsor banners from fighters. I miss those, bro. Those, that was, that was, I miss those times. Perkins winning the second round. So it's going to be 1-1 one, one after this round. Unless Osman has a good moment here in the last minute here in the second round. Perkins landed some big shots here. Osman has a fucking chin and a half on him though. Overhand right again lands from Perkin. I don't know why Osman is not mixing in a takedown. Like He's really not even trying to take him down. Really shocking to be honest. This, uh, if you guys told me that Osman would not wrestle here, like, I'd be I'd be like, you guys, you guys are dead wrong. I would not believe you guys if you guys told me that Osman would not wrestle here. <laughs> this one's like he's having trouble with moving now. Nice cap kick to not by Parkin now. Hasn't even been attempting a takedown yet, yet at all. F 15 seconds to go here in the second on. It's going to be 1 1 after this. Nice over and right there, but this one now finally lands the punch. <laughs> he's saying the long game. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> really said Usman playing the log game. Uh, he wants to give himself the moon. See, by 40. <laughs> yeah, Usman's legs are fucking done. He better wrestle in the third round or he's going to lose the fight. Yeah, Usman's going to lose the fight if he doesn't wrestle in the third round. He's going to be picked up. <laughs> picked up hard at range. It's 1-1 one, one right now. 1-1, one, one, yeah. Even though uh, Perkins was out striking him in the first round, he was still, um, I think this one was, had the better moments in the first round. Decent fight. I mean, it's not a boring fight, right? This one could have just wrestled and it would have been like just holding him down for three rounds. But if you guys have money on this man, I don't know what the, hell, what the fuck he's doing. I just needed to go over two and a half. I think we're going to go the distance here, looks like. I already hit over one and a half. He doesn't even attempt to date take them, which is like shocking. This sort of really shocked me that he hasn't even attempted a single takedown yet. Maybe he attempts a takedown here. <laughs> Unless he lands a big shot here, clips Perkins like with a big overhand right or something, knocks him down. He's gonna have to put pressure on when he's walking forward, like he's been he's been having having success. <clears throat> well, it's over and right there, but Park is not. Nice right hand lands from Usman. Nice job to the body by Usman. Usman is putting pressure on him now. Well, nice over and right there by Perkins. He clipped him on the way in. Nice little cow kick there by uh, Perkins now. Yeah, Perkins has found his timing now. Usman is not even attempting to take down here. I'm really shocked. I really thought he'd attempt to take down here in the third round here. 
Let's go, Narasi in the, in the crib. Let's go, Narasi. What, what's going on with you, Narasi? Nice over and right there by Perkins. Narasi said another live pick. I was not joking around here. Yeah. <laughs> but my cough still isn't completely gone. So I apologize if, um, if I keep coughing during the fucking live stream. I got some dry, dry cough, I mean. I took some uh, Robert Tustin this morning. Like, it kind of helps. But um, it's not as terrible as it was yesterday. I think Perkins is headed to a decision win here. Unless Osman puts him down or something, like gets a knockdown here, he's going to lose the first. He's going to lose the fight. He's getting outstruck all three rounds. He's been getting outstruck. The only way Osman wins, wins the round is when he's like having the better moments, when he clips Perkins. But with Perkins is really moving really well right now. He keeps going back to the cap kick, and Usman just getting picked apart right now with the cap kicks. Usman swinging big hammers, not even trying to wrestle. I'm really shocked that he's not even attempting to take down here. He's swinging big hammers. Like if he catch, if he lands one of one of those, which is um, swinging from too far away. Look at look at like swinging Superman punches now. Like what the fuck is going on? Less than three minutes to go here, and the last of final. I saw ran right there by Parkin. <laughs> he said, "How does this one, uh, not break in the toilet seat with those legs?" <laughs> I don't know. You gotta find out. You gotta ask. Uh, you gotta ask him directly, brother. <laughs> I'm sure he'll t let you know. Oh, nice overhand right there by Perkin now. Another overhand right lands for Perkin. Perkin just has been spamming these overhand rights. Nice leg kick there by Perkin now. Those leg kicks are like really taking effect in this one. Two and a half minutes. Let's go over two and a half hit, guys. Let's freaking go, man. Over two and a half cast. It was only like minus one seventy, minus one seventy five. Over two and a half. I'm I'm just happy that over two and a half cast, over one and a half cast. That's what I needed in this fight. <laughs> Usman needs to get a knockdown or like get a takedown and land some ground and pound to win this fight. Perkins fight right now. Nice overhand right there, but Perkins. Uh... Let's see who's been wrestled here. He hasn't wrestled, even attempted a single takedown. I know everyone that's uh, bet the takedown line are absolutely kicking themselves in the in the back right now. Like, what the hell is this man doing? I'm sure you guys are fucking wondering too if you guys bet on this man. If I actually picked this man here, I would have like been like, what the fuck is he doing right now? Why is he not wrestling? Oh, nice overhand right there by Usman now, finally. Land the one big shot in this round. That's the only clean shot that he landed. Now, 90, the last 90 seconds to go here. He's going to need to knock down uh, Perkins. He hasn't done enough to win this round. He's swinging big hammers right now. A minute to go here in the last and final round. I mean, it's a close fight. You never know how they're going to score it. I think it's going to be 20 and 28 Perkins unless Usman lands a big overhand right here or like puts him down or something. Nice cap kick there by Perkins now. Nice body shot there by Usman. <clears throat> All right, guys. Last forty seconds to go here in this round. I'm just happy that over over safe because the overs were oh nice cap kick that that, that rocked uh, that dropped uh, oh big overhand Superman punch there by Usman now, but that cap kick dropped Usman there the cap kick. Bro, thirty less than twenty seconds to go here in the last and final round. Oh, nice uh, combination there by Usman now. I don't know how the judges are gonna score here, but I think Perkins uh, done enough to win this fight. Usman is having moments at the end here. I don't know if it's going to be enough to win the win of this round. Nice knee there. Big knee there at the end by Perkins. Big overhand right there by, Usman, by Perkins at the end. Perkins 29 28. You think Nanma decision win for Usman? I don't know. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't win that fight. I think I think Perkins probably did enough to win, win that fight. Fight of the night. Dana, fight of the night. Right to check. Fight of the night checks right now, Dana White. <laughs> I'm just happy they were fighting like that, bro. I was, I was like sweating it in the first round because, I mean, they were trying to knock each other out in that first round. That blitz kind of freaked me out. If you guys watched my live reaction like to that blitz that Usman had in the first round, I was like, what the fuck are you doing, Usman? Don't knock him out. Please, for the love of God, don't knock him out. <laughs> but I'm just I'm just happy that uh, I'm over. Over, hey. I mean, Parkin, this isn't probably wasn't terrible, right? He should have put something down on it. 
I think Bergen <laughs> did enough to win this fight. You never know how they're going to score you. Like this, I think 28-28 clear win for Perkins. So. Yeah, Perkins all struck him too. And uh, landed like 30 leg kicks. Like one leg kick dropped him too. We're ready for this decision now. I dropped a link in the Discord if you guys check it. You can watch it for free and just do five pass right in the early prelims. Perkins, yeah, Perkins won it. All three judges score Perkins, yeah. 29 28, yeah, Perkins. <laughs> this one's like, oh my god, no way. Bro, what do you expect? You didn't wrestle, dude. What do you fucking expect, this man? You didn't fucking shoot a single takedown. Like, what are you doing, dude? You're not a striker. Like, like, what the fuck does he expect? You didn't win that fight, bro. Like, you said a Russell League. Like, he didn't even attempt a single takedown. Everyone that, everyone that bets the like, takedown line on this one is killing himself right now. Bro. Like, they're all like, that's why I don't bet those takedown lines at all. Yeah, a good one for Parikas, man. Perkins by decision came through. All right, what's the next fight now? We got we got a really good fight coming up. I don't have anything on this fight. I no no plays on the next fight. Igor Severino taking on Andre Lima. It's gonna be a good fight. We'll see what happens in this one. Yeah, this is gonna be a good fight here. Bro, I can't believe this one didn't even attempt a single takedown. Like, he really thought he was a he's a striker now. Maybe he's trying to get that 50k. He probably would have had a chance to get a ground and pound finish on the ground. Maybe he completely forgot that yeah, he's a wrestler. Like this, this dude didn't even attempt a single takedown. Like, I can't believe that shit. Narasi said I ship him my money with that. Let's go, Narasi. I'm happy for you, brother. I'm just glad I needed the overs in that one. So the overs hit. Like I had the overs in a couple of parlays. I think I had overs in two parlays, so I'm happy. Let's freaking go, Narasi. Uh Millie said I was been acting like he got robbed. I love this for yeah. <laughs> Yo, what was this man thinking, Ray? Right? Like, dude, you're a wrestler. Like, why not wrestle here? Like, you're not known for your striking. Yeah, exactly. Like he, I think he had success in that first time with the striking, so he's probably like, I'm just gonna forget about the striking. I can hurt the dude on the feet. And then Perkins kind of found his timing in that in the later in the fight. All right, guys, let's talk, let's do a let's do the um the the pro for the I mean let's do a pull for the next one. So most of you guys were wrong on that first fight. <laughs> I don't blame you guys. It was a fucking close fight. But um yeah, let's, let's do a so Igor Sever, Igor Severino. Severino taking on uh, Lima. Andre Lima. I'm picking Lima by decision, but uh, I don't have money on it. I'm not like brave enough to get some money on this guy because he's still unexperienced. Like, he's got a lot of fights in boxing, right? He's got like over 80 kickboxing fights, so. Either way, I just, I just want to see this fight. I just want to see how these girls look at the NDFC level. I'm excited for this one. Let's see how this one goes. Yo, we got Sarmin Army in the house. Let's go, Sarmin Army. What's going on with this army? You have any bets in this fight? Or you said you don't like a lot of bets in this fight, right? Many said, who fights next? Is, um, Igor Severino. Two guys that are making your debut here. Sarmin said, I'm glad I didn't bet on him. Yeah. <laughs> Mimic, I'd say this Mr. Russell, this corner is dumb as shit if they didn't tell him. I mean, you can, your coach can tell you to wrestle already, but he just didn't want to wrestle, I guess. Vanessa said, um, fighters really get one kill. Oh, yeah, exactly. We got the over one and a half in this one. Good luck, man. I don't really trust the overs in this one because I could definitely see a KO, TKO for either guy. We're picking Lima by the season, I think. I, I got Lima by the season here. I was thinking, I was like leaning towards third round TKO, maybe. But um, I just I was like I don't know. You know, not my eager stuff was a fucking tough dude.
Uh, Lima by Slim is the pick, but just, we'll, we'll bet. So just see the we'll kind of bet. If you guys want to bet for this one, personally, I'm not going to be betting this guy, but um, under Lima is minus 155. Lima by uh, this isn't. Lima doesn't really take a lot of chances out there. This isn't for Lima, it's like plus to 50. Honestly, not terrible for Lima by this isn't. But who knows how this fight's gonna go. But if anyone's gonna go win a decision out there, I think it's gonna be under Lima winning a decision. Naka, what's up? Under Lima by third round TKO. Third round is plus 700. I don't know. I don't really feel good about this fight, but anyways. I just want to see these guys. Uh, let's see how they look at the, at the UFC level. You guys need the overs uh, one and a half? Yeah, I was thinking about putting the over one and a half in a, in a best bets video, but I just couldn't get there. Um, the way Janata Silva fights, bro, just like, I mean, not Janata, Igor Silva fights, like, he's so aggressive out there. I could definitely see him getting clipped and put away. Like, um, maybe like uh, in the second on. But um, I don't know. I I hope we go. I just hope we get a good fight here. I just want to see a fun fight here. Um, Birmingham, I couldn't believe this one didn't wrestle. I saw, yeah, I'm shocked to be honest. So, so I don't think anyone that picked this one. I don't think anyone that picked this one expected him not to wrestle out there. Scott said I missed it. What happened to this one? This one just didn't wrestle at all. He won the first round with the blitz. Then he got in the striker, and he got pieced up by with the leg kicks by Perkins. Second and third round. I'm trying to say I got a problem with Lima and uh, Rose small bet. I mean, I hope you hope you pass that one. I don't have that in either one of those one of the, one of those fighters. I mean, like I said, I just hope this 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 fight goes over one and a half rounds. I think it will go over one and a half. I think both of these guys are really tough. Lima does not really is not really that aggressive. So only way I see um Akar is if uh so was like I mean uh Lima is like not a Lima. I mean Igor so was like really aggressive. That's the only see a knock, the only way I see a knockout here. If Igor is like really aggressive, trying to knock out uh, Lima and he gets caught himself. I think it goes the distance though. But I mean, the, the books don't think it's gonna go the distance, right? Fight goes the distance is plus 135. And fight doesn't go the distance is minus 165. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I don't really have the better read on this one. I think Lima's a better technical striker, so I'm leaning towards him. But who knows how this is gonna go? Let me click that. Um, yeah, I was getting faded. Terrible fight IQ. Yeah, he's probably gonna wrestle his next fight now. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, I'm gonna click that. Uh, try to outbox someone with better stand up. Yeah, like Perkins is a better point fighter. Right? Like you're not gonna outpoint a guy like Perkins on the feet. And Perkins was having a hard time finding his timing early. But uh, he went to see fond his timing with the leg kicks. And those leg kicks, like, if you get caught with those leg kicks early, you're not going to be able to do the take on as, as, as well. So I like Igor Sobo's energy. I kind of hoping that he gets it done here. Like, I want to see this guy win so bad. I mean, he's fucking, he's like a fear fighter's fighter. Like, he's really fun to watch. He's got all wins by all inside the distance. He's never gone the distance, I think. Let's go, man. I hope this is a fun fight. I, I can't wait for this one. Uh, I already beat I bet on the card, but I probably most bets with the uh, with more confident picks and future cards to get better. Yeah, I got some parlays for next week. If you guys check out the members tab, you'll see right there. Um, I got like a parlay plus money, plus three hundred parlay for next week. Um, for members, so it was for the money to stock stock only. Uh, I won the first round, but ate a bunch of leg kicks. Yeah, and he was getting pieced up on the feet too by Perkins. Mikhail said, Yasmin getting faded. Terrible fight, IQ. Uh, Mikhail said, Yasmin tried one leg kick, I think. Yeah, he only threw one leg kick. He landed the leg kicks. He said, have wrestled. I don't know. I was really expecting him to wrestle in that third run. You got an Indian line of parlay, so let's, let's hope he gets a W. So, if you, guys, if you guys, get, guys got money on this one, like, hope he comes through for you. Like, I picked him to win here, so I hope he wins. I'm personally, like, um, running to the window to go bet on this fight. Yeah, let's go, guys. Hit the like button. We need over, like, I think we can get over 20 likes on this screen. Because, uh, good luck, Mitzap. I think Lima will win. I think Lima's gonna win. If he, as long as he doesn't like get grappled, like he's gonna be enough take on defense. I don't think he's gonna get grappled here. 
Yeah, you gotta be careful because uh, Severino is a very aggressive dude on the feed. He'll, he'll put himself in the line of fire just to like knock you out. Um, like I said, I had him earlier this week, but I cast out for the over one and a half instead. Uh, I thought about that to be honest, but I don't know. I didn't do that to it. I'm just gonna put a, a metal sniper tattoo on his chest. Was dope. I didn't even see. I want to see it right now. I see that. Yeah, the sniper scope. Uh, that's what I've been saying. He's a sniper, though. He's a sniper. He's got way better leg kicks, so I think he's gonna have a ton of success with leg kicks here. I do like. I'm a fan of Igor, though. Like, I like watching Igor more than uh, Lima. And he's like 20 years old, bro. Like, I'm cheering for this young guy, even though I'm picking against him. Like, I really wanted to pick him here. Well, the way he fights, like, it's just not really like he's gonna get knocked out eventually. Honestly, like, I wouldn't mind getting my pick wrong for this one. Like, I don't even care about the pick on this one. I just hope we get a fun fight. 20 years old, man. Like, holy shit, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's go, man. This is going to be a really good matchup here. Let's freaking go. Kush and Lonely in the cage. <laughs> nice leg kick to Balima. Let's see if uh, you're, you're putting pressure on him right away. That's, that's the way you got to beat uh, Lima. You got to like put pressure on him. You can't let him walk you down. Nice. He's trying. Lima will throw a lot of kick. He's got way better kicking game. Bro, Igor was close with that left hook there. Holy shit. That left hook was close. Four minutes, 35 seconds ago. Another left hook lands from Lima. Bro, oh my god, nice overhead right there by Igor. Oh my god, nice knee there by Igor. Bro, Igor is with a takedown. He's with the takedown here. He's got a single leg takedown right now. Let's see if we can get this. He's got the takedown. Wow, he got the takedown on Lima already. Lima's going to work his way back up. He's already back up to speed. Severino trying to take him down again. He go, he must find he's turning into him, but Severino might take it back here. Four minutes to go here in the first round. No, he's gonna take it back. He's, gonna, he's trying to lock in a rear naked choke here. Igor. You just gotta be careful. You gotta keep your chin tucked. Oh my goodness, that's, that's getting that's getting tighter. He must find though. He's fine. He's, he gets back up to his feet. Wow, that was getting close. Nice knees to the body now by Lima. Lima has him up against the fence now with 3 minutes 30 seconds to go here in the first round. Nice knees there. What is the referee talking about? Oh, nice take. Igor went for like a throw and he got... Okay, they're back up to their feet now. Oh, he's even for a pull guillotine choke. Lima has his guillotine choke. He's, he's fully locked in. It's fully locked in. Uzi gave up on it. Wow, Igor's on top now. Bro, fun fight here. This is a fun matchup here. Holy shit. That was close. Jesus Christ, that was close. He's looking for Mokada now on Lima. Now Lima's looking for Mokada on, on him. Holy shit, that was close. Oh, he's, he's hanging onto the fence. He's got to let the fence go. Lima. He hit him in the back of the head. Bro, stop hitting him in the back of the head. <laughs> Lima. He's still got this armor plata, but I think he's going to give up on it. He's going to work his way back. He's still hanging on to his armor plata here. He might break his... Uh, he's going to work his way back up, though. They're back up to their feet. Nice knee to the body now by Igor. Holy shit. What a fight, man. The pace are keeping... Oh, nice uppercut now by Igor. Nice left hook there by Lima now. Two minutes, ten seconds to go here in the first round. Igor with the pressure right now. Oh my goodness, Igor's a fucking dog, man. This good this dude doesn't give you any room to breathe. Nice job there by Igor now. I don't know how they're gonna keep up this pace for three rounds. I don't think they will. Igor shoots a takedown. He's gonna get this takedown. Beautiful takedown by Igor now. Holy shit. Igor is actually looking really good right now. He might be winning this round right now. I don't know. He might be winning this round right now. Lima just throws him down now. They're back up to their feet now with uh, almost 90 seconds to go in here in the first round. Whoever has the best moments in the last 90 seconds is going to win this round. Nice left hook there by Igor now. Bro, Igor's got some curse striking. Like, nice elbow. Oh, nice left hook there by Igor. Nice elbow. Oh, my goodness. Elbow rock, Igor. Big elbow by rock. Igor. Igor's rock. 
Igor's rocked. Oh my goodness, he's trying to shoot takedown. Igor's rocked, but he's. Oh my goodness. Another. Oh my goodness, what a fight. These guys are throwing down, man. Holy shit, the elbows they're throwing at each other are crazy. Ilima's landing the better shots here now. In the last 90 seconds here. I'm going to go now in the first one. Nice leg kick there by Igor. Nice right hook on the top by Igor. I mean, uh, this is why I didn't bet this fight, because I want to see this fight. I mean, it's a great fight, right? This is the fight, type of fight I don't have money. I don't want to have money on, because like, then you're going to be sweating, eh? I mean, it's going it's to go over one and a half, but it's been sweaty. If you had the over one and a half, it's been looking sweaty. <laughs> but I think we're gonna, the way they're fighting right now, it's probably going to go over. 30 seconds to go here in the first round. Nice leg kick, two leg kicks there by uh, Igor. Nice elbow there by Lima again. Lima's landed the, the better damaging shot. Now. Well, even for like a, a nice sweep now by Lima now. Bro, the pace is crazy. Oh my goodness, nice right hand over the top by Lima now. Lima's kind of found his timing now. And he rocked uh, uh, Igor. Igor's going to win this first round, I think. But it's a close first round. Holy shit, Igor's trying to take him down right now. Igor to get the take on at the end, but just can't keep him down. I don't know who's going to win that round. I have no clue, to be honest with you guys. I saw a really close first round there. I'm going to give it to Lima because I think he rocked him harder, but. It, that round could go either way, in my opinion. Great first round, right? Like, what a fucking round. What an absolute fucking round. I mean, holy shit. Great first round for... um for uh, I think um uh, could go either way, but I'm going to give it to Lima because he rocked him with an elbow. And, but there's a type of round that could go either way. I wouldn't be mad if they gave it to Igor either. But I think Lima's going to take that first round. Let me know what the odds are in the chat. If you guys know what the odds are, live odds are right now, let me know in the chat. I'm just curious to see what the live odds are right now. Lima's got the better cardio, in my opinion. He actually gone, he actually, he's actually gone three rounds before, so. The longer this goes, I think it favors uh, Lima, though. It's minus 220 for Lima. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like. Lima, the longer this goes, I think it favors Lima, but. Great fight, man. I mean, either way, I wouldn't lie about the fight. I'm kind of happy that I didn't bet this fight. Oh, nice right hand there by Lima now. Lima's like really found his timing now. Bro, that head kick was nice head kick dodge there by Lima. Lima just can't stay off the back foot, but he's having success striking on the back foot too. Oh, overhand right there. Big uh, straight right there by Lima. Oh my goodness. Nice uppercut there by Igor. Bro, these guys are throwing down right now. What a fight. What's, what the fuck happened? Maybe poked him die there. This guy said Millie's baiting, yeah. <laughs> Bro, four minutes, 20 seconds to go. It's going to go over. It's going to go over one and a half rounds, it looks like, yeah. Bro, Igor's trying to, trying to dig these body, body hooks. Nice leg kick there by Lima. Now, Lima's really found his timing. Now, he's having some more success. Nice overhand right there by Igor, though. Four minutes to go here in the second round. Oh, my goodness. Lima's got to get away from this fence. He got kind of rocked there, I think. Oh, my goodness. Nice, nice knee to the face there by uh, Igor. Oh, my goodness. Lima's got a chin on him, though. Elbow there by Lima now. Lima's got to get, get him off him. He can't, like, Igor's just putting crazy pressure on him here. Nice leg kick there by, uh, by Igor. Oh my goodness, see, I think he kind of bobbled his own leg throwing those leg kicks. I think he might have hurt his own leg. He shoots a takedown. Beautiful timing on the takedown. Takedown by, by Igor. Yo, this fight's going to be sweaty. Like, this isn't, it just goes a distance and it's going to be crazy. I mean, this is going to be a sweaty, sweaty decision. Nemo's got to work his way back up. He has been, he's been getting taken five times though. But like um, the Silva's got to do something like not the Silva. I mean Igor's got to. Is his name Igor? Right? Yeah, Igor's got to do something with the takedowns. He's not really doing anything with the takedowns. But in a close fight, I mean you never know how they're gonna score this fight. He's controlling Lima right now with the takedown. I wasn't expecting Lima's takedown this defense to look this bad. 
Maybe just the timing. These like Igor has beautiful timing. Now, bro, this is this is really good for Igor now. Beautiful work there by Igor up against the fence right now. Nice knee to the face there by Igor. They're gonna forget. They're gonna take a point if you keep cheating. Get over here. Yeah, I'm happy that you guys played over. Good shit, guys. Another takedown by. Oh, he keeps driving the fence again, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. He's gonna take a point. He's gonna take a point. Demon's gonna get a. He's gonna get a point taken now. He's gonna get a point. Did he bite him? No way he bit him, right? I think Lima's gonna get a point taken right now. He's gonna get a point taken right now. Yeah, he's gonna get a point taken. Or but maybe is it gonna give him a warning or is it gonna take a point? Oh, is it... They're gonna take a point, yeah. What happened? Did he bit his arm? Did Igor bit his arm? Nah, they're not gonna do anything. They're gonna continue the fight right now. Ty, Ty, Chris Tyone missed a uh, missed a uh, fence grab there, but. Lima. I mean, Lima could be losing the second. I think he is losing the second round right now. And he's getting outstruck too. He's getting taken down. So you never know. Like, I wouldn't really trust the live odds on who's winning this fight. Did he actually bit him in the fucking arm? No way, right? <laughs> no way that he bit him in the arm, bro. No way he bit him in the arm. This is crazy. Dude thinks he's fucking um, uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Let's see if he can. He actually bit. Yo, he actually did. What the fuck? I can't really see it from the right angle. But oh my goodness, he actually did. He bit him in the arm. The fight is. It's disqualification. Wow. DQ. DQ. Wow. DQ for Lima. Lima gets it done by DQ. Holy shit. He fucking bit him in the arm. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Bro. Why did he do that? Why did fucking Igor do that, bro? Is there actually teeth marks over there? I wanna see the I wanna see a close up on the arm. Bro, that's crazy. That's the first time I've seen shit like that. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he actually bit him in the arm, yeah. Holy shit, he actually bit him in the arm. You can see it right there. He's like, look, that fucking bit him in the bit my arm. Dude. Wow. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Bro, what the fuck is he like doing? Dude, what was the dude thinking, bro? If he fucking bit into his arm. <laughs> that was like, he's just so young, bro. He's 20 years old, right? Like. You're 20 years old, you're gonna do stupid shit like that. Like, you bet Lima and the good shit, Nate Brown. I'm fucking happy you guys bet on it. I'm, I'm glad you guys cast him. We got the pick right, right? <laughs> I didn't want to get the pick right like that. I mean, but fucking, we'll take it, I guess. Holy shit. Bro, that's crazy, though. What a way to fucking lose, too, man. And over one and a half hit, too, so I'm happy. It worked out for everyone. Everyone that played over one and a half and the Lima money line, like, I, I just didn't couldn't get there myself. So this is by D KO T K or DQ, right? So the KO prop cast if you guys uh, bet KO prop. If you guys bet the KO prop on uh on a uh, on a uh, Lima, he's gonna he you guys cast that KO prop because it's the DQ and KO is the same thing. Wow. This is qualification. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, Igor, like, 20 years old, like, he really didn't lose any stock in that fight. He was actually looking good in that second on. He was controlling him on the ground and shit. Why do you have to do that, bro? Like, so disappointing, like. Yeah, he said bite of the bite of the night bonus easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, so what a way to lose a fight for yourself. Yeah, he's twenty years old, right? You can't really expect much from guys that are twenty years old. Like, they're young and immature. Like, he probably thought they were gonna they were gonna see it. I mean, did he, did he think that Lima was gonna be fine with it? Is that what he think that was gonna happen? He's like, oh, thanks for biting my arm, dude. 
let's keep fighting. <laughs> Holy shit. He could have won the fight. I mean, he was looking good. He got like five takedowns and he was controlling him on the ground. Like, he was on his way to winning the second on. Bro, Lima's takedown defense is not as good as I thought it was going to be. Like, I really thought his takedown defense was going to be way better. Both guys looked good, in my opinion. Both guys looked good enough. I. <laughs> he said, God forbid a motherfucker takes a couple of bites here and there. Yeah, just they, they don't like the bites in, in the UFC. <laughs> With uh, Salim, all the stuff, stepping elbows. Yeah, that stepping elbow in that first round rocked him bad. But I mean, the chin on yeah, Igor's fucking chin is crazy, dude. Unreal chin on this guy. All right, guys, so you guys are right. 76% of you guys are right on Andre Lima in that last fight. We got the pick right, right? Let's see if we can keep it going. Let's see if we can go on a three, three and no run. <laughs> next with the next one, I pick flipped on this one. So I, I was leaning towards Monster and Don, but I pick flipped to Daria because I just, even if Don gets a takedown, I don't know if she's gonna, she's gonna do enough for the takedowns. Let's do a, let's do a. I didn't, I don't have any money on this one either. Like a lot of these early pins, I just can't bet it. Eh? Like Daria is like way too wide of a favor. I think Daria is life for a KO here too. If she just lets her hands go, doesn't get taken down. Like my early pick, I was leaning towards her Don. But um her striking is so terrible. Maybe her striking looks better here. Now she has UFC experience on her side. I'm gonna I'm pick I, this is the this is the only fight that I picked up on. <laughs> Misab said bye bye Igor. <laughs> and he said I was impressed with both of them, but Igor gone sadly. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to cut him, right? They're not going to cut him. Are they going to cut him? He just made a mistake, bro. He's 20 years old. I don't think they're going to cut him. You can't do shit like that in the UFC, though, right? No, you can't. Dana White's probably going to... I don't know. I don't think he's going to cut him. He's just going to let it give him a warning, I think. You can't be doing shit like that in the, in the UFC, bro. 20 years old, man. Like, I think Dana's going to give him a fucking break. <laughs> That's what I was like. He, he thinks it's Mike Tyson. He was trying to be Mike Tyson over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, the stepping elbows were really good from Lima. But his takedown defense is not as good as I thought it was going to be, bro. I'm not that impressed with Lima's takedown defense. But he's he's, like, he's got <laughs> good enough strike. It's just amazing grappling that he's not going to get subbed out there. But we're going to have to be careful when he faces a real really good wrestler. That can take him down over and over. Um, uh, by by Igor, uh, Grimey said, uh, that's why I picked a Jandy Roba every fight, bro. Jandy Roba cost me some money against um, uh, Rodriguez, actually, better than Rodriguez in that one. And she almost got knocked out, Jandy Roba almost got knocked in the third round. She, she did enough to uh, win the two first rounds in the grappling, though. Jandy Roba's fighting um, uh, Lupi Gardinas, right, next week. And um, I mean, it's probably not a bad underdog next week if she just grapples all uh, the whole time. Boss Gag said he'll probably uh, get suspended by Athletic Commission at least. Maybe, maybe for like a couple of months. He's upset, definitely getting a fine. Yeah, he's getting a fine too. You can't do shit like that. Randy Reeves said, yeah, it's uh, insurance liability. They have cut people for holding submissions and sucker punching. Yeah. Who's the guy that um like that punches the opponent after the fight was over? That guy that was fighting in Bellator, he retired after. Dana cut him right away. I can't remember his name right now, but. He used to fight in the UFC. He punched his opponent after the fight. And Dana's like, you're gone. You're done. I can't remember his name right now. Nate Brown said, um, bro, he, he he's cut for sure. The athletic commission won't let him fight. I have a warning, man. Like, obviously, you don't want to see guys go to and fight each other and shit. <laughs> But uh, he's 20 years old, man. Like, give him a fucking break, UFC. Give him a break. Like, he'll probably he'll probably never do it again. Nate, Nate Brown said, uh, boss gags. Um, said, so, yeah, it's probably going to be banned, by, to be honest, by uh, in the National uh, Athletic Commission. Yeah. Probably like a suspension or something, bro. 
I really hope they don't cut him though. I really don't want to see him gone. Like he actually looked really good out there. Like I'm a fan of Igor. I'll be honest. Like I I yeah, some of you are probably a fan of Igor too, right? I like Igor, man. I like the guy. I hope I hope they don't cut him or like I, if they're gonna suspend him, I'm gonna suspend him for like what like a couple of couple of months, like give him like a couple of months suspension. Like Dino White needs to talk to him, just like give him a give him a warning or something, bro. Like I'm sure he'll probably never do it again. Uh, Scott said, I eager the Brazilian Jambi <laughs> Severino. Yeah, I was shocked that he actually bit him, bro. Like, that really shocked me. Uh, M MDK said, I uh, got Lima Severino round two stars and um, and Daria money line parlay, bro. I've picked flip from uh, Rundan. Like, I was picking Ladon at first, but um, the more I think about it, I think she's gonna get pieced up on the feet. Her striking is horrible. I think she actually technically lost this, uh, lost this fight to uh, Brittany Cloudy. That's why, I was, that's why I picked uh, Tamir's Widow as my lock of the weeks because I was like, Widow can piece her up on the feed. But Widow, like, Rindon was catching her kicks, taking her down. Like, that's the only way she gets taken on catching her kicks. Daria doesn't really throw a lot of kicks. She's like, she does throw head kicks and stuff, so she's got to be careful. Um, But I think she's going to piece her up on the feed. Not playing anything on this fight, though. I don't really trust either one of these girls. Daria's over 2-1 to one here, so... It's going to be crazy. Yo, Nate Brown with another fucking gifted membership, guys. You're big fucking W's for Nate Brown, the homie. This dude's been gifting memberships for the past two weeks, bro. Um, Guys, I got to fucking... I'll, I'll be right back in a second. One second. Big W's for Nate Brown. I got to fucking... I'll be right back in a second. One, give me a second, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're back. Do something. Who got gifted the membership? Let's go, GMD. We made big shout out to fucking Nate Brown, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate the uh, another membership, bro. Nate Brown's gifted over like ten memberships on the stream, uh, on the channel. I mean, big shout out to Nate Brown, bro. Paul Daly, yeah, Paul Daly, right? That was his name, Paul Daly, yeah. Holy shit, that was his name here, Ray. Paul Daly was his name. Yeah, Dana White cut him right away. He's like, fuck, you're done, buddy. You're done. Yeah, the over one and a half head. Yeah, the over one and a half head. I was I was like, I actually thought the over one and a half was good, but I just I was gonna pull it, but I just like I was worried that that it might it might go under. He bit him at like two two eight, yeah. It, the over one and a half head. I, I told you guys during the live stream. Um, yeah, those, you know, I'm gonna we're gonna have to make a meme of fucking Igor biting down on his fucking elbow. I'm gonna make that emoji. Yo, let's go. Um, Antoine Willis in the house. We got Antoine Willis here. What's going on with you, Antoine? What are you, what are you saying right now, bro? Are you enjoying the fights right now? The last fight was actually really fun to watch, bro. I mean, it's 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 a shame that the way it ended, but if you guys bet on the e Lima, I mean, it's good. It's a good sign, right? I mean, you guys will take that um DQ, right? Why not? I mean, like I said, I got a uh, two out of nine on my part long shot parlay so far. This card, yeah, bro, I got um, I got like a couple of long shot parlays on this card with Bellator fighters from yesterday, so I'm hoping to hit those ones. Let's see if we can hit those uh, long shot parlays. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Daria looks like a menace on the scales, bro. That's why I picked flipped on this one, because I, I was like, Daria's probably going to get it done here. Ray B said, uh, maybe he lost his mouthpiece, uh, <laughs> his armpit. <laughs> I was trying to get it back. <laughs> Is that how you get it back? You fucking bite into your opponent to get your mouthpiece back? <laughs> he was trying to use his arm as a mouthpiece. 
miss up so they got daria by key or this isn't i mean i think that's live but um is that even plus money it's probably not even plus money right if you're getting plus money on that prop but um that's that's our most likely path to victory it's key or this isn't probably gonna cut the money line in half right honestly not bad Fire Ram, let's go Fire Ram in the house. What's going on with you, Fire Ram? Let's freaking go, man. Bitch, guys, go check out Fire Ram, man. Nate Brown, can you get can you can you pin a channel in the in in, in the chat, brother? So people can drop him a sub. Yeah, me and him did a podcast for this card. And uh, it was a, we, we were live for like four hours. So we'll probably do another one next week. So if you guys want another live stream with me and I mean, uh, Chris Morrell, Bitch, guys, uh, go sub to the channel. And McCliff said, um, yeah, that was ridiculous. You're right. That was <laughs> I was shocked he actually bit him. I was like, no way you bit him in the arm. But he's 20 years old, right? Like, what do you expect? I mean, 20 years old, you're still immature at that age. And, I hope, and McCliff said, I hope he doesn't get cut. They don't cut him yet. I'm really praying that they don't cut him, bro. I want to see him for another fight in the UFC. And then they'll give him another opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's, it goes balls to the walls, man. I mean, he, he was trying to, like, he'll put himself in the line of fire just to uh, chase the finish in that one. Miss Ab said he's already been cut, apparently, on Twitter. Are you being serious right now? No way, right? Twitter, Dana White already said something. Wow, the UFC tweeted not something you see every every night in the octagon. Wow, that's oh my god, that bite, that bite mark is crazy. I gotta tweet this. <laughs> what the fuck, Igor? That's crazy, dude. Oh my goodness, the UFC left left imprints on on his arm. They're probably gonna give him a suspension. I think they'll suspend him for for a couple of months. Scott said Igor playing the long game. <laughs> he has to fight, but when the, when the rabies when the rabies kick in, he will win the four. Yeah. Nate Brown said, "I gotta get back a little. I've been casting pretty consistently lately. Let's go, man. I'm, I'm, I appreciate you giving us back to the community, brother. You're helping build this community and um helps out the YouTube channel, brother. I appreciate that, man. Big W's for our boy Nate Brown. Nate's the man. Yeah, Nate's a fucking absolute gem." Aaron said, oh, "What's up, bro? Good luck on your bets." Yeah, I'm like, I don't have any play on this fight personally, but um, I'm pick, I'm, I pick flipped on this one, so I was leaning towards Rendon, but I'm leaning towards the Darian as a pick. I just doesn't seem to life for a KO year, though. Honestly, he keeps it on the feed because their non striking is horrible. Let's go. Let's see what happens. The Iron Lady, lady is her nickname. <laughs> That's crazy. She's Russian too, man. So like, yeah, it's not often that uh, I was like. I was, I was like, almost sticking to my pick with the with the Rindon, but then I'm like, if Mr. Rindon wins this one, I'll be fucking pissed. <laughs> I'll be pissed pick flipping now if he gets it done here. Nah, let's go, guys. Make sure you guys go drop our boy as a sub. Eager Mike Tyson, the Lima, yeah. <laughs> Too like I didn't think it was that bad of a bite mark, but uh, seeing those pictures on Twitter, like, damn, it was fucking terrible. Holy shit! It was a terrible bite mark, man. Let's go, Daria. Unless <laughs> he gets taken down and just gets fucking wrestle fucked here for three rounds, I'll be so pissed for the pick slip then if that happens. Oh, nice job there! Nice job there by Daria already. Damn, her jab was right on the money there. Oh, big overhand right there, Berdaria. Holy shit. Daria's got some clean striking, man. Holy shit. Big overhand right there, Berdaria again. She's got to be careful not swing too much because Rendon can change level. Oh, nice right hand by Rendon now. Daria's like super aggressive, which I do like. We want to see girls that are aggressive in um, in the MMA, right? She's putting pressure on her right now. Rendon's like swinging like overhand rights from like a mile away. Let's see how long it takes Rendon to shoot a takedown here. Four minutes, ten seconds to go. Oh, big overhand right there by Dario. Oh, it's a tractor. Dario rocked her already. Holy shit, Dario's a menace. She's going to knock her out clean, it looks like, the way she's swinging these big hammers. I don't want her over swinging, though. She might uh, give up a takedown. But even if she gets taken on, I think she can work her way up. Nice overhand right there by Rendon now. Bro, these girls are swinging down. <laughs> There's, these girls are swinging down. Let's go to see if Don can get the takedown. Wow, big takedown by Rendon. Holy shit. Let's see what Rendon can do here. Daria's got to get up to her feet. Wow, Rendon got the takedown easy there. I mean, 
Now, see, Daria can work her way back up. She's got to be careful and not give up her back here. Wow. <laughs> She's got to do some work here. She can't just hang around uh, with the takedown. Takedowns don't really matter all that much. Nate Brown said, uh, Daria to win and over one and a half is minus 125. Honestly, not bad. She's working her way up to her feet now. Rendon hasn't done any damage. Let's see, let's see if she can go for another take on here. Jelechnia Koba, like, bro, I'm not, like, I'm going to give up on that, on that last name. I'm going to call her Daria. We'll call her Daria. Jelechnia Koba. I think that's, that's her name. Nice knees to the body there by Jelechnia Koba. Jelechnia Koba. Jelechnia Koba. I think that's, that's, I'm probably saying it right now. Jelechnia Koba. Here, I got it. I got, I got the fucking last name, finally. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go. Let's see if Don can get another takedown. She's in on the in the, in the in the body lock here. She's trying to drag her down to the ground again. Uh, I mean, let's see. Daria needs to dig underhooks here. Just dig underhooks and she's got to be at distance. He can. Nice knee there by Daria. Daria's winning his first round right now. Nice job by Daria getting getting back back at space right now. Rindon didn't do shit with the takedown. It's not going to count for much. This is what Daria needs to keep doing. She can't let she can't let this girl get uh, deep in on the body on the on the on the leg on her legs. I mean, <laughs> Ernie B said Redon got them he heavy easy. Yeah. She's fucking jacked, bro. Redon is actually kind of jacked here. Big overhand right there by Daria now. Daria's winning the first round right now. One minute forty seconds to go. Another right hand lands from Daria. Rendon's gonna chin on her because he's eating she's eating some and Rendon was shooting a takedown from like a mile away. She's just like just walking her down right now. Wow, <laughs> she's just running at her. Rendon just running at her right now in the straight line. Come on, Daria, just keep piecing her up right now. Oh nice, oh nice knee there by Daria. I think Daria is like getting comfortable now. I'm just the only thing I'm worried about Daria is her like her cardio. She has gone the distance before, but against a grappler that's gonna grapple like Don, who knows if she can like keep keep the keep up the pace. But Don's not really making her fight at a crazy pace right now on the feet. Murray's gonna defend the takedown. She can't let, let get taken on here in the last minute here in the first round. Woken can pronounce it for sure. Yeah, Woken Arjit. Shout out to Woken, man. He, he's uh, I think he's from uh, the Netherlands. You guess I know people think that he's Russian because he got the Dagestani beard, but he's actually from uh, Netherlands, I think. Lesnia Koba's got to dig under hooks here. You can't give up a takedown here. Rendon, trying, Rendon with the takedown now. Wow, at the end. I don't think it's enough to get the round back, though. But I mean, she's getting the takedowns way too easy, though. Like, like she's getting the takedowns way too easy, but she hasn't done shit with the takedown. So I'm going to say 10 9 for Daria in the first round. Well, this is gonna this is gonna tire her out, man. This is gonna tire uh, Daria with the, with these takedown carrying that weight on top. You think this is gonna lose this round now? No, I, I no, I don't think she did enough to win this. Like, I don't think Rodon did enough to win this round, in my opinion. She had some clean shots and she got like rocked a couple of times on the feet. Even with the takedowns, like, do you guys think Rodon did enough to win that round? I don't know, man. Look at look at look at the judges on that C Rod fight, the Green fight, man. Like it doesn't count for much when you get takes. He hasn't done shit with the takedowns, personally. Like I don't know. I'm I wouldn't be super confident though. Like I'm just glad I didn't bet this fight. Like <laughs> fuck betting on this fight. <clears throat> Hope Dario wins now. Like if she if she loses this fight now, like because I pick clip, I'll be so mad. <laughs> I think Dario can still win this fight. She just um doesn't get taken on. She's got to defend takedowns here. Yeah, this is uh, takedowns <laughs> don't really matter all that much. I mean, you gotta throw some ground in pond, you gotta advance position on the ground, you gotta go for submissions. Like, you can't just take people down and just hold them, like, if you're getting pieced up on the feet earlier in that round. Who knows? Who knows how the judges? You never know. Sometimes different judges will score it differently. Daria needs to not get taken on here. As long as he doesn't get taken on, she's gonna win this fight. She's got a rock. Daria needs to let her hands go. 
he just throws it away. Like Dario's takedown defense is uh, pretty horrible. Because Rendon is not really the best wrestler out there. And if anyone has vertical, oh, nice right hand there by Daria now. Oh, nice overhand right there by Daria now. Straight left there, lander from Daria. Four minutes, six, 15 seconds to go. Rundon trying to see her takedown right now. Rundon not really landing anything on the feet right now. Beautiful left hook there by Daria now. Daria's gonna throw, like, maybe she's worried about getting. Oh, nice body shot there by Daria. I like Daria striking. It's just their taken defense is on. Nice straight left there by Daria. A lot of these shots aren't really landing clean, but they are doing impact. They are doing damage right now on, on Rendon. Oh, you've seen that takedown entry coming. Oh, big overhand right there by Daria. But Rondana has been landing some jabs of her own too. <laughs> Hopefully Rondana passes the count. Oh, nice straight left there by Daria. Three minutes to go here in the second round right now. Nice straight left there by Daria. You see, Kazu says no thing. Yeah, well, it's not a bad fight. I mean, for women's MMA, like this could be way worse. Tori is actually kind of exciting to watch. I mean, Don's got a fucking stack on her, right? Holy shit! I just noticed that right now. Tori has got to get away from this clinch. She's got to get away from this clinch. Every time Don gets her, it gets in on the in, in on the body locks. He gets a takedown. Tori, a better defender, takedown. You better defend the Satan. Daria needs to get away from the fence right now. Nice job by Daria getting away from the fence. Two minutes to go here in the in the second round right now. I mean, this is this is women's MMA. Like, what do you guys expect? This is the way things are always going in women's MMA for like eighty percent of the time. Nice overhand right there by Daria. MDK is that I think they both uh, on. But I'm still moving. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm done stacked. You got to move. Where if she's going to ruin my part, give me a show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got a stack on her, bro. I just fucking noticed that now. Oh, big straight left there by Daria. It's a close fight, but I think Daria's winning the second on clearly here. But her face is getting all fucking pink, though. Like, maybe just her skin color, like her skin tone. She gets... Like, she's bleeding from the nose, too. And Don has been landing some damage here, like. Last 90 seconds to go here in the second round. I mean, this is a close fight, man. I mean, this is a fucking close fight. And Don has been mixing the takedowns in this one. Well, nice overhand right there by Daria. This is a fucking way too close. I mean, this doesn't look like a minus two over 200 for Daria. I mean, the striking numbers are so close. Well, nice spinning back fist attempt there by Daria. Bro, the significant striker number, strike numbers are so dead even here. I mean, Rondon has been landing damage, right? <laughs> Bro, Rondon's not worrying the damage. Let's see if Rondon can get the shake down at the end here. Let's see if the fence there. Damn, Daria grabbed the fence there. He's grabbing the fence again, bro. She's gonna get a point taken. She keeps grabbing the fence here. She gets taken down now. Wow. So Rendon might win this fight now. The way this is fucking going. I don't know who's winning this fight anymore. I have no clue. I don't know who's winning this fight anymore. Like, like Dario's face looks like she's just in a fucking, like she's just in a five-round four. 
Yeah, Dario does look like she's tiring out right now. Rendon might win this fight. He might. He probably is winning this fight right now. Who knows? Bad pick flip on my part. If he wins this fight, I'm gonna fucking be kicking myself in the back. This is what I was worried about. Uh, like, this is what I was leading Rendon earlier, like in the week. I was like, Dario's like cardio, just not really been tested. But I think he might be up on the scorecard still. You never know. I don't know. I don't know how they're scoring this fight. <laughs> I think Dario won the second on that. He might have won the first. Not hasn't done anything with the takedowns. But still, takedowns still do matter in a close uh, striking matchup. I think it's 19-19. Yeah, it might be 19-19. <sighs> Damn. Let's go lost and find around here. Where are the referees giving a warning right now for not grabbing? He's like, don't grab the fence. Why is Jason Herzog fucking touching her face? <laughs> what the fuck? Jason Herzog? He's trying to fucking caress her? Dude, Jason Herzog's on deep fucking deep time right now. Fuck Jason. Your wife's watching you, mate. Daria needs to have a big moment here. Like, so you can't get taken. If she gives up takedowns, she's going to lose this fight. So you can't give up takedown here. He's gonna land some big shots here. Like, this is a close fight. This could go either way. Like, who knows how they're gonna score? Yeah, I was like, what the hell is Jason Herzog doing? <laughs> Bro. Daria has been putting pressure on her, though, but she's swinging big hooks since it's like missing and like she's getting tired. Missing big hooks. Bro, look at this like hooks. He's just swinging at air now. Like, Daria's swinging at air now. Nice straight left there by Daria now. Jelezniakova. Oh, nice neither by Jelezniakova. That was a nice neither by Jelezniakova. Whoever wins the third round is going to win the fight here. Nice straight left there by uh, Jelezniakova. Nice straight left there, uh, right hand over and right there by Jelezniakova. Nice nice shot to the body now by Jelezniakova. She's more busy here. Nice straight left there by Jelezniakova now. She's got to get away from the fence. Every time she gets up against the fence, that's where she's got to, like, I'm worried about her. Bro, what is she doing? Why does she dip her head down there? We're down trying to attack a guillotine choke here. She might have this guillotine. No, she's okay. Lesnia Covers has got to get away from the fence here. She needs to get away from the fence. Nice job by Lesnia Cover getting away from the fence there. Yeah, the, whoever wins the third round here is going to win the fight. Lesnia Cover is winning the third round right now so far here. Still a close fight, though. I wouldn't be shocked either way. Like, yeah, there is damage in Delezny Cobra's face, though. Like, she's cut open a little bit too on, on her face. She might have a lot of scar tissue. Nice three left there by Delezny Cobra. Nice run right there by her. Done. I wouldn't be shocked either way how this score this fight, but nice body shot there by Delezny Cobra. Last three minutes to go here. Two minutes, 50 seconds to go. You guys think it's 1-1? One, one? Yeah. Whoever wins the last two and a half minutes here is going to win the fight here. Nice straight left there. Nice combination there by Jelezniakova. She's got to get away from the fence. Like Nice straight left there by Jelezniakova. Bro, she can't give up a takedown here. Jelezniakova can't give up a takedown here. Let's see if Don can get this takedown right now. If she gets a takedown, she's going to win this. She might win this fight. Who knows? Yo, what's this go? Andrew Bushin in the house? Bro, she's going to get taken on. Lesnia Kova almost gets taken on here. She's going to work her way back up, though. She works her way back up to her feet, though. She's got to get away from this fence. She can't get controlled up against the fence here. Two minutes to go here in the third round. Bro, how was Dario Lesnia Kova minus 200 for 25? Crazy. No, I haven't seen it yet, Andrew. I've, I've been busy today, brother. I'll check it out uh, after the stream for sure. I didn't this fight anymore. I have no clue. I'm not in the split decision or some shit. And the, and the referees, like the judges, they like seem damaged too. Her boingers, boingers are huge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Scott said, oh, good lord, they're not good at fighting. Yeah, I mean, you're down with those hits. Like, Zelensky has got to get away from the clinch there. Let's make Kovars get away from the fence here. She might lose this fight based on the damage alone. Like her face is brushed up right now. Come on, Let's make get away from the clinch. She just can't break the clinch. Like Let's make Kovars fucking shit. Either way, I, either either way, this goes like I'm fucking pissed off with myself for pick flipping on this one. Don is actually not that terrible. Zelensnikova is gonna have some good moments in the last 30 seconds here. Nice straight left there by Zelensnikova. Nice, oh, nice spinning back fist by Zelensnikova. Nice knee there by Zelensnikova. She's putting pressure now. Oh, nice straight left there by Zelensnikova. This might win her their fight. It's gonna be a split decision or something like that. Nice spinning back fist by Jordan, though. Come on, Zelensnikova. Last 10 seconds to go here. She's got a there's the straight spinning back fist right now. Like, last five seconds. Bro. Or spinning, spinning back fist. Zelensky Koba wins. I don't know. Maybe Don wins. I have no clue. Then, but I think Zelensky Koba did enough. I don't know. I mean, fucking Don is the queen of winning split decisions, so you never know. You think she lost for sure? You think um, Zelensky Koba lost? I wouldn't really be crazy confident, but um, the takedowns do matter when the fight is this close on the feed. Either way, man, like, I'm just glad the fight is over. Like, fuck. Thank God I didn't bet that one. I was, like, picking her down at first, but this is, like, a coin flip fight. That's what I was leaning towards the dog, then I pick flipped this morning. I mean, uh... Zelensky Kova, like her, she's like she's tough though. Like even though she's tired, still like throwing punches out there. You think uh, you guys think that Don got it twenty twenty eight? Maybe, right? Maybe the takedowns are gonna matter here. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna be a split decision. I feel like no one's better at winning splits than fucking Don. Let's see how the score though. What's the next fight? Next fight is uh, Stephen Wynn. Oh, I picked Stephen Wynn by third on TKO. Let's see if we can get a TKO. Let's see how the score this. Lesnia Cobra got it, guys. Lesnia Cobra got it. I told you guys. The takedowns do fuck, do not fucking matter. Unanimous decision. I told you guys. 28 28, Lesnia Cobra. I'm thankful. I'm thankful they didn't give it to Rodon. I fucking hate Rodon. Thank God that uh, Dlesny Koba won. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm not shocked at all, bro. That's 29-20, a clear win for Dlesny Koba. But I was, like, worried they might give it to Redon with the takedown. But <laughs> I was such that I was distracted by Redon's Instagram. I haven't even checked her Instagram yet. But, yeah, she's got, some, she's got a stack on her, though. Yeah, Dlesny Koba won, in my opinion. That's why they gave it to her because she's she's actually doing stuff on the feed. Let's go DK plays in Dallas. What's going on with your DK plays? What are you saying right now, brother? Let's do a poll for the next one now. Um, next fight is gonna be uh, Stephen Wynn versus uh, Jarno Aarons. I do need Stephen Wynn to win here. Let's see if you can get it done here. Let's do a poll. Stephen Wynn taking on uh. Aaron's. Yeah, I mean, what's her name? Rendon just didn't do anything with the takedowns, right? You got to do some work. You got to throw some ground at pound. You can't just hold on to people up against the fence and like take her, take her down, not do anything with the takedowns. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. <coughs> Let's see if we can keep the straight going right now. We got three, we're three and one picks right now. Let's see if we can keep it going. 
<laughs> fucking out, man. I, I hate this cough. Hope uh, I gotta get some fucking Benadryl maybe later in a bit. Scott, you think it was a robbery? Nah, it was not a robbery. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Okay, I gotta move on to Sportsnet now. Sportsnet, uh, the premiums are gonna be live on ESPN Plus or Sportsnet in Canada. It's on uh, Sportsnet. <clears throat> Let's freaking go. I'm I'm glad that they gave it to Leslie and Cobra. Like that wasn't a split. This is another split win for uh, Darren and Don. It would have been her four wins out of five would have been split decisions if Don had won the fight. At least Leslie Kova throws her hands like she's actually a decent striker, right? But she definitely didn't look like a minus 200 out there. Like, she did not look like a minus 200, 225 out there. It was a close fight, though. Yeah, it was a close fight. <laughs> Yo, let's freaking go. Need Brown set out with the dollar two ninety nine uh, with the two dollar super chat. He said, hit the like button, guys. Let's freaking go, guys. Big W's for Nate Brown again, bro. Big fucking W's. Let's go, brother. Appreciate the super chat. Let me close in my live bet, though. Um, you don't have any bets on this fight. I, I actually need uh, Steven Wynn to win here. I don't have money on the overs and unders. I just need to see if I'm in money line to cash. You might light bet though. Yeah, I mean, light betting probably wouldn't be too terrible on this one, but Miss Sav said uh, she's a mom too. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we're done to the mom. Yeah. Scott said, holy robbery. It wasn't a robbery. It was a close fight. I mean, I'm glad they gave it to Les Mikova though. I mean, I said, my light bet. Uh, um, I think Aaron could take this as a underdog. Let's see, bro. Let's find out if he can be if he can be the first underdog to catch on the prelims. DK plays it. Let's freaking go! Yeah, I'm excited for this one. It's gonna be a fun matchup. Uh, yeah, Banks is uh, fading. Dana White in the series fade. Um, Aaron just doesn't really throw a lot of strikes out. But like, he's gonna have to knock him out early, or he's gonna have to throw enough output out there. He's only thrown like 50 significant strikes his last two fights combined. McLeod said, uh, Stephen Wayne has bad. You think Stephen Wayne has bad fight IQ? Maybe, Yuri. Right? We're going to find out right now, bro. You might be ready. Yo, uh, if I run to three, you know, pick on this call, man. Let's freaking go, brother. Scott said, nah, bro. Daria got her ass beat. What the? Nah, she didn't get her ass beat. Like, she just, she, she's got scar tissue, like, which is why, like, Rudon really didn't land a clean shot on that fight. Like, it was just kind of the straight, like, couple of punches that kind of, uh, just kind of, Cut, got a cut open on Dresden Yukova, but Redon really didn't do much in that fight, in my opinion. And this is coming from a guy that was picking Redon for most of the week. I was picking Redon for most of the week, but, um, like, I knew, like, he wasn't going to do enough with the Tate, and that's why I, like, picked Flip in this one, but. I run said, uh, first, uh, first fight on my parlay right here. Yeah, let's freaking go, man. I need, I need uh, to, win to, to get it done here, too. I think that was a wild decision for real. No, it, was, it wasn't terrible. It was a good decision, in my opinion. Miss Sav said, um, I do have a $25 on the under turn up in this fight. Pray for me. It's plus money, right? Probably not bad. Scott said, look at her face. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Look at Barboza. He, his face looked like he's got fucking beat to a pulp against Yusuf, Sadiq Yusuf. Like, you can, some, sometimes you can get take a lot of damage. I mean, it's a 10-point muscle system, right? So you can, your face can look like a pulp in that first round, then you win the second, third round. Like, unless it's a 10-8 round, then you don't really have any 10 rounds in that way. Even though two, 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 two takedowns, I mean, those don't really count for much when you're not doing anything with the takedowns. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. My room said, uh, that's, that's all there is to judges to the control time. That's whack. Yeah, they don't look at the control time the same way they used to in the back in the day. This stuff said it could have gone either way. I just feel like Daria had more pressure and cage control. We're going to have to fade Daria. Like, I'm probably not going to better last next fight either. Like, I didn't better this fight. I'm probably not going to better the next fight because her state and defense is horrible. Pat him on that fight clear, yeah. <laughs> Yo, let's go too late. I'm gonna miss that to pick him. Who you got, bro? I got Steven in here. I think he's gonna get it done. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Jordan Irons actually looks like a menace right now, though. Yes, Jordan Irons actually looked better on the way in, so. Nice leg kick right away by Stephen Wayne. Nice leg kick return now by uh, Jordan. Jordan's putting a ton of pressure on him right now. 
Oh my goodness, nice rated left hook there by Vin. Nice leg kick there by Vin. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go here in the first round. I'm going to wall him up a little bit. Nice leg kick return by uh, Jordan Aarons now. Jordan, those leg kicks are doing damage to Aarons already. Yo, I appreciate subscribing to the channel, Banks. Once. Let's freaking go, man. We just passed 200 subscribers today. I appreciate all you, uh, everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. Wind looks pretty good here right now. Aaron's gonna have to cut some angles here. Nice body kick attempted by Aaron's and he gets taken down. Nice ground and punt by Steven Wynn. Holy shit. Steven Wynn's got some nasty ground and punt when he lets his ground and punt go. Aaron's is on his back right now. He's gonna let him back up. Steven Wynn's gonna let him back up right now. Aaron's will throw some uh, like head kicks and stuff, so Steven Wynn's gotta be careful. And that's the way that uh, Steven Wynn got knocked up by a flying knee in the third round. Nice body shot up by Aaron's though. Oh, nice right hand over the top. They both cracked each other there. Yo, Aaron's actually looks good now. He actually had a really good moment in that right here, like a minute, like a second ago. Nice body shot there by Aaron's. Aaron's got to keep. Oh, nice over right there by Aaron's. Aaron's actually looks good right now. He's got to let, let his hands go more if he wants to win this fight. Burns is letting his hands go right now. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the first round. Whoever's walking forward with pressure is having success in this fight. Whoever's putting pressure in this fight. Oh, nice overhand right there by Aaron's. Holy shit, Aaron's actually looks really good here. Yeah, Steven's got a chin on him, but he can't take money with those more shots like that. Nice leg kick there by Aaron's now. Like, uh, <coughs> two and a half minutes to go here in the first round. Aaron's might be winning this round right now. I'm watching it on a uh, sports mess, so maybe maybe they spin plus three. Is uh, <coughs> <laughs> it's like 15 seconds ahead. But it's my problem with stream. When, I'm, when you stream, for a nice uppercut there by Aaron Zoe. It's a pick and fight on the books. No, yeah, it's a close fight now. Nice leg kick there by Aaron Zoe. Aaron's is actually looking, <laughs> looking really good right now. One minute, 40 seconds to go here in the first round. Steven Wynn's putting pressure on him right now, but he's not letting, let, really letting his hands go. He's got to go back to the leg kicks. Spinning back for his attempt there by Aaron's. Nice leg kick there by Aaron's now. Nice leg kick return by uh, Steven Wynn. Big uh, shot to the body there by Aaron's. Another body shot there by Aaron's. I think Aaron's is winning the first round right now. But nice straight right there by Wynn. It's a close fight either way. Aaron's is actually letting his hands go this time. Bro, big, big uppercut there by Vin. I mean, uh, Aaron's. He's already cut him up. Like, he's already busted up uh, Steven Wynn's face here. Steven, Aaron's is winning this first, first round right now. <coughs> yeah, Aaron's is fighting for a job here. Holy shit, Aaron's looking like a menace out here right now. Nah, he's really fighting for his job right here, yeah. <clears throat> great for great first round. I think Aaron's gonna take this first round right now. Nice flying knee there by Aaron's. Wynn's not really letting his hands go anymore. I think he's worried about the power now. Cause he got touched up in the first round. Nice step in neither by Vin. This is a good sign for Ernst. Like he's actually throwing <laughs> more significant strikes than he's ever had before. Ernst is like kind of styling on him right now. Yeah, Ernst is looking great out there. Holy shit. Like Vin is fucking leaking all over the place right now. <clears throat> Mm 
Let's we'll see if Aaron's gonna keep keep the pace right now. He's gotta keep up the pace right now. I'm sure Aaron's probably a favorite now, right? He's probably favorite to win now. Let's go to Ajiz MMA in the in the chat. Let's go Ajiz MMA. Yeah, Aaron's looks fucking great right now. He's never thrown this many significant strikes in a whole fight before. Like, I think the most he's thrown is like 40 or something. Like, and he's thrown third over 30 in the first round. Bro, he's thrown 35 significant strikes in that first round. Holy shit, that is crazy. He looks phenomenal right now. Looks great right now. <clears throat> Bro, it's clipping bad. Steven has a gin on him, though. Steven's fucking tough. Wynn's got to put pressure on him. Like, when he's putting pressure on him, he's having success. Jordan just looks like he wants it more. That's what it com it's coming down to right now. Four minutes, 40 seconds to go here in the second round. Yeah, Aaron's is like trying to fight for a job right now. That's the way he's fighting right now. Nice straight left there by Aaron window. Wins landed some damage to nice job there by Win. Win's gotta let his jabs go. He's gotta pump that jab out there. Aaron's leaking too now. It's gonna be a fucking this is a dog fight right here. Great fight. Aaron's gotta go back to the body shots. A nice straight overhand right there by Aaron's now. Aaron's is getting more confident now too. Nice straight left there by Win. Holy shit, they're slinging. Three minutes, 39 seconds to go here. Right, kind of, the pace is kind of slowed down now. Nice shot to the body there by Window. Three minutes, 19 seconds to go here in the first, second round. I mean, nice leg kick there by uh, Aaron's though, but nice combination there by Aaron uh, Wins on top. Wins got to let his hands go. He's just not letting his hands go enough. Nice side kick to the body there by Aaron's though. Aaron's is a fucking dog though. Like this dude is fucking tough, man. That was win too. Great fight. Nice leg kick there by Ernst though. Nice leg kick. Nice right hand there by Ernst though. Nice, nice combination there by both guys. Win is minus 300 now. Damn. That's fucking crazy. I mean, this is a... He's gonna win this round. I don't. I don't even know if he's winning this round right now. Win. Win's gonna walk him down. Like when he's walking him down, he's he's having success when he's walking him down. Just not letting his hands go. Now, nice overhand right there by Aaron. So Aaron just landing the bigger, cleaner shots right now. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, 155ers. Like they're both fucking big, huge. Aaron's is moving pretty well too. He's not really staying in one place. I can't believe fucking Aaron's like wins not letting his hands go. Like normally, like he'll be the one throwing more significant strikes out there. One minute thirty-seven seconds to go here in the second round. Right, nice leg kick there by Aaron. So nice side kick to the body now by Aaron's. Oh, nice overhand right there by Wynn, though. Wynn has been throwing more strikes in the second round here. But close second round, too. Whoever wins the last third, last minute here in the second round is going to win the second round. What happened? Was there a... 
picked to the cup. Nice job there by Wynn. Nice side kick to the body there by Wynn, though. Nice side kick turned by Aaron, though. Nice leg kick. Nice straight left there by Wynn now. The striking numbers are dead even in this round. Holy shit. 25 to 25. Well, nice combination there by Wynn now. He has been landing damage. I think Wynn's winning the second round right now, but it's really close. Could go either way. Nice leg kick there by uh, Wynn now. Nice overhead left hook there by Aaron Zo. Aaron's just keeping up the pace though. Like he's not really slowing down all that much. Nice body shot there by Aaron's now. Oh, nice over and nice combination there by Aaron's now. 15 seconds to go. Oh my goodness. Aaron just knocked him down. Holy shit. He just knocked him down. He's trying to knock him out. 10 seconds to go. He's going to win this fight now for sure. Aaron's going to win this fight now. He knocked him down bad. Holy shit. Holy shit, he's fucking is. Wynn's gonna need a finish now. Holy shit, it's 2018. Yeah, it's 2018 years now for sure. He knocked him down bad. Holy shit. He caught him lacking. He caught him lacking in the second round. At the end, I think, I think Wynn got way too comfortable in the second round there. He just said, I didn't bet Steven because he's uh, fucking trash. He's not that terrible. I mean, it's not like Wynn's blowing him out of the water, but it's like, a, just. I mean, Aaron's just fighting for a job in the way, like, Vin's fighting. He's not really, like, worried about losing his UFC contract right now. At least said, uh, you, yo, lowercase. Do I really? Like, I don't even fucking know. I got headphones in, so I can't even, like, hear myself right now. Yeah, he's going to lose the fight for sure now. There's no way Steven Wynn's going to win. Unless he gets a knockout or something, like, has a 10 a round. And I don't think he's going to have a 10 a round here. That was crazy. Not crazy. Like, if there's more time left. He probably would have finished him in that in that round. Sermi said, uh, "Dude, I feel bad. Asian dude was winning that round too. I think it was a close round. I don't know if he was winning it clearly, but oh, the straight right there. I mean, right on the chin, bro. Holy shit. That was right on the chin too. Is that Jacob? I see Jacob in the back. <laughs> I see Jacob for we want picks in the back. Now I finally see him in the back. You guys seen him in the back?" He was like freaking out. Oh my goodness. Vin needs a finish here. Byron might, might be the one getting the knockout here because he's landing good leg kicks. Sneak or taking that Sean Strickland lost to her. <laughs> yeah. Steven Vin needs a finish in this one. He's going to lose the fight 100%. Nice left hook there by Vin, though. Bro, Aaron, Aaron looks like a fucking menace out there. He actually looked really good here. Nice trail left there by Vin, though. Vin's not really, he doesn't have a ton of power. Like, he's not really letting his hands go with power. Nice body shot there by Aaron's now. Oh, nice over in, uh, right there by Aaron's. And nice left hook there by Vin. Aaron just has more power. He just has more power. I mean, Aaron's nice elbows there by Vin. Oh my goodness. He's trying to go for the guillotine. He's going to let this guillotine go and just throw ground and pound. He needs a finish. Vin needs a finish. He doesn't have the guillotine choke. He let it go. Vin needs to get a finisher. He's going to lose the fight. Three minutes, 30 seconds to go. On the feed, Aaron just the better, like, has more power. Oh, nice straight left there by Vin now. Bro, Aaron's never thrown 84 strikes before. This is crazy. Yeah, Steven Vin needs a finish in this fight. Or he's going to lose. Uh, even if he uh, loses, even if he wins this round, he's going to lose this fight. <laughs> nice straight left there by uh, Vin, though. Nice uh, left hook there by Aaron. Aaron is a fuck. He dropped him again. He dropped. Did he drop him again? He dropped him again. Holy shit! Vin's fucking chin is so bad. Holy shit! He dropped him again. Three minutes to go here in the third and final round. <coughs> Crazy fight though. I'm actually enjoying the fight. Two and a half minutes to go here. 
Man needs a finish, but he looks his tired. Looks tired right now. I think he's worried about the power coming back from my errands here. I just like Aaron's just not that terrible. Like he's actually really pretty good. I mean, he fought William Gamie. He's like, like he's not terrible. Like he's actually not that terrible. He just the only reason I picked uh, and I bet on Stephen Win is because he wasn't throwing. Stephen Aaron's just never thrown this many significant strikes before. That's the only reason that I bet against him here. It's the first time he's thrown this many significant strikes. He's got to go for every. He's got last 90 seconds almost left here. Nice left to right hook there by Aaron though. He's got to. He's got to fucking finish him now. So I don't. Aaron's is moving now. He knows he's up in the scorecards right now. Nice job there by Aaron's. Win just can like track him down right now. Nice leg hook there. Nice job there by Window. The over two and a half hits. You guys played the over two and a half hits. He hit. Yo, what a fight though. I mean, great fight overall. Oh my goodness, uppercut there by Aaron's. Holy shit. Aaron's just throwing over hundreds and strikes. If you guys told me that Aaron's would throw over 50, I'd be like shocked. Crazy. Aaron's is throwing over like almost like almost a hundred. At he's actually thrown over a hundred and a hundred and five. Crazy pace. Thirty seconds to go. Aaron's is gonna win this fight. Probably even uh thirty twenty seven. Oh, they're swinging. Bro, Vin's a fucking tough dude, man. Because he got rocked and I almost got knocked out a couple of times. <coughs> yeah, Aaron's in did it. 30, probably even 30, 27. <coughs> yeah, great fight. Good for Aaron's, man. He's not going to be He's not gonna be cut from the UFC now. <coughs> Holy shit, I drink some water. Straight fight, man. What's the next matchup now? The first fight that I got wrong on the card. It's all good, though. We'll bounce back with the Miles Johns the next one. <laughs> Might even be thirty twenty seven. I'm got um. Is this still the UC? I'm not sure. <coughs> <laughs> God damn fucking ads, bro. I hate it. I hate ads so much. What do I need for my long chair parlays? I had Stephen Wynn in, in a parlay, but uh, I think it was uh, Ogden, so like 40. So it is what it is, though. If I hit my long chair parlays, I'll be fucking golden. I got a couple of parlors with Bellator from yesterday. I think the next fight's gonna go over two and a half rounds. Yeah, 30-27, yeah. Burns look fucking great out there. <laughs> I think Cody Gibson a money line. If um if if Miles Jones wrestles out there, he's gonna win. If he doesn't wrestle, um, it's anyone's fight in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah, he that victory. I'm not even like mad. I'm not even like salty about getting that pick on that one. 
for sure earns, man. He actually fucking earned that victory. He's, you can tell he's fighting for a job over there. Let's, talk, let's see what happens in the next, <laughs> next matchup now. He just said, uh, what a chat journal is, bro. Saved his career. I'm happy for him. Yeah. I, I don't mind getting that pick wrong. It is what it is, though. Miss Up said, I'm going with Cody Underdog. Good luck if you guys are going Cody. He's probably the guy that's going to throw more odd put out there, but Johns is going to have to wrestle and, like, land the bigger shots. So that's the way Johns is going to win if he lands the bigger shots. Either way, I think it goes over two and a half rounds. I think it goes over two and a half either way. Uh, Sermi said, let's freaking go. People who picked their uh, errands. That was, yeah, if you guys picked errands, it's a great pick there, but if you guys were on the errands side. Mustaf said, uh, where's Jacob in the crowd? I seen him in the back when they're showing high when they're showing uh, the highlights between the rounds. He said, uh, like in the middle. Somewhere. Is that him with his hands up? Is that might be him in the corner? You can't really see it clearly. You really gotta like look deep into it through the cage. I'm supposed to show the crowd at one point, right? <laughs> I just said Stephen Wynn gonna have to get a needle in his mouth for his lip, yeah. Bro, it's like, Irons is a fucking menace. I've never seen him, like, this dude throw over 200, over 100 significant strikes. That's what he needed to do to win. Like, that's, I, I was like, that's why I didn't pick him here, because I was like, I don't think he's gonna throw enough strikes out there. But he threw over, like, fucking 100. I just said, uh, Jacob is soft from We Want Picks. Fuck those dudes. You're not a fan of, uh, Jacob? I mean... I like I, I don't mind Jake. I think he's pretty chill. I just said uh, all they do is talk about uh, other folks. I think Angelo hates on like he doesn't like people that use topology to like break down the fights. He's a topology hater. But I don't I don't have anything against them. They're just uh, out there grinding, right, doing their own thing. Terminator said, uh, "Dude, Jacob is probably praying. Dude, bet a one thousand dollars on on he bus. Or you did he bet one thousand dollars on uh, Irons? Or no, Irons. I mean." Fermi said, um, I like Jacob more than Angel. Yeah, me too. Angel is just like kind of like a Karen. I don't know. I don't know how to like describe him. He's like kind of like a he's probably a chill guy in person, like just through his streams. Like I get the why word, like he's like kind of like a Karen, but maybe he's chill, maybe he's chill in person. You can never really judge people off the off their videos, right? Off the internet. Some people are completely different on um in real life. So maybe he's a chill, maybe Angel is really chill in in in, in real life. Mustaf said, "I love Salamander. Yeah, he's he's chill, dude. I don't, I like Salamander." Stormy said, "Yeah, he better on Amanda, but yeah, Amanda. Like, I remember I followed one of his parlays that that uh, that uh, Tabitha Ricci and uh, Amanda parlay. I'll never fucking follow this guy for another bet ever again. I wasn't really like making my own break songs back then. You guys remember when uh he uh, he boss got knocked out by uh, Macy Barber? <laughs> I actually followed that parlay. That's one of the worst parlays I've done." WMMA, parlay, two leg. Stormy said, Angelo gives me uh, boomer, dwarfs, dad, wives. <laughs> I just said that we want picks. I just can't take them serious. I don't hate them, but it's just when I try to watch their show, they barely even talk about the fights, their predictions, the time, unlike you, bro. I mean, everyone's got their own way of breaking down fights, right? Norm, for the most part, I mean, they're doing pretty well in, on uh, betting on fights, I think. Norm, you said, uh, Fax Ages, uh, it's an entertainment picks based, I feel like. Yeah, I just said, uh, he started me, gets me. Yeah, you're like, I don't, I personally don't have anything against any, any, both of those guys. I think they're just out there grinding, right? I just said, he bus breaks my heart on a consistent basis. Yeah, like, I was so sad. I actually also had the over two and a half rounds. I was like, it's going to go over two and a half rounds. And I fucking hated it. I was so pissed at myself for Pearl Lang he was. Yeah, the pedo pedo berry. Yeah. Uh Pad Berry, yeah. The Pad Berry emoji if you needed those emojis, man. I'm glad I got we got we got the emojis now. Uh the toast said uh Cody locks uh like Darren looks like Darren Till. Yeah, he does look like Darren Till, you're right. He kind of fights like him too. Cody like Cody Gibson actually has dangerous knees in the clinch. 
Uh, Miles Johnson is going to have to be careful. Byron said, damn, I thought uh, Steven would wrestle a little bit. I thought he's going to just throw strike him on the feed. But um, I was wrong on that one. Good for Aaron's, though. Good for Aaron's getting it done there. Shout out to Aaron's. Yo, your lock is lock of the week's fighting next, right? Fight Ram, let's go, man. Mal Johns. I hope he wrestles here. If Mal Johns doesn't wrestle here, he might lose this fight. Sorry, we never said I did so much tape study for Simon. Hope it pays off, boys. I'm picking Talbot by this season as a pick, but uh, Simon can definitely win that fight. He actually looked taller on the way in some, for some reason, even though he's not listed he's taller than Talbot. Sorry, said I did show some media study, everything you can think of. Let's do a, let's do a pro, uh, poll. I almost forgot to do a poll. We got, um, I mean, most of us got the last fight wrong, but there's like 30% of people that picked uh, Aaron's. If you guys picked Aaron's, good fucking pick. Great pick there if you guys picked Aaron's. All right, Gibson, Johns. Um, Gibson. Gibson is a fucking tough dude, though. Like, um, I hope it goes over two and a half rounds either way. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Let's go. We almost hit over 30 likes. I appreciate all the likes, guys. Let's freaking go. Helping out the YouTube algorithm. Big shout out to everyone that hit, already hit the like button. Let's go, guys. Miles Johns versus... Uh, I got like a half a year to Miles Johns at uh, minus 122. So I need Miles Johns to win. If he fumbles the bag here, like... <laughs> it's going to be tough making money today. I got some long shot parlays on this card, too. John's wrestles, he's gonna get it done. He's got a kit to feed too, so he better wrestle here. Please wrestle, John, for your kid. Please, brother, wrestle for your kid. Here's the casual said, I'm picking Cody. I mean, good luck if you guys are on Cody Gibson. I wouldn't be shocked if he gets it done here. I'm not like crazy confident, John's. I feel like he's wrestling, he's got the wrestling edge here, so you should wrestle, but you never know. Yeah, the, uh, John's odd just dropped on DraftKings. Yeah. Because the underdog just won, right? Last, last fight, so maybe. Maybe we go on uh, underdog run right now, maybe. Let's we'll see what happens, though. I'm excited for this fight. Let's see. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Cody Gibson. Gibson. Yeah, Cody is fucking massive. It's Rip too. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. I hope that John doesn't spam just overhand rights here in this one. That's why he lost to. Uh, that's what he was doing against Castaneda. Castaneda is actually a really good fighter. He's way better than Gibson, in my opinion. Gibson needs to stay on the outside and just keep kick his body, like kick his body over and over, like defend takedowns. That's the way that Gibson wins this fight if he's gonna win. Let's go, here we go. I mean all the fights have gone the distance, right? So far. We haven't had a finish tonight, right? Yeah. I wish we had a finish in that uh, second fight. I mean, uh, Eeyore and uh, his disqualification. We haven't had a knockout or a submission yet. Gibson with a ton of pressure on him. Gibson looks fucking huge, though. Holy shit. Nice leg kick there by Johns, though. Overhand right there by Johns. I hope this goes over to an off. I got the over in the launch at Parlay. Cody Gibson with a ton of pressure right now. He's landing nice deep kicks. Nice leg hit there by Gibson though. Four minutes, 10 seconds to go in the first round. Oh, nice uppercut there. Sneaky uppercut there by, uh, bro, by Gibson, I mean. Johns hasn't shot to take down, take down yet. Bro, John's just swinging overhand rights again. Dude, don't spam overhand rights, John. Please don't spam overhand rights in this one. You're going to lose the fight if you spam overhand rights. Nice straight overhand right there by Gibson, though. Gibson's actually looking good here right now. 
John's got to uh, land some body shots. Like, I think he would have success landing body shots. Bro, Gibson looks great right now. Gibson trying to take him down right now. Wow. Why is Gibson shooting a takedown? Just keep a stand. Nice uh, rip to the body there by Johnzo. Nice leg kick there by Johns now. It's a really slow paced fight here. Come on, Johns. Wrestle this dude. Three minutes to go here. Gibson trying to get him. He's got him up against the fence right now in the clinch. He's trying to. Oh, nice knee to the base there by Gibson in the clinch. John's got to get away from this clinch. A nice uppercut there by John's, though. Sneaky uppercut off the break by John's. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first round. Yeah, John's is fucking ripped, too. Oh, nice. What happened there? Gibson was trying to shoot a takedown. He, got, he fell off, fell down. John's is in top controlling his posture now with a take. Not really. He didn't really shoot a takedown, but I think Gibson kind of fell to the back there. That was really, really weird. John needs to posture up and throw some ground and pound here. John's got to be careful because Gibson can cut him open. Nice elbow there off the back by Gibson. John's got to throw some ground and pound here. You can't just hold people. You, we, we've seen holding people doesn't really score points in those judges' scorecards. Gibson might cut him open uh, off, the, off his back here. One minute, 40 seconds to go right now. John's not really doing anything in the, from top position right now. He's going to land some ground and pound. He's got to be careful and not give up a triangle choke or a platter or something. John's throw some ground and pound, dude. Don't just stand in his guard. I'm 90, less than 90 seconds to go. Gibson looking for an armbar or something. It's not in, though. He's gotta be, John's got to be careful because... And John's not doing shit off on top though. Not really, he hasn't thrown a single punch yet. Throw some ground and pound, John. Nice elbow now, finally, by John's. One elbow lands from John's now. This is a good sign though. This is what he needs to do here. That was all Cody Gibson falling off his back though. That was like him falling off his back though. Gibson got two feet though already. Nice elbow there by back of the head. Really back of the head, but John's got to do this. Let's see if he can get the takedown here. He, he can't get the takedown. Oh, nice takedown by Johns now. Nice grounded pound uh, up, by Johns up against the fence right now. I think good Gibson, I think Johns going to steal this round, but it's really close. Johns is doing more work off the, uh, on the fence here. 15 seconds to go here in the first round. Oh, a nice snap took there by Johns. Did he drop him? Was he after? I think he's, yeah. Was, was that, a, that wasn't a knockdown, right? That wasn't a knockdown, but yeah, I, I think uh, Gibson fell off. Like, he kind of, kind of got off balance there. He was trying to throw a knee or something. You think Johns looks tired? I don't know. He just looks like that, I think. He just fell, yeah. I think John's 10 9 first run, but it's really um, the takedown. I mean, Gibson wasn't really doing much other than. Uh, I'm going to take them, might have been enough to take that run, but who knows, man. <laughs> What's the next fight after this? I'm curious to see what the next fight is. Um, uh, almost and Rosa. That's gonna be a banger of a fight. I need the unders in that fight. I really hope that fight ends uh, by finish. Next fight. I think John took the first round, but it's really pretty close. Gibson's gotta keep it on the feet if he wants to win this fight. John's got to 
press forward. Like, he's not really pressing forward right now. I mean, the pace isn't like something crazy, right? This is the, this is the type of pace that John can actually keep. Like, John Castaneda was on him like a fucking pit bull the whole time. Cody trying to shoot a takedown. I don't know why he keeps shooting takedowns. Bro, he, Cody gets a takedown now, but John's back up to his feet already. He's trying to take his back right now. Gibson trying to take his back, but it's it's not he's trying to take it back right now. You gonna do a ripski for me? Let's go, Normie. Do do a fucking ripski. Shout out to Normie for doing a ripski right now for for us. John, don't get grappled by this dude. Come on, what are you doing? Turn into him. Gibson just hanging onto his back right now. John's turned into a nice knee there and in, in, to the body there by Gibson though. Nice leg kick there by Gibson now. Look like he's getting tired a bit, just a bit. But he's, he's got a cut open on now, Gibson's face already. Maybe cut him open with an oh nice uppercut there, big uppercut there by Johns. That was a clean uppercut. Nice combination there by Johns now. Well, Cody Gibson uh, looks kind of oh, he looks kind of rocked right now. What happened to Gibson? Gibson looks kind of rocked right now. He keeps trying to shoot takedowns on him. He's getting punches to the face when he's shooting takedowns. Oh, nice takedown by Gibson though. John's gonna work his way back up though. He can't give up his back. He's gotta be careful. You can't give up your back to the guy that's this longer and rangier than you. Oh my God, he's got both hooks in. Gibson's got both hooks in here. Oh, he's John. Really defending, he's gonna keep his chin tucked here. Yo, wow, John, like, fucking, he's already giving up his back. Gibson's got a full body triangle locked in fully right now. Gonna, oh my goodness, that's not so getting that's under the chin. He's under the chin, no, it's not under the chin yet, but it's getting close, man. He's got two and a half minutes to work here. Yeah, Johns is already tired, bro. What the hell, Johns? You didn't even fight at a crazy pace and you're already tired? You gotta be careful. He looks exhausted right now. He's gonna turn into him. John's gonna turn into him. He, John turns into him. Nice sweep by John. Beautiful reversal by Johns now. Nice, nice job by Johns, man. Now settling on his back there. That was dangerous for Johns, though. Holy shit. Let's fucking go, Johns. Come on, man. You gotta throw some nice, nice, nice grounded pun by Johns now. Let's go, Johns. Gibson's not a guy that's gonna quit on himself, so John's gonna really gonna have to put it on him to get him out of there. John's is trying to attack a guillotine choke. He's gotta let this guillotine choke go. I needed to go over two and a half rounds for my long shot parlay too, but I got money line play on Johns here. Cody's gotta get work his way back up though. He's eating ground and pound right now. Nice job by Cody getting up to his feet though. Nice take on entry by Johns though, but one minute to go here in the second round. Second round, I mean. <coughs> Cody's got to break off the clinch here. Nice uppercut there by Johns. Big uppercut there by Johns now. Johns been winning this fight right now. I think he's up. 2018 right now. Cody Gibson's got to do something big here. Now, I lost on a pro level with uh, Stephen Wynn. Well, nice overhand right there by Johns. That rocked uh, Cody Gibson. Holy shit, that rocked Cody Gibson. Oh my, that flying knee was close. Damn, that flying knee was close. I'm still worried about John's cardio, though. Like, but he's a nice take down by John's, though. Yeah, John's looking good. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the second round right now. And John's also landed in the more impactful shots, more damaging shots. Gibson had his back, really didn't do much with the back. 2018 for John's right now. We only, I only need two and a half more minutes and I need Johns to win money and then I'll be fucking solid. And um, um, this season was plus 185 for Johns if you guys played it. 
we were talking about that this isn't proper. Uh, if you guys were, if you guys been here the whole time in the stream, um, I told you guys to maybe sprinkle the this isn't for John's because it's plus 185. As long as he doesn't get finished in the next round, he's going to be solid for that this isn't at plus 185. <laughs> <coughs> Let's go. Third, third and final round coming up now. Let's see if we can get it done. Third and final round coming up now, guys. Let's freaking go. I think Gibson needs to finish right now. He needs to finish and land something crazy like a knockout or something. Here. Bro, all the overs are looking good on, good on this card. Um, That's why I like I a lot of the overs in pro, uh, long chat parlays. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Gibson needs to put pressure on him here. Third and final round here. Nice right, right hand there by uh, uh, John. John's rocked him again. Oh, nice straight left there by John's. Boss gags. It's not 1 1, brother. I don't know like which fight you're watching, but it's not 1 1 right now. Nice takedown there, but John's bought Cody up, Cody up two feet, two, back up two feet already. It's 2018 right now, bro. There's no way it's one one right now. Gibson just hasn't done enough, even in the first round or second. It was clearly John's. He just yeah, John's just pushing through it, but he's gotta be careful with his neck though. But if they're too sweaty right now. I don't think he's gonna get a submission here. That's 2018, uh, Johns, man. There's no way it's 1-1. One, one. Like, I'm the most unbiased guy when it comes to scorecards when I'm, like, thinking what the scorecards are going to be. Even though, even though, even though, like, I had bets on uh, Stephen Mayden, I was like, oh, like, I'll give you guys the right scorecards that I think the way they're scoring it. Like, I try not to be biased when I'm trying to judge fights live, I mean. I think uh, Cody Gibson needs a 10 year round or he needs a finish here. Yeah, it is close, so I'm not saying that he's like absolutely beating the piss out of him here. Nice, like John just landed the cleaner shots here, though. That's what it's coming down to. One minute to go. I need a minute to go over one and a half, and I need John's to win. Gibson needs to throw like a flying knee or something. Like, I hope he doesn't throw a flying knee, but you never know. Come on, John, shoot a take on or something. Nice straight left there by Gibson, though. John's is tired right now, man. John's is tired. You can tell the way he's moving right now. Choose the takedown right now. Significant strikes 29 to 8. The over 2 now is just, uh, just about to hit right now, guys. That's freaking go. Over, or I got the over 2 now in a long short parlay at like month 190, I think, or something like that. Come on, John. Throw, do some. Take it a takedown. And give up the takedown. Throw some strikes. That yeah, Gibson's only throwing eight significant strikes overall. He's not gonna win this fight with that many like low volume. He needs a knockout here, like something crazy. Yeah, great, great fucking lock fight around. He's just doing what exactly what he's supposed to do. Nice combination there by John's uppercut there by John. Let's go over two and a half hit. <laughs> I'm fucking happy. <coughs> Plus 185, this isn't for John's looking really solid right now. As long as he doesn't, something crazy doesn't happen here. <laughs> nice right left there by John's now. Nice uh, blitz there by John's. Yeah, fire run. We were talking about it, right? The, this isn't a plus 185. Did you sprinkle it or not? Because I think you replied, you said uh, you were going to sprinkle it. Nice knee to the body there by Gibson now. Yeah, John's is tired though. He's tired. 90 seconds to go here. He's fucking tired now. John's is tired right now. He's really like, he might be losing the third round right now. Yeah, he's fucking tired, but he's going to win the fight. I think it's, I think John's going to hang in there. Yeah, great. That was a great line, right? Plus 185 for this season. 
Nice elbow there. Herb telling to work. Herb, damn it, Herb. Give, him a, give, me, give us a fucking break, Herb. Holy shit. All right, it's going to go the distance for sure. Now, less than a minute to go here. John's trying to take him down right now. Let's see if we can get a takedown. He's got his hands locked right now. Nice, nice takedown by Johns. Beautiful takedown by Johns. It's over now. That's over. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. It's over. It's going to be 30 27, Johns. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be over. Let's go over two and a half head. Uh, Model Johns money line head. Everything head. Let's go. Gibson had some good moments at the end of the third round, but um, not enough to win the fight. Yeah, John's uh, even 30-27 or 29-28. <coughs> uh, Cody just doesn't have power. He's also older, right? Oh man, John decision. He's gonna win a decision here. <clears throat> What's the next matchup? <clears throat> next fight's gonna be a banger, man. I just need the next fight to end in the first, like round at two and a half rounds. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Damn, I didn't have the ESPN stats on, but yeah, these are the stats, guys. So, John's landed over almost like 40 significant strikes. And had takedowns, like three, two takedowns, six minutes of control time. John's going to win unanimous decision here. Yeah, he got a unanimous decision. 30-27, right? I told you guys. It wasn't a close fight. Gibson didn't even win a single round. Great luck, bro. Great fucking luck, brother. I'm happy for you. Let's go. Cast for me too. Let's fucking go. I mean, that was a great line too. Monster, I actually got him at like mon even money and then like, like close to even money. I bet him again. Hey, close to even money. Decision was actually plus 185. She goes Betty. Plus 185 for decision. I just didn't see him finishing uh, Gibson. Gibson is fucking tough, man. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Guys, go check out Fire Fire Round, man. He just cast the uh, lock. His lock was uh, Milo Johns. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. We gotta get our boy to 100 subs now. Me and him did a uh, podcast together for this card. Let's freaking go. Big jump moves for Fire Round too. I got Hamos by KOTKO. I just I also need the unders. Like if this somehow goes a distance, like I'll be fucking fried. I'll be pissed. Let's do a, this is gonna be a really good fight here. Let's do a poll for the next one now. Ramos taking on um Arosa. <laughs> and I guess I don't want to see John's fight again, dude. It's boring. Yeah, I mean, but it's it's tough fighting a guy that's like that taller than you, right? Like like Cody Gibson, who's way taller than you, like it's a tough tough stylistic matchup though. It's tough taking down guys that are like that tall too. Like Cody Gibson is not like a bum. But he's getting older though. Like that's the only thing with that. I knew he was going to go the distance though. I'm happy because I needed the over two and a half. And if you're just watching it without betting on it, like I would be pissed too. I'd be like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah, thanks for linking your channel, brother. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Mm 
I don't think this fight's gonna go the distance either way. Ricardo Hamos. So don't the bets that I like for this for this fight. Um Hamos by KOTK is the prop of the week, by the way. Hamos by KO. It was plus two fifty when I gave it out to you guys on the on the best bets video. So it's, it's, people money has been coming in on the Hamos by KOTK now. Um under two and a half rounds, minus one eighty five. I think it goes under two and a half rounds. I actually I have two under two and a half rounds in parlays. Sprinkle the KO TKO. Um, but um Arosa's life for a submission, man. Arosa's like not a bad submission grappler. You can do either do Hamus KO or TKO and Arosa submission, but I like Thunders. That's what I really like here. Under two and a half, and the fight doesn't go the distance in parlay. That's that's my favorite play here. And that's the best bet too, under two and a half rounds. Let's go guys, let's freaking go. <clears throat> and you said um Single leg after single leg, yeah. It's tough taking guys down with the like guys that are tall as Gibson, man. Gibson should be fighting at one like one fifty five, my opinion. Uh, is there bantamweights? Yeah, they're bantamweights, right? They're usually fighting at one forty five of me. <laughs> Gibson's probably gonna be cut cut now. He's one in five in the UC now. They're probably gonna cut him now. Sermi so said, please go subscribe before the fight starts, please, and thank you. I'm sure people will sub, man. I'm, uh, people always sub. All right, Ben McClay said, I'm, hopefully this ends in a finish. Yeah, that's what I need, bro. I need this to end in a finish. I really hope he ends in a finish here. Give me a second. I got I to gotta reply to a text. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Here we go. It's going to be a crazy fight, this one. It's going to be a sick-ass fight here. Stormy said uh, he won you money if you tailed. Yeah, let's freaking go, man. Kaj said, uh, this fight reminds me of the boxing fight when I was a kid. My dad would buy the fights, and then I wouldn't, I wouldn't care until the main win. Except this two main win. Is this card is trash? Yeah, I mean, I mean... Um, mean one's probably not gonna be something crazy, but he was actually her fights are not that boring. Yeah, let's go, guys. Perk of the goat. I love, I love, I love the perk of the goat emojis. Let's fucking go. That's my favorite emoji so far. I made that like a couple of days ago. We need Perker back in the UFC, man. We need to fucking start a petition to get our boy uh, Perker back in the UFC. Let's go, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh. I want to see someone out like this in this fight. I want to see Rosa's fucking out cold like this. He might get a submission, though, but because Rosa's a really good submission grappler. If this fight hits the ground, because um, Hamos doesn't have the best fight IQ. You think boring decision? Yeah, I think I don't think this is gonna be a decision here. The way these guys fights, they don't really fight to decision. Like, Arosa has been knocked out six times at the AC level. Let's see Hamos can get something done here. Nice body kick there by Hamos. Nice leg kick there by Hamos. Nice straight left there by Hamos. Nice straight uh, left hook there by Rosa, though. Nice kick to the body there by Rosa. Come 
Come on, Hamos. Oh, nice over end right there by Hamos. Oh, my goodness. He got rocked, though. Arusa rocked him, too. He rocked him back. Oh, my goodness. He's out cold. Is he out cold? Arusa got rocked bad. He's almost knocked out. Oh, my goodness. Holy shit. He's not out yet, but he's still, still in the feed. But Arusa's trying to hang on right now. Holy shit. Oh, the mobs was trying to get a takedown. Big takedown by Hamos. Holy shit. That was close, man. I wish he just kept it standing because he would have knocked him out on the feed, man. I don't want him on the I don't want him playing on the, playing around on the ground with the with the with the grappling. Because Rosa's actually not a bad grappler. Holy shit. He rocked him bad, bro. Hamos almost in full mount here. He's in half Nelson right now. Rosa gets full guard back though. Nice elbow there by Hamos. Holy shit. He was so close to getting that first round finish. Like he's there's still 30. There's still like three and a half minutes to go here. I like your chances of getting a KO on the feet more than I like your chances on the ground getting a KO. Nice elbow there by Hamos. Rosa back up to his feet already. Well, nice spinning back fist there by Hamos. He shoots another takedown. You gotta be careful of this guillotine choke, man. Arosa's not a bad guillotine. He's got some nasty guillotine. He's got the guillotine choke. He's got this guillotine choke. Bro, he's got this guillotine choke. It might be over. It's probably over. Is he guys tapped? He tapped. Holy shit, he tapped. Let's go. We hit the O unders. Let's fucking go. Holy shit, he tapped him out. Yeah, he fucking tapped him out. Holy shit. Hamos got fucking submitted. Yeah, Hamos fight IQ is just not there. I'm just happy the unders all fucking hit. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Arosa's submission was plus 450, bro. Holy shit. Under one and up hit two, man. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Good shit if you guys had Arosa submission, man. I knew that was really likely. Because Hamos, I don't know why he's wrestling him. Like, he's, he could have knocked him out on the feed. I don't know what the fuck he does. Like, Hamos is like, fight IQ is just so suspect. Thomas was fight IQ, some of the worst fight IQ I've seen. He knocked him down, like hurt him badly. Then he take, goes in for the grappling. Like, what's he do? What the hell is this guy doing? Holy shit. But yo, fucking great fight. I'm just happy the unders all hit. That wasn't even sweaty. That wasn't even sweaty at all. Boss guy said Rosa always gets hurt, but he hasn't seen recovery. He just Thomas was fight IQ, bro. If he didn't shoot a takedown, it would have knocked him out on the feet, in my opinion. He just can't fucking fight. He just doesn't have good fight IQ. Like, he was clipping bad, then he went for wrestling. Like, I don't know what the hell Hamos was doing, but I'm just happy the Unders hit. That's what I like. I uh, wanted the Unders to hit. Hamos, I hope, hope fucking Hamos done, bro. Like, this dude is fucking true. got some of the worst fight IQ out there. <laughs> um, why did you wrestle? Yeah, I don't know why. Like, why, why would you wrestle now? Like, you're easily, like, you're about to knock this guy out cold. <laughs> you're going to go wrestle this dude then? No, this is crazy. I'm just happy that Anders hit though. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Great win for Rosa, man. Great fucking win for Rosa. Let's go. The unders all fucking hit too. I needed the unders. I had like so many poor long shot parlors with the unders. I had so many parlors with the unders. And that was the best bet under two and a half rounds. And that wasn't even sweaty at all. I'm happy with the with that fight. Probably, I would have liked to get my pick right, but it is what it is. So I'm happy either way. Let's go, guys. Nate Brown with another fucking $2 super chat. He said, I hit the like button, guys. Let's listen to Nate Brown, man. So it's been fucking uh, super chatting and uh, gifting memberships. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate the support. The show said Hamas is so terrible. Yeah, it's like his fight IQ is like so suspect. He did the same thing against Charles Jordan too. He's talking about Jordan engaging him in his last fight too. Yeah, like what, what what's he saying, bro? Like what the hell is what is Earl Hamas doing? Like he could have knocked him out on the feet, but he still he wrestles him, puts his head in a guillotine choke. <laughs> 
So um, yeah, the, that was me. Like when I was when I saw that guilty choke, but I'm happy that it under unders hit. I really needed unders in that one. Holy shit! That was that was a fucking great point. Finally, we see a proper finish there. Next fight's gonna be Ogden versus the uh, Halabo. Let's see if you can get it done here. Trey Ogden taking on uh, Kurt Halabo. Let me see what other legs I need for the long. I need the over two and a half rounds on Billy Corntillo fight. That wasn't too worried about that fight going over. I got Kurt Hollibo by finish only in a, in a long shot parlay too. I have minus 150. Because I don't think Trey Arden is going to finish him. If there's a finish, it's probably going to be Kurt Hollibo. But if Trey Arden just stays on the feet, I think he's going to... I think he's just going to outstrike him on the feet. But Hollibo is life for a finish for sure. Yeah, Hamas is a terrible fight IQ. And McCliff said Hamas' only way to win was KO or just isn't he went for the takedown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's trying to grapple with a dude that's got way better submission grappling than him. And he said, happy for you, man. I posted on this one. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go. He passed in this one, but yeah, I was like, I was pretty confident in the under is because Hamos has terrible fight IQ and the Rosa has a trouble chin. Either way, I was like, finishes very likely. Fire said, I like it up, guys. Shout out to Pickham for hosting the fight companion. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with us. I, I, I really enjoy doing the fight companions. And McCliff said, We need some more locks, Pickham and Fire Rum. Bro, my lock is Puelos, but I'm not like. I'm having second thoughts about him being a lock, but I think Puelos can get it done. Ernie B said, uh, dude, he's such a likable guy. Why does he have to suck? Hamos? You're talking about Hamos? I mean, he just his fight IQ is just not there. You think Kurt's winning this one? I just got a feeling. That's, that's MMA experts lock. I got his uh, finish only at yeah, 150 in a long shot parlay. I think he can cast that um, finish only. Like If he gets a, if there's a finish in this fight, it's going to be Kurt Hollibo. If there isn't a finish, it's going to be um, Trey Arden winning a decision, in my opinion. Yeah. So I don't think... Because um, I don't think that Arden's going to finish him, right? Halibo is the only one that has more finishing, abo- finishing up, uh, ability in this fight, in my opinion. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Hmm. <laughs> Let's freaking go. What other? I need three legs next week for that plus 1530 parlay. I only had 40 on it though. So I need uh, Bill Algeo to win next week. I need Silva, Bruno Silva to win, Rizzi Boyle to win. And I need the uh, over two and a half rounds in that uh, Billy Cortillo fight. For that, a plus fifteen hundred thirty parlay. Let's see if we can hit that one. That'll be sick if we hit that parlay. I got a couple of long shot parlays on this card with some overs and totals, mixed in with some Bellator fights from yesterday. <clears throat> I got another parlay for next week. Um, Connor Matthews. I think he's gonna win as a dog. I got him parlay with Bill Aldew and uh, um. What's his name? Uh, Ruzi Boyev. Let's go, guys. Let's see what happens. Let's do a let's do a um, uh, poll for this one. I can't fucking think of the name, but yeah, let's do a poll for this one. Ogden taking on uh, Halabo. Halabo. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. It's going to be a fun fight here, I think. What were the other best bets that, it, that we did for this week? There's Billy over to, over one and a half in that Pirillo fight and uh, Pirillo fight. Billy Curntillo money line. 
Billy Crunchy is actually a dog now. Steven Wayne, I, I, that's the only best bet that we lost on so far. The under two and a half rounds in that uh, last fight. That was actually minus 150 early in the week, like two days ago. It was minus 150. We hit the over two and a half in Bellator. We didn't hit the Corey Anderson by finish. He didn't, no, Corey Anderson didn't get a finish yesterday. Well, let's go. Let's freaking go. Carly of the week is one of the week. Uh, over one and a half in the Stephen Wayne versus Aaron's fight. Over two and a half rounds in the Billy Contillo Jalal fight, and over one and a half in the Simon Talbot fight. That's the part of the week. Let's go, guys. This is going to be a fun fight here. This is going to be a good scrap here. You're four and one on the card. Great fucking picks, man. Great picks. I think I'm like three and two on picks right now. Now I'm like four and two on picks right now. Hamus would have won the fight if he just didn't fucking shoot a take that. <laughs> I'm never gonna pick Hamus to win another fight in the UFC. Like you just you can't trust this guy's fight IQ out there. That's why I didn't bet his money line at all. And I said that in my breakdown too. Hamus not really a guy that I would ever trust as a money line. Or like uh, for anything other than maybe like a sprinkle on the KO. And the KO was right there too. He was so alive for a KO if he just didn't do the takedown. Let's go, guys. Next fight's going to be fun. I'm excited for the next one. You guys are picking Ogden here. I thought a lot of you guys would be picking Halibo here. Let's go. I'm excited for this fight here. Kurt Hollibo actually looks ripped right now. I keep forgetting to change it to change it to ESPN Plus stats live. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited for this next fight. This might be the, this might be a stinker or is either gonna be a really good fight here. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Oh dang. You try to tell me Rosa was snatching that neck up all day. Yeah, I mean, good pick if you had a uh, Rosa on that one. I'm just happy that it ended inside the distance. Why does Kurt Hollibo's hair is like, like this part of his hair is like fucking white? Did he do that himself? That's so weird. You guys see it too? Like he's got some like white hair like right in the front. Maybe he did it himself. I mean, Cliff said, I just lie bed Kurt. I don't trust Ogden stand up. I mean, I I, I got a long shot. I got a finish only. Kurt uh, Hollibo finish only. Minus 150 and a long shot parlay. I think it's like 30 to win like 240 or something like that. For the long shot parlay. That's the only long shot parlay that I have uh, 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 Kurt Hollibo in. Finish only. It's not like a money nine. It's just finish only. But Trey Ogden is actually a really good. Decent striker, but Halibo probably has more one punch power. Halibo is on him like a pit bull right now. Nice leg hit there by Halibo, though. Nice job there by Ogden. Nice over left hook there by Ogden, though. Yeah, Rosa's submission. Uh, if you guys played it, I mean, it was plus 450. It's actually not a bad submission. The submission value was crazy. And we're talking about it too. I was like, if he wins, it's going to be submission. Like, next time I'm just going to pick against anyone against fucking Hamo. So you can't trust this guy's fight IQ. Nice take to him by Ogden, though. He's got to be careful because Halibu has really good grappling skills. It's a really good submission game.
why do we why do we need to know about about his wife like can we, can we chill out like why do we need to know c train them and me who cares oh, i didn't turn on nice elbows there off the back by halibo right now though i just gotta be careful man halibo's got some nasty jiu-jitsu off his back too Nice control by Ogden, though. He's constantly landing ground and pound shots. Like some rabbit punches right now from top. Did he not finish the work here for uh, Ogden? I wouldn't I wouldn't be too comfortable if I was Ogden staying in Alibo's guard. Look, is he looking for submission? Ogden does have submission skills, too. He's trying to set up an arm, arm triangle. Three minutes to work here for Ogden. I just gotta be careful because Ogden is um, not, not looking for the arm triangle anymore. <clears throat> Referee's not gonna break him apart because uh, Ogden is, is looking for arm triangle here. If he gets his leg free, he's gonna look for an arm triangle. He's trying to get his leg free right now. Halibo knows he's trying to do that. Eventually, he's going to get his leg free. Eventually, he's getting... <clears throat> Two minutes of work here. You might look for a one flu choke too, you never know. Halibo's gotta work his way up, or he's gonna lose a fight just like this. Ninety seconds to go here in the first round. Ogden just on top, landing some ground and pound, looking for submissions right now. He's looking for this arm triangle. If he gets the leg free, he might have this arm triangle. He's got it. He's got the arms under the chin. A horrible might get a sweep here, but Ogden's still on top. Halibo knows that he's trying to get his leg free for arm triangle. That's why he's not really letting his leg go. Now he's gonna let, let's see if he can let us if he lets his leg go. He's not letting his leg go. See, he's got an ankle lock, he's got a lock on uh, Arden's leg. Arden can just do this for three rounds, to be honest with you guys. Like, who's girl screaming in the fucking back, dude? Someone needs to fucking chill this girl out. Is that Arden's, Arden's girl in the back? Ogden's like kind of dominating this first round right now. Is that Jacob? <laughs> it might be Jacob. <laughs> no, it's not Jacob. It's not Jacob. It's a chick, bro. It's a chick. It's not fucking Jacob. That would have been funny if that's actually Jacob. He sounds like that. All right, 10 9 for Ogden, clean 10 9 for Ogden. Halibo really didn't have any, any moments in that first round. Not really a 10 8, I'll give it like 10 9, clean 10 9 for Ogden. Ogden's got to be careful when he grapples, though. Like, Halibo is, is a good, really decent grappler. I think it's not Diego. I think it was, it was a girl. Oscar said, it. "Yeah, I probably should have picked Ogden." I mean, Halibo is still alive, man. Don't count uh, Halibo. Jeremy said he said he would scream. Maybe it is it. Maybe it sounds like a girl over there. No, nah, that was a girl. I swear, that was a girl screaming. It was not. It doesn't sound like Jacob.
Okay, here we go. Second and coming up now. We got six more fights after this one. Nice uh, leg kick there by Ogden, though. Palbo needs to plan and throw some, some big shots right now. But nice leg kick there by Ogden. Ogden just a way better striker on the feet right now. He's probably going to shoot a takedown eventually. Nice, nice uh, question mark kick there by Ogden. Wow. Bro, Ogden's like just outclassing him right now. Ogden's got to get away from the fence because Hollibur can... Oh, nice left hook there by Ogden. Ogden's already... He's just a step ahead. Ogden just a step ahead. This is where he's got to watch out. Look up against the fence. This is where Ogden's got to watch out when he has uh, Ogden up. Like, Hollibur is dangerous when he has you up against the fence because then you don't really have a, anywhere to go other than uh, either left or right. Nice leg kick there by Ogden now. Yeah, Hollywood just looks slow. Like, not, nice overhand right there by Ogden. Nice leg kick there by Ogden. A nice overhand right there by Hollywood now, finally. And Ogden uh, acknowledged that shot. Nice body kick there by Ogden now. There are some welts on Ogden's face right now. I mean, Hollywood is landing. He's actually make, connecting with some power. Nice left hook there by Ogden now. Nice take on entry by Ogden. I don't know if he's going to get this. He's not going to get this take on. Nice take on defense by Halibo. Three and a half minutes to work here. Well, nice combination by Halibo. Big shots by Halibo. Ogden's going to watch out. He's, he's kind of got rocked with that one. Halibo is looking really good now. This is what he's got to do. Keep pressure on him, Ogden. Like, this is how he's going to win if he's going to win. Nice leg kick there by Halibo. Oh, my goodness. That kind of was he off balance? I think Ogden was off balance in that one, in that moment there. Nice, nice knees to the body there by Ogden. Ogden looks like he's slowing down a bit. Nice take down by Ogden. Wow, beautiful take down by Ogden. Wow. Two and a half minutes to work here for uh, Ogden from top. Ogden's looking for a triangle. Now you're just controlling him on the ground right now. He's almost in hot, full guard. He's almost in full mount here. But Ogden still has, uh, has a left leg lock in. He's landing some shoulder strikes right now. For Ogden. It almost looks like Halibo was going to win the second on, but who knows how it's going to go now. Trey Ogden is winning this fight right now. He's got that arm trapped, yeah. That's all they're talking about, eh? One minute to go here in the second round right now. If you guys play the over, the over is looking good right now. Oh, it's going to be, a, yo, he's going to get his leg arm free because he's going to eat some grounded pound here. And the referee's taking a close look here. Why is the referee taking a, such a close look? It's not even that bad. Bro, it's not even that bad, to be honest. Like, he's not eating the biggest shots out there, eh? The referee's looking like he wants to fucking stop the fight right away. He's landing some shots though, but it's not the worst shots out there. He's gonna survive. But Arden's gonna be up two rounds now. Excuse me. Yeah, Arden's really really well from top here. Nice hammer fist by Ogden at the end. Ogden's up two rounds now, in my opinion. 
Yeah. Mustaf said Kurt is a bozo. Yeah, he's like he's a decent submission grappler, but I didn't think he was gonna have success in this fight. He's only, he's only I was like only thing that I liked on him was the finish only. And he, he might get finished in that third round. I'm like kind of I'm kind of worried because I got that in the parlay, finish only for uh, Alibo. But I got money line on uh on uh Trey Ogden. <clears throat> Halibur needs a 10 air round or he needs a finish now. Ultimate Fighter is a sham, Voskag said. Yeah, I mean, look at uh, Cody Gibson, right? He was fighting on the Ultimate Fighter. Look at it back at Tona. Like, so, like. Well, let's see if Halibur can get something done here, man. The Ultimate Fighter run coming up now. He's going to need to land some knockout or like a knockout or something here. He might be getting tired now too with all the ground and pound that he's been taking. Here we go. Third and final round now. Halibut needs a finish here in my opinion. He needs a 10-8 round. He really needs to put it on Trey Arden here. I was thinking about locking Trey Ogden, but then I'm like, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people picking Halibo, so I was like, I don't know if I want to lock him. I took the next best thing, <laughs> Poilo by plus 150 underdog. Let's see if Poilo can get him back with the locks. Our last lock was Dogarian. He just fucking cast out in the third round. Still thought he did enough. Should have been a draw at the very most, though, but that's the game, though. Halibut trying to track him down right now. A nice overhand right there by Halibo now. Halibut is having success when he throws punches. Halibut's still in this, man. Now he's taken by Arden. Arden gets the takedown right away when Halibut was having success on the feet. Wow. It's going to be a decision for Ogden. Yeah, it's going to be um, Ogden by decision, yeah. His speed really giving Halibo problems. Uh, like he's when he gets him up against the fence, like that's when Halibo is having success. He just like he just can't really like defend the takedown though. Like his takedown defense is horrible. He was getting taken down by uh, Austin Hubbard too, and uh, he was able to catch a submission like arm triangle in a grappling exchange in the scramble. Like like Like, Triff, to be fair, Trey Ogden is actually landing some ground and pound. Like, he's not really just holding him the whole time. He's landing some, he was landing some shots in the second round. Like, he's not doing what Maul Jones is out there doing. Not landing anything on, on the ground. Ernie Beef said, I bet on Ogden. I think super exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You already cut Igor? No fucking way they already cut him. Wow. Dude, that is crazy. They already cut him. Uh, wow, that's crazy. He's, he's trending, Ray Severino's trending right now. Wow, they cut him already, bro. Is that just people? He's already cut from, from the UFC fighter mood, Igor Severino. Those Dana White said those are too big. Two up and coming undefeated fighters. If you get frustrated and win out of out of the fight, there are plenty of ways to do it. But the worst thing you can do is fight. Is uh, now you get cut. Wow, they cut him, bro. Holy shit! I was really hoping that they would give him another chance because uh, Igor's a kid, right? He's only twenty years old. Like we can't be doing shit like that, man. Let's go over over two and a half. Eight. I was feeling good about the overs in this one too. But I was worried that Halibo might be live for a finish, though. That's the only reason I didn't put money on the overs. Well, Ogden just like, just absolutely fucking dominating him on the ground. On the feed, like, Halibo has a chance on the feed, just on the ground. Like, he's got no chance on the ground. Pause, guys. That hopefully they cut Ogden or whatever this is, too. And he's, he's dominating Halibo, though. Like, a lot of people thought Halibo was going to win, right? 
So like, I mean, most of Tapology picked him to win. Like, seventy percent almost picked him to win here. I think he's like the most favorite underdog of the uh, of this card on public underdog. Just take down defense. Just take down defense was solid. I think could have maybe uh, hurt Trey Ogden on the feed maybe a bit. Yeah, this fight is pretty much over now. It's gonna be thirty twenty seven. I think thirty twenty seven. Trey Ogden. Next fight. What's the next matchup now? Next match is gonna be uh, Puelos. That's my lock of the week, man. Let's see if we can hit the lock of the week. Uh, Puelos needs to press forward. He can't be on the back foot and stay at range. Okay, that let Padilla kick his fucking legs and body off. Yeah, Trey Arden won the fight. 30 27. And McLeod said, um, over two and off, and this one was a good play. I pissed. Um, I'm pissed. I didn't see the access coming. And he said, Arden is doing no damage. Yeah, I was like, if Arden wins, it's going to be a decision. And I was pretty confident early in the week that Arden's going to win. But throughout the week, I was like having fucking second thoughts about, um, in Ogden, because I was like, I've seen a lot of people in Hollywood, so I was like, I was worried about it, but good for Ogden, he got it done, 30 and 7. It wasn't the most exciting fight out there, but he won, right? Hollywood was frustrated, bro. Dude, you didn't have good take down defense. What do you expect? People are going to take you down if you don't have good take down defense. Like, defend the fucking take down, Hollywood. You guys are pissed at Ogden? I mean, I don't really blame him. I mean, you're supposed to go out there and win your fights, right? I mean, but like you gotta go for like a finish or something, right? But Olivo should have been the one defending Tatum's in my opinion. Cause he was landing some big shots uh, when he had Trey Ogden up against the fence. Alright, next fight's gonna be um let's do a poll for the next one now. Puello taking on Padilla. Dangerous lock of the week, but let's see if we can hit this one. I mean, Ogden doesn't really finish people, right? Like, it's going to finish people that don't have good ground. Like, got a decent submission grappling skills. I was like, he's not going to submit a uh, hollow But yeah, he can definitely, like, win minutes, right? That's what he did, win one minute. I guess Perillo. Perillo taking on. Um, I think Padilla's on the juice right now, man. I've seen his pictures, and it looks like he's on the juice right now. Let's go, guys. Main card coming up now. I'm excited for the main card. Is it 3027 or is it 2028? Yeah. 3027, yeah. Wow. <sighs> I mean, he should be on a win streak right now. He actually won against the Mota, too. He beat Mota. I mean, Mota is not a bad striker, right? He was out striking Mota. I mean, Cliff said, I think Pridella here, he said in an interview he wants to use all his weapons, not just the box in this fight. I mean, he definitely could win. I mean, most people are picking him to win. I'm just I'm just not sold on Pridella, man, myself. I just, I don't think he, if you're losing to Nelson, like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't think fucking uh, Nelson's all that good. I could be wrong on this one for sure, but I'm going with pillows on this one. So let's go, guys. Next fight coming up now. Main card time now. Let's freaking go. Damn, everyone's taking for Pirella. Okay, maybe he goes out there and gets it done. Maybe I'm fucking wrong. But I don't know. I think Pirella needs to stay in his face. So if he stays in his face, I think he's probably 
probably can get something done, but I do get that Padilla is a better striker, more technical, has a better kicking game. But I don't know. I'm just not sold in Padilla. Padilla KO. Maybe, maybe. I guess we're going to find out right now. Let's just let's, let's fucking go. Let's find out right now. Any of you said 99% of these fighters are cheating somehow. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I miss up said Pillar KO. And I guess that uh, I hope Miles Johnson gets a no contest on their fights. I mean, what did you expect? This card, like, I, I picked a lot of decisions on this card, right? Like, I picked, I'm picking like Puello decision, I'm picking Cornetillo decision, Talbot decision, Sabajan KO, William decision, picking Namajunas by KO. Um, yeah, a lot of these fights, like, for the distance on this card. I only had one real finish on the card, which is the uh, Rosa by submission. I'm excited for the main card, man. Let's freaking go. I hope we get some fun matchups here. I, I think it goes over one and a half, though. I like the over one and a half in this one. Either way, I think this fight goes over one and a half. And I got Billy Kurt. Hello, he's underdog now too. I'm excited for the next fight, man. Let's freaking go. But it looks like he's on the juice now. Like if you guys seen his pictures, he definitely looks like he's juicing right now. They're juiced, yeah, of course. I mean, most of the fighters are juiced out there. Ernie B said I got low confidence for the lot, but I bet him. Like I already seen the fight. Uh, I'm excited. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go, man. I'm excited for the main card here. And he said, look at Mao John's last fight. It was uh, Dan Argueta. It wasn't an exciting fight, but um, I actually bet against Mao John's last fight. Argueta. Argueta was just walking into punches. And I guess that there's a reason he got a no contest. It's not a reason, bro. He got like Mota's early stoppage. I mean, he was about to finish uh, Mota in that one. His third on submission. Should have been a, it should be a win on, on his record, in my opinion. Forgot to bite out. Forgot about the bite. Kill oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. We actually cut him, bro. That's crazy. They already cut him. You can't be doing shit at shit, shit like that at the UFC level. It doesn't matter how old you are. Honestly, it's not Dana. I might give him another opportunity, but it doesn't matter how old you are at the UFC level. You can't be doing shit like that at the UFC level. That's cool, guys. Me and Kurt time now, finally. Let's go. I'm excited for this main card. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. I'm excited for the main curve, man. Let's see what happens. Hello. I like over one and a half. I think it goes over one and a half either way. If anyone gets a Tatum, it's probably Padilla. But, um, because I don't think Padilla is going to be shooting takedowns on him. The money came in on Padilla because he was plus 150 like a couple of hours ago. Padilla by this isn't plus 400. Money line. If you're gonna bet the underdog, like my lock of the week underdog, I mean, take the money line. It's not bad. What about Pirilla by decision? Plus two seventy five. Pirilla by decision. Pirilla by KO. Plus two twenty five. I mean, he knocked out Rosa. Right, Rosa. We know how Cheney Rosa is, though.
I need Pella definitely gonna win the first round though, I think. But if Pella keeps the distance, he probably will be able to outstrike him. Like I'm not clueless, I understand that he probably can outstrike him from the outside. Let's see what happens. I think <laughs> I think Pella probably uh, lands more strikes overall. More seconds for the law. I wouldn't lead out the KO line. <laughs> I think it goes over one and half either way. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Main card time now. Let's freaking go. This is main card, man. We got some good fights here. We got Tafa in there, too. Let's go. Tafa gang. I mean, I, I want to be in the Tafa gang, but I don't know. If he's going to defend some takedowns in this one. If he doesn't defend some takedowns, who knows if he's, he's going to win. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We had 200 dogs win on the card so far. Irons and uh, the other, uh, other dog was uh, Rosa. Yeah, Rosa. Guys, make sure you guys are sub to the channel if you guys are new here. I go live for like uh, Bellator, PFO. Like, I go live for you. Every UFC event out there. Make sure you guys uh, hit the sub button. Mesco said a dude got hit by a car and still fighting right now. Which who what's his name? That's crazy, dude. Putting a sprinkle on Pillow submission plus six. Uh, I mean that's not bad. If he's gonna get this, if he gets a take on his life for submission for sure, you got better jiu-jitsu on the ground. But sometimes he'll not, he'll probably not wrestle sometimes. If he wrestles here, he's probably gonna be able to maybe lock in the submission late. I'm hoping he keeps it in the feed and uh put us out strike, like lands the bigger shots on the feed. Like the way Pueblo fights is very aggressive though. He fights really aggressive on the feed. Rose fat, nah. Rose isn't fat. She's 125. Yeah, she's not fat. It's just she's tiny. Like I don't even, I don't think she's fat. And he MXF said, uh great great night. Hope you all are doing great too. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good right now. My uh, long term parlors are looking good right now. Mal Johns, I mean, he came through for us in the money line. The only guy that let me down was Stephen Wynn. Trey Harden came through for us, too. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Minty Bass. Damn, Minty Bass. He's, he's, um, I mean, T-Best is picking uh, Nama Junus. Nama Junus to win over one and a half rounds. I actually don't mind that one. I think it goes over one and a half either way. That's honestly not bad for over one and a half. Minus 125 for Doug Rose. That's a smart play by Minty Betts. The odds for this one? The odds for this one is uh, Pueblo's is plus 144. So some money has been coming in in Padilla now. Padilla up to minus 164. I'm going with the underdog in this one. Let's see how it goes for us. <clears throat> for you talking about Rose? Rose is minus 212. Huh? I like the. I think this this next one goes over one and a half rounds. Minus one eighty five. 
I have the fight starts round two in a parlay, in the long shot parlay for this next fight. Let's see how, let's see how uh, Pedela looks out here. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. I'm excited for this one. Let's see how it goes. Either I'm going to be really wrong or I'm going to be really right on this one. Let's say he's planning on ruining his debut. He's trying to ruin my night, too. Mick, MD, MDK said, I um, want to wanna take the rap, take that with the Raptors plus seven and seven points. I haven't been betting NBA for like uh, for the last two weeks. Bro, he, like, I actually bet on him. I had had Padilla in a poor lay, but the. Uh, who was it? I think it was Cody Durden when he fought Arosa. It was like plus 100, so it came through for me there. But Arosa is like super chinny. If you used to keep it on the field with Arosa, you can knock him out. Hamas has got fucking horrible fight IQ. MDK said, uh, yeah, using uh, Dark Kings. MBK, uh, are you watching uh, Dark Kings Wagers? You guys are watching N NBA and MMA together? That's just, like, that's crazy. And for me, MMA is first, and I watch NBA. Like, I don't mind watching NBA sometimes. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Carlos needs to stay in his face. That's the way he's going to win if he wins this fight. Did you say he wants to eat the words and eat the UFC? Did he just say that? Did you guys see the captions on the fucking screen? Did he really just say that he wants to eat, eat the words and eat the UFC? Maybe they got the subtitles wrong. <laughs> so this dude just said he wants to eat the UFC. Maybe maybe he's trying to speak. Maybe they got the translations wrong in this one. Mm -hmm. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Bro, there's so many ads, bro. Can we get fucking can we get rid of the ads? Holy shit, sports net. So frustrated with the ads. These ads are so frustrating, bro. Bro, I'm still watching ads right now. What the fuck is going on, sports net? Is the fight not on right now? They're still walking out right now, so I can't even watch the walkouts right now. God damn it. I got some bets in for next week. If you guys want to check the members stuff, you'll see it right there. I got a parlay and like a, um, a money nine bet for next week. I got I like a couple of spots next week. We're gonna be out there with the crowd next week. I can't wait for it. I'm so excited for next week, man. Ernie, Ernie B said we're missing all the silly line metaphors. <laughs> yeah. Uh so we normally said oh, you get ads too. I thought it was just only no, it's not the, it's not the illegal stream thing. You get ads on uh like if you watch it through like ESPN Plus or like Sports Night. Like I'm I'm watching it Sports Night in Canada, so still gonna get ads. Uh, do I have, do I have the Discord pinned pinned here? I gotta pin the Discord here. Join the Discord, guys. We got over fucking 150 people in the Discord. We got a really solid community in the Discord. We got 
people. We have bets for like NBA stuff. We got like Nate Nate Brown dropping bets. We got Stormy Normy bet, dropping bets. We got MMA Cliff dropping bets. We got a lot of people dropping bets for um, MMA boxing. Like we got everything. So make sure you guys join the Discord. Uh, let's go. Let me pin this in the Discord. So the chat's picking up Padilla at 83%. Padilla obviously has fought the better competition. So I get why you guys are picking here. I got the Peruvian guy, yeah. I'm going to rock with the Peruvian guy as a dog here. Let's see how it goes for us, though. Either I'm going to be really right or I'm going to be really wrong in this one. I'm doing pretty decent in round picks today, so I'm not really... One second. Let's go. It's starting right now. Let's go. I'm excited for this one. We're taking Padilla uh, went to distance with Danny. Yeah, he did go go the distance with Danny. He's fought some decent guys too. Padilla versus Arce for the most uh, counted fighter. That's crazy. For a seven inch reach advantage is crazy though. Let's see Padilla can live up to the hype here. Let's go. Let's go. Fight's about to start in a minute. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The fight is on. Let's go. Nice leg kick there by Polo. Perillo looks fucking tall though. Like he's actually pretty rangy. Nice leg kick there by Perillo though already. He's gonna he's gonna pump the jab out there. Perillo's gonna need to jab, pump the jab out there. Nice like it about Padilla already. I just go, I just really hope that it goes into the second on. Huh? Like Polo needs to stay in the pocket. He can't stay on the outside. A nice, nice T kick there by Padilla already. Nice body shot. Oh, nice right hook there by Polo now. Nice body kick there by Padilla now. Padilla. Is that his name, Padilla? Nice, nasty cap kick. And nice, yeah, he's landing more kicks here. Nice uppercut there by Padilla. Well, nice elbow now, Padilla. Padilla's looking phenomenal here. Nice leg kick there by Padilla. Yeah, those leg kicks are already doing damage in Puello. He's gonna have a hard time. Oh, nice right hand there by Puello now. Puello can't stay on the outside. Like, if he stays on the outside, he's gonna have a piece picked apart. Nice body kick there by Padilla now. Nice cap kick. Oh, nice right hand there by Puello now. Big, big body shot there by. Oh my goodness. He knocked him down. It's gonna be over. Puello trying to. Oh, he's gonna be over. He's gonna be over. He's in. Puello, Puello got fucking rocked. He got dropped bad. It's gonna be over now. I think this might be fucking over here. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, nasty ground and pound. It's fucking over. It's fucking over. Damn, rest in peace, my lock. It's fucking over. Holy shit, he fucking finished him. Holy shit, he fucking finished him. You guys are right on that one. I was wrong. 
Damn, he's oh, elbows are nasty from Padilla. Holy shit. He fucking sparked him. Holy shit. Kyle Nelson, how good is Kyle Nelson then? Like, holy shit. Kyle Nelson, I don't think Kyle Nelson's all that good. But Kyle Nelson, like, good for, good for Padilla, man. He actually fucking got it done. He submitted him. Then he fucking subbed him up. Holy shit. He beat the shit out of him. Holy shit. <laughs> he beat the fucking shit out of him. I mean, Pabrillo had some good moments, but it's just the, the reach and the height, like the fucking fight IQ is just way fucking much, too, too much for him, for Pueblo. Yeah, good good shit if you guys had Padilla in that one. I thought Pueblo could get something done, but I was wrong on that one. It's all good, though. This has said easy. Yeah, that was fucking easy. Padilla make that shit look easy. What was the what was the hook that caught him? It was a bot. It was a left hook that fucking rocked the Puello. That straight left that rocked him too. That knocked him down. I mean, it was almost out. He would have finished him by KO to be honest, but he subbed him. <clears throat> now that ninja choke was like fully locked in. That was a ninja choke. That was dark choke or ninja choke. It was a dark choke. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, Pedro is the fucking real deal, man. Holy shit. Can't tell me said how did Kyle Nelson beat and uh and outstrike this dude. I think he was throwing more leg kicks and he wasn't like staying on the outside. I think that's the way he beat him there. All right, let's go, guys. I mean, good fight. I mean, good fighting, good, a good exciting fight. Good win for Padilla. Didn't cast with the lock of the week there. It's all good though. I'll have a better lock of the week next week for you guys. I hope they don't take too long till next fight now. I hope you fucking run through these fights now. Next fight is going to be... What's the next matchup now? Next fight is going to be... Um, Billy Corntillo and Yusuf Jalal. I think Billy Corntillo is a dog, right? I have a, I have a play on him. Um, I, have a, I have a money line play on uh, Corntillo here. I think you can get something done in this one. <clears throat> yeah, Kyle Nelson, how good is fucking Kyle Nelson? Like, Kyle Nelson's actually fucking good. I was all underrating Kyle Nelson then. <clears throat> Byron said, uh, good shit. I mean, because, yeah, good shit if you guys play the submission. Because he rocked him and then clubbed and subbed him up. McClay said, uh, yeah. Uh, it's over the fight, ref. Yeah, I don't know why the referee was stopping it. It was over when he was landing ground and pound. He let he let Puello take too many unanswered shots. I guess it was over right away. It was like fucking over right away. All right, guys. Next fight. What's the next match or now? Let's do a poll for the next one. I got that one wrong. Um, next fight is gonna be um. That's the next match, you know. Next fight is going to be Corntillo. Yeah, Corntillo versus Jalal. I'm going with the dog in this one, too. Corntillo is a dog now. For, let's see if Capella calls someone out, Corntillo. Taking on uh, Jalal. Yeah, Padilla looked fucking good out there. First round finish, too, man. You got a lot of first round finishes out there. Is he going to call someone out? He got 11 first round finishes. Holy shit. He's like, oh, no, it's a dog. What you all mean? It's the beard. It might be the beard. It might be the beard on that one. Um, Ernie B said, I think I'm impressed how humble you are in the last. I'm 44, just learning how to act right. I mean, I'm fucking, I'm like sad that I got that fucking, I picked a bad lock of the week there, but it's all good, man. I mean. It's all good though. We'll bounce back next week though. Byron said, um, at least you take chances. You had a uh, JDM and Vinicius Oliveira. Yeah. I was like, I knew it was, like, it was a dangerous fight. I mean, I'm not clear. I'm not like oblivious, right? Like, it was a dangerous fight for, um, Padilla's not a bum, right? Like, he's not a bum. Like, but I was like, maybe Padilla can stay in the pocket. Like, maybe touch him up in the boxing. But he had no chance. The dude has no fucking chance. He got sparked. That's, that's basically what happened. He got sparked. Like crazy. 
Um, he just said that uh, Jalal TKO. I mean, Jalal might be able to t knock him out, right? But Jalal is not really like that dangerous. I mean, he's been knocking people on the wrong reason. I'm a right? Maybe you can knock him out, but I'm, I'm on Cortillo in this next one. Cortillo is actually, um, Cortillo is plus 100, the underdog right now. I'm picking the dog in the next one. Maybe Jalal looks really good out there. He's only 27 years old, right? So you got to expect these young guys who look good out there. I think it goes over, though. I think either way it goes over. Um, Fireman said, uh, all great odds. And Cliff said, yeah, pick him, takes his emotions out of way for the most part, which is ideally what you want to do. Uh, you can't be too, like, if you get a fight pick wrong, like, you can't be too fucking hard on yourself. This is MMA, bro. We're fucking trying to bet on MMA. <laughs> like, this this is a crazy game we're betting on. He said, uh, MDK said, I'm taking the next two fights to start round two and Rose money line. I mean, uh, I just need the next one to go over two and a half rounds, just to be honest. That's what I need in the next one. I hope it goes over two and a half rounds. And I need according to the money line. Let's see according to the money line can cash. <clears throat> Yo, we're two and a half. That's what I need. And then I need um, next week. I need Rizzi Boya, Silva, and Eldio for that plus fifteen hundred parlay. How many legs was that? That was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine legs. Holy shit! I normally don't do long shot parlays like that. I had another long shot parlay which I had a uh, Stephen win in there, but Stephen win lost. But let's see if we can hit this one next week. This one's gonna go up until next week. It's gonna be a good fight here, man. All Cornetillo fights are always fun to watch too. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Harley thought the next last fight was gonna go over one and a half rounds, but um fucking Priya is so dangerous, so I'm gonna close it, um you're taking the next two fights to start round two. And Rose money line, that's not bad at all, man. No, that's not bad at all. That's honestly not bad. That's pretty good. Dancy said I'm literally a demon tonight and pick. Seven and one, bro. You're fucking killing it, seven and one. Good shit if you're seven and one. I'm like five and three right now. I lost from the last pick with the Puello. Um Shanti said I'm picking crafty bully Q decision. Yeah, that's what I'm picking too, decision. Ernie, we said, well, technically, Padilla can, did mix it up. I mean, like, he rocked him and clubbed himself and really didn't need to take him down, right? But his ground and pound is nasty, dude. I mean, Puello's, like, ground game is not good at all. Like, I mean, Clive said, Billy owns a gym in, in my city I live I live in. Bro, Billy's a fucking really good guy, man. He's a really stand-up guy. So, I like Billy, but I really hope he gets it done here. But he's 35 years old, so I'm worried about the age, him getting older. Byron said, I got over one and a half in a parlay for this next fight. Yeah. I think it goes over. I think it goes over. I got over one and a half in a parlay. And we said, Emil Kessler, uh, is that? Uh, okay. Yeah, where, where is he on the gym at? Which gym does he train at? I'm not even sure which gym, gym that he trains at. He's got his own gym, right? Yeah, I think he's got his own gym. We got some good fights coming up right now. We got Cornetillo, Talbot. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got uh, Rehibas versus Nama Junas. We got uh, Carl Williams versus Junior Justin Kaffa. I mean, that's going to be a fucking sick fight. Kaffa is always life for a KO. Edmund Sabaji. Now, I think this is going to be a really good fight too, but I don't have any action. This one, I don't have any action on these uh, last three fights. I got action on the over two and a half in this one. And over two and a half in this one. I need Billy going to the money line. That's the only three bets that I have left now. Let's see how it goes, though. I hope it's an exciting fight, man. Currentillo fight throw was exciting. Currentillo is actually the underdog right now, so. I mean, he opened up at minus 300, so the money has been pouring in on uh, Jalal. He's been training on Factory X, right? Which is a really good uh, gym to train out of. Let's see what happens, though. I like the over two. I think it goes over two and a half either way. Uh, 
Yeah, I just said it. There's no chance anybody was profiting on this card unless the bet, the overs. Yeah, a lot of overs are cashing. And McLeod said it. Pirilla beat the shit out of him from the start. Yeah, he literally did. Pirilla was a fucking menace. He proved me wrong. I'm fucking, I was dead wrong on that one. Um, Jalal TKO. I mean, Jalal might be able to get a knockout. I mean, but I think on the feet, he's not going to knock him out on the feet. He's going to like really land like a flying knee like Barboza did. You're picking a crafty Billy Q decision. I mean, good luck either side you guys are on. Good luck. I just hope it goes over. I just hope it goes over. Yeah, that's the, that's the last leg on this fight card for me for the long shot parlay over two and a half rounds. Look at Pat in the back. Can we get some uh, Pat Burry emojis in the chat? Let me just get some Pat emojis, emojis in the fucking chat. <laughs> I gotta get more pad emojis. Uh, yeah, pad berry emojis. We got James Krause in there too. We got Makachev in there. We, we can, I got, when they let me add more emojis, so I'll add more, we'll add more emojis in the future. Right now, like I'm maxed out on the emojis that I can add right now. Damn, it sucks that me and fucking AJ both lost on the on the lock of the weeks. That sucks, man. We we got robbed on the lock of the weeks last week with the Guardian. Now we fucking lose with the underdog lock of the weeks. But uh, this is that type of card where, like, I wasn't really crazy confident. I was thinking about picking Trey Arden as a lock, but I was like, I've seen a lot of people picking uh, Hollywood, so that kind of gave me pause. But I'm not even that pissed off for picking them. But, uh, but it was a bad lock, though. It was a bad lock, though. Let's we'll see what happens next fight, man. I just hope it goes the distance, though. But Jalal does have some power, too. One thing I'll say about Jalal, he's not going to gas out like these guys gas out. Like, Damon Jackson was gassing out. Yeah, the chat was heavy in Padilla, but I locked him up, so I wasn't. I'm not gonna change my minute, mind at last minute. Now I, was, I actually thought he was gonna get it done, maybe like boring decision or something. Uh, Fire runs and fading. Ogden in his next fight. Uh, someone that has a uh, good take on defense, I think. I think he's gonna beat those guys that have a uh, decent take on defense. No, I, I I think he's gonna lose to guys that have decent take on defense. Let's get some Pat Berry emojis in the chat. We got James Crowell chilling with Pat Berry now. Damn. Is this James Crowell out there? Is uh, Pat Berry the watcher? Is he a watcher? Is James Crowell out there like joining the club? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he's like, he's got that uh, Ian Gary type of fucking uh, kink or whatever. But Jalal walking out with the headband. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's go. At least we don't have ads right now. They're actually we can actually see the uh, the uh, walkouts right now. I just said I would have bet Padilla if he didn't lose to the Kyle Nelson. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I picked Perlo's a lot because I was like, if you're losing to Kyle Nelson, like I don't know, you might he might lose to Perlo, but Kyle Nelson is fucking good. How good is Kyle Nelson? Kyle Nelson is the fucking goat. <laughs> Kyle Nelson is a fucking goat, bro. Holy shit. Law is only 27 years old, so, like, you can make a lot of improvements when you're uh, 27 years old. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. It's going to be a good fight here. Be a fun fight here. I think Jalal technically won against uh, Black Shear, in my opinion. I think he did enough to win that fight. Yeah, you should have bet Padilla, man. You shouldn't. You guys shouldn't have listened to me. I hope you guys didn't listen to me because I was fucking I had a wrong read on that one. Because Pulos is pretty tough, man. Knocking him out like the way he did. I mean, uh, submitting him. like That's a solid win for him. Is Pulo going to hang in the UFC now? I don't know. Like, If you, if they give him someone that's not tall, long, and rangy like Padilla, 
We might be able to do something in the UFC, get get a couple of wins in the UFC. If they're given someone that can grapple and like uh, has a long reach on him, he's gonna have trouble with guys like that. Emma Cliff said, "I saw he went to distance with Ige, which really swayed me." Yeah, I knew that he went to distance back in the day. It was like outside the UFC. Yeah, Ige would Ige would knock him out. Yeah, Ige is a different foot, different beast. He get cast for me last time, big time. I was like betting when he get man. He gets top two, man. He just got a fucking chin on him, right? Like, he just got one of the best chins in the game. I think the only guy to knock him down was uh, Josh Emmett, right? Knocked him down one time. I think uh, he gets chin is up there, though. Like, his durability is fucking up there, man. Dan Nigas chin is one of the best chins in the game. The way he knocked that um um what's his name? Um uh, I can't remember his fucking name right now. Yeah, the guy that he fought last time, that um Feely, yeah, under Feely. That was fucking sick, bro. I'm so happy with that one. Came through with the knockout on that one. Let's see what happens here, man. I mean Billy Q opened up a minus 300, so like a lot of people are not on, con a lot of people are confident on um, Jalal here. Let's see what happens here. How many fights we got after this? We got um, four more fights after this. Moroccan Devil. That's a sick last. That's a sick nickname, though. No. Let's see how this one goes, man. I'm excited for this fight. This is probably one of the better fights on the on the main card. <laughs> Herb Dean in the house. Let's go, Herb Dean. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. The fight is on. Nice leg kick there by Jalal already. Pretty cute got from Matt Favola in his corner. I didn't even notice that. Joel stays on the outside. He can probably outstrike him on the outside. If he stays on the outside. Corintillo's gonna need to stay in his face. Corintillo usually starts slow though. Nice leg kick there by Jalal already. Four minutes, 25 seconds to go in the first round. Jalal's moving pretty well right now. Nice body kick there by Jalal already. Nice leg kick there by Jalal. Nice leg kick there by Jalal. Corintillo's going to have to walk him down. He can't just stay at range. Nice leg kick there by Corintillo now. Nice open left there by Corintillo. Nice leg kick there by Jalal now. I think Jalal just wants to dance around him and just score points. I don't like the way Billy dips his head down. He's trying to, he's, that was close. The overhand right was close though. Nice leg kick there by Jalal now. Nice leg kick turned by, there by Jalal. Nice knee to the body there by Jalal. Bro, Jalal is moving pretty well here. Nice body shot there by Jalal. Nice job there by Jalal. Jalal is looking beautiful here, man. Nice teeth kick there by Jalal. I mean, uh, really going to Jalal though. Billy Kurntula uses his turns uh, slow though, but he's getting, oh my goodness, that's neither, but Jalal looks phenomenal right now. I think he's having trouble with the reach already. Billy Q is having trouble with the reach and uh, speed. Nice 
Nice job there, Bajala. Nice left hook there, bud. Billy, though. Billy trying to take him down right now. Let's see if he can get this takedown here. Doesn't look like he's going to get this takedown. Nice takedown defense by uh, Jalal, though. It's like, meet me in the middle. That's what Jalal is saying. Jalal is winning this first round right now. One nice overhand right there by Billy. That wasn't a knockdown. That was like uh, that was off balance in the in that one. Nice knee there by Jalal. That rock that rocked uh, Billy Q. Billy Q's got to be careful when he dips his head down. He's gonna keep getting caught with the knee. Billy Q's hurt right now. Holy shit, he's hurt. But he's swinging back though. Well, what is Billy Q doing right now? He just keeps dipping his head side to side. That's the way he got knocked out by. Oh, what happened? That was a trip there by Jalal. Jalal just fucking beating him up right now. Holy shit. Probably shouldn't have a match for Ola in this corner. Not <laughs> from Ola's bad luck. Jalal actually looks phenomenal right now, guys. Not looking for an arm bar, you gotta be careful, but Jalal is fine, he's got a really good jiu-jitsu too. 50 seconds to go. Nice grounded punch shot there by Jalal. Yeah, he's not gonna Billy current current is not gonna win like this. Jalal's moving pretty well. He's gonna take his back now. Oh. Uh, he's gonna survive though. Current is gonna survive though. It's gonna be 10 nut 10 9 for uh, Jalal. <laughs> 10 9 for Jalal. He's not going to give up like that. Currently, is not going to give up. Clean 10 9 for uh, Jalal, though. Bro, Billy just looks fucking slow out there. When we said, um, Billy can't just chase him around getting beat on like this, man. Yeah, the way he's fighting, like, normally he starts slow, so I'm not, like, too worried. But the way he's going right now, I mean, Jalal looks phenomenal out there right now. Jalal looks phenomenal right now. I might have this pick wrong. And taco fucking ad, I'm craving tacos now. God damn it. I mean, that's why a lot of money came in, and so I guess because he's younger and you got the speed advantage, like Billy Q just looks slow. He's just following him around, really cutting him up. Yeah, some machine was close, so yeah. But this card, I knew this card was gonna be tricky. That's why I didn't, I didn't put too much money on this card. But um, Billy Q are probably gonna lose this fight the way it's going right now. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do something. That knee was right on the chin, bro. I don't know how Billy Curntillo ate that knee. That was a big knee for uh, Jalal. I mean, my picks aren't that good either. I mean, I'm going to be 5-4 and four after this run, after this fight, if uh, Billy Curntillo loses this. Billy Curntillo's got to put pressure on him and walk him down. You can't let him, like, control, just run around, piece him up. Nice left hook there by Billy. No, he's just swinging. No, bro, he's swinging. Jalal seeing everything coming right now. Nice left hook there by Jalal. Oh, that knee is landing every time that Jalal throws it. Nice trip there by Jalal. Wow. He gets a take down. Jalal's looking phenomenal, man. Jalal's looking some of the best I've seen him ever look. Wow. Let me see Barber should be in Jalal's corner. Yes, he should be there. We need an angle on Macy Barber. Dude, Jalal looks phenomenal here. Like, he's going to win this fight. He's dominating this fight basically right now. He's taking him down. He's piecing him up on the feet. Like, currently has got to work his way back up to his feet. 
He's looking for like a triangle, but he's gonna Rao's gonna take his back right now. Probably gonna take his back right now. He's gonna take his back. Wow. Takes his back there. Damn, he got the submission. Yo. Wow. Law got the submission. Holy shit. He submitted Billy Cornillo. Wow. Wow. My fucking my sportsnet stream is like a couple seconds behind, but he subbed him up. Rear naked choke. Holy shit. Wow. He subbed him. I mean, that was like fully in. Holy shit. Jalal is a fucking dude, man. Holy shit. Jalal just subbed him up, man. Holy shit. Wow. You don't normally see Billy Cortillo get submitted out there. Like, wow. He just fucking broke him down slowly. He basically just beat him up and broke him down slowly. That's basically what he did out there. Wow. Big win for fucking Jalal, man. Jesus Christ. The line movement, I mean, the, all the people that were betting fucking Jalal, like, good fucking bet if you guys bet Jalal. Look phenomenal out there. I think Jalal is probably going to go on a run in the UFC. If you're, if you're submitting a guy like Cornpillow like this, bro, just piecing him up on the feed. Yeah, you're, you're going to have success in the UFC. He's going to be fucking, looks great out there. Holy shit, wow. He just fucking beat the shit out of him. That's crazy. I'm going to on the main card. Let's see if can go in the fucking... Might go on a fucking losing streak on the main card. I got Talbot next. I'm mean, the favorites are winning on the main card, right? Talbot is a favorite, so he might win next fight. Wow. Submitted him, bro. That's cra crazy. You had a Jalal by KO, bro. That fucking sucks. Just you might as well take in the inside the distance. It's not honestly like better when you're trying to take the KO, bro. What a performance by Jalal, right? He looks fucking some of the best I've seen him ever look out there. He looks special, yeah. Like he's just seen everything coming from um, Billy Cornillo. Yeah, great performance by um, Billy Corn. I mean, uh, by Jalal. I had the over two and a half in a parlay, but that one got dusted though. I didn't think the job was going to submit him. That's crazy. <coughs> Holy shit. He beat the shit out of him too. It wasn't really a close fight when he got it to the ground. <coughs> Let's go. We have three more fights, right? We got four more fights now? I think we got three more fights now. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw Jacob? I missed it, I think. I missed it. I just said last time on Parallels, but to be honest, we all deserve to lose trying to bet on this card. I mean, this card was tricky, right? I didn't really put a lot of units on this card, but I did have Billy Corn till the money nine and the overtone now, so I fucking took an L on those two plays, but it's all good. I'm excited for next week, man. Next week, we're going to be out there with a the crowd. Great performance by Jalal, though. <laughs> <coughs> uh, he looks phenomenal out there. The Andover's got dusted in that fight. Damn. It was minus 80. It wasn't even like something, something good. Wow. Yeah, Jalal is fucking good, man. I guess that's why all the money came came in on uh, Jalal. Like, you opened up at, like, plus 250. And you flipped to the favor. It was a good sign for the favorites on the main card, though. Let's see if you can hit the, I got the next three favorites to win on this card. <laughs> Let's do a poll for the next one now. This is going to be a good fight here. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fun card, man. I'm actually not like bored with this card. I 
I don't have anything on this on this card anymore. I don't think I have anything. I had though <laughs> over two and a half on this one. Next fight is gonna be uh, Telvid and uh, Simon. Hope he gets 50 G's. He should, he should get 50 G's for that. Next fight's gonna be fun too. Did Jaw call someone out? He should call someone out. Yeah, Billy Curntillo's never been subbed. It's crazy. Jalal just seems like a chill dude, man. I mean, that knees were landing all day from Jalal, too. I mean, at this weight class, like the younger guys, man, 35 years old, I should have seen it coming, right? 35 years old. When you get over 35 years old at, uh, at uh, 145, like, you just can't keep up with the speed of these young guys, man. Jalal is a fucking, he's got a good vibe to him. He's a really chill dude. You need this to go over two and a half rounds in this fight? Probably goes over, but who knows, bro. I mean, this, this fight card is crazy. Uh, he said I'm worried about uh, Tobin and Simon. Tobin is probably the... <coughs> Tobin is probably the better uh, boxer, but... Uh, I'm gonna have a better leg kick, so let's go, guys. Let's go. We have four more fights coming up now. <laughs> I'm four and five and four on picks on the card so far. Fairly positive. I mean, we had a lot of close line fights on this card, too, right? Jalal ran over to Jacob. I missed that, bro. Damn, I gotta fucking go back and watch it. Didn't Jacob pick, uh, I think he picked Billy Cornetilla too, did he not? Maybe he picked Law. I missed it. Damn, I missed it. I don't see it anywhere. I'm sure Jacob will post a clip or something. Byron said Jalal ran over there to Jacob. Uh, yeah, he's going to get 50k. That's a good finish. We don't have a lot of finishes in this card. But he is going to get a 50k for sure. And I think Jalal is going to get 50k. I don't know if Lima's... I don't think Lima's going to get a bonus for that. That was a DQ. Let's go. Next fight's going to be fun, man. We've got four more fights coming up now. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Four more fights coming up right now. There's a part of that we got dusted too. I had over in that one. So fucking submission from uh, Jalal. I didn't see that coming at all. Crazy fucking card though. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I picked uh, Billy Cortello in that one. I'm in the cliffs. Now you can see my picks right there. You see my picks right there, right? Oh, that's all my picks on the on the on the card. Apex curves are always fucking tricky, bro. Like Apex curves, like I like when there's cards out there with a the crowd. I love those cards out there with a the crowd. Same way much, way better. I'm honestly waiting for 300, bro. That's what I'm really waiting for. UFC 300, only three weeks away right now, so that's what I cannot wait for. I can't wait to do a fight like companion for UFC 300. Yeah, Jacob obviously is gonna post about it, right? Good on him. He's probably enjoying the fights, right? Then Jalal is trending right now. Yeah. That's submitting him. That's fucking crazy from Jalal. 
That was a really sneaky submission too. He just kind of broke him down, bro. He just broke down Billy Cortello. That's basically what he did in that one, in that fight. Just broke him down slowly. Some guy had a parlay on Twitter. Rosa submission plus thirteen thousand parlay. No, plus one hundred thirty thousand parlay. Julian Rosa submission, Trey Arden points, Fernando Padilla by submission, Jalal by points. Damn, bro, he got fucking burnt on that points from Jalal. He would have won forty-seven thousand dollars on thirty-six dollars if he just cast Edmond Sabajin by this isn't. Yusuf Jalal fucking burnt him though with the with the submission there. That's crazy. Look at this, like this crazy, right? You guys see this, bro? That's fucking insane. Holy shit! Forty-seven thousand dollars to win on a thirty-dollar bet. I hope he cashed out, man. I really hope he cashed out, cause I'd be fucking pissed. That's crazy. Nate Brown said Jason Gates he has had a uh, zero real title title wins though. I mean, he's fought Habib, right? He fought Habib and like um, Oliveira. But you're right though. You're right though. You got you got the beam of title though. The beam beam of title. M D G said that you're not hungry. I ate, I had a bunch of food before I went live. I'm gonna be eating after I go off live. I ate, I ate it on like six o'clock when I before I went live. I mean, he said I'm gonna die for Rose wins and flips off Jacob. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. That'd be fucking funny. If uh, Rose was like, like, fuck you, Jacob. That'd be hilarious. Let's see who wins this next matchup, man. I'm going with the uh, Talbot in the next one. This isn't for Peyton Calvin, plus 175. I think Peyton Talbot gets it done here. Minus 160 for Peyton Talbot to win here. I'm not picking any more underdogs on this card. Last two underdogs burnt me there. Billy Q and, um, um, what's his name? Um, uh, what was the other dude? Um, yeah, Puello. Hey, bro, yeah. And DK said, uh, yeah, I'm not hungry yet. I'll be hungry when I get off screen, though. I don't see anything on Twitter yet. I don't see anything in Twitter yet. But I'm sad they removed Igor, man. I mean, I actually like Igor. I hope they bring him back. But when you do something like that, it's tough, man. They're not going to keep you around at this level. You know, people biting people's fucking arms off. I'm just checking Twitter right now. <laughs> the memes of Igor Severino are funny though. Just hilarious. I 
Sorry. This curve's been very unpredictable. Yeah, I mean, this this apex curve is always tricky, bro. Millie said, "Yo, boys, I fucked up big time. What happened, Millie?" Yeah, I guess I imagine Toby loses. He probably uh, could lose here. I'm not confident on uh, Peyton. Like, I'm definitely not confident here. Because I do respect uh, Cameron Simon's skill set overall. Uh, and it's that, um, I feel like they should should have, should have not have booked uh, just right now. I mean, uh, they want to see who the next uh, prospect is uh, at the slate class. I mean, that's what they're trying to figure out, right? They already given uh, Cameron Simon some easy matchups. And they gave uh, Talbot an easy matchup in his debut. And think it's that, Talbot should have uh, had another chance to fight. No, I'm glad they're giving uh, him a step up here. Ernie B said I like Cameron, but uh, I bet against him. I got a bad feeling, bro. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really betting this one. Either either one. I don't feel too good about it. I got some bets in for next week. If you guys check out the tab for members, I, I got some bets in for. I got a parlay and uh, money on bet for next week. Run said, um, Igor Severino gonna switch back to the Silva after that one. Yes, yeah, this nickname is a uh, middle name is uh, uh, Igor the Silva Severino. He was going with the uh, Igor the Silva on his Dana White series by yeah, he can probably hide himself with the with the with the middle name now. Let's go, guys. Let's go. It's gonna be a fun fight here. Did Jacob paid 5k rate to watch the card? Freak us to C. Let's see how this one goes, man. I'm excited. This next fight. I can't wait for it. We're about to walk out right now. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited for this fight, man. Let's go. We got two young props right here. The guy from Move On Picks. You guys, you guys, you've probably seen that channel around on YouTube. Thank God I don't have ads during those walkouts on this fight. Hope we get some finishes in the next in the co main event and stuff. Like, we got still got Sabajin, right? I'm picking Sabajin by KO, but not putting money on that one. Simon so probably gonna win the first round though. Joe Hooper calls out Ogden. I want to see the rematch. <laughs> yeah, I think Joe Hooper fucking uh, whoops him. We'll beat him up. Cool. Simon's almost in Octagon now. Cast 50 50 in this one. 50% for Talbot, 50% for Simon. That's the, that's the type of fights that I like watching where no one's really sure who's, who's going to win. I 
Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. What kind of Waka song is this? <laughs> so fuck. Type of music I would listen to when I'm falling asleep or something. But what kind of Waka music is this? I can't even hear it properly. Yeah, 14 hours. Bro, bro, that's fucking crazy. 14 ads. Are you watching on ESPN Plus or like uh, stream or like, where are you watching it? Shouldn't be that many ads, right? I don't. I didn't get ads for this fight on Sportsnet. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Damn that plus five plus six hundred parlay would have hit if that Stephen Wynn had won. That's the only win. <laughs> That's the only fucking like that cost me on the long shot parlay. That's crazy. I just noticed that now. I should have taken the over one and over one. I probably would have would have been better than taking the money nine. You're watching on ESPN Plus. Yeah, I don't know. Like fourteen ads is fucking wild, bro. I get a couple of ads uh, between fights too. The favorites are two and zero on the main card. Let's see if they can continue the trend. I got paid in to win here by this season. I think it's gonna be a close back and forth fight. Yeah, I'm getting fucking sleepy now. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go. Here we go. The fight is on. Nice left hook there by Payton. Nice side kick attempt there by Simon. That was close. Side kick was close. One second, guys. Nice body kick there by Simon, though. Simon's moving pretty well here. Well, nice body shots there by Simon. Simon's landing some good body shots right now. Nice knee there by Payton, though. No, nice, nice overhand right there by Payton. Holy shit. Talbot landed a big overhand right there. He clipped him in that overhand right. Payton's got some clean boxing, but nice leg kicks there by Simon, though. Oh, my goodness. Stepping elbow. Oh, my goodness. Nice knee there by Payton. Jesus Christ. Nice left hook there by Payton. Bro, Payton's hurting him with some punches right now. Simon's power is not really giving him, like, uh, kind of thing. Nice left hook. There. Oh, my goodness. I clipped Simon, uh, though. Was he out bounce or did he get clipped? Tabo wobbled him there, though. Holy shit. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go here in the first round. Simon's, like, falling all over the place. Nice fly knee. Oh, my goodness. Fly knee. This is going to knock him out. Oh, my goodness. How is Simon still standing? He's hurt bad. Simon's hurt bad. He's trying to hold on right now. He's hurt bad. He's going to knock him out. Simon's Talbot's all over him. Oh, my goodness. Knee. Another knee. Oh, my goodness. Simon's got a chin on him, bro. Holy shit. 
That fly knee landed clean. Oh my, another knee to the body there by Tao. Oh, another knee. Those knees are, oh my God, it's going to be over. It's going to be over. Oh my God, he's just beating the shit out of Simon. It's going to be over. Referee's going to stop it, I think. Simon is still standing somehow, bro. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Simon pulls guard now. Oh my goodness. What is this little chin made out of, bro? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. How is he still standing, man? Two and a half minutes to work here first in the first run. Simon's got to stay on his bicycle, man. He's got to stay moving. Nice overhand left there by Simon, though. That's a. Every time Simon lands, it's not really doing much damage, though. Like, that's the thing. Nice head kick there by Talbot. Oh my goodness. Talbot's striking so clean. Holy shit. Talbot is like not even starting slow right now. That's, that's, that's the people, that's the thing when people are like worried about that. He starts slow. Dude. Jesus Christ, Talbot. Nice kick to the body there by Talbot. Nice stepping elbow over there by Talbot. Nice knee to the body there by Talbot. Bro. A nice left hook there by Talbot again. Nice right hand there by Talbot now. One minute, 40 seconds to go. <clears throat> Bro, how is Simon still standing right now? You got to get away from the fence, <laughs> fence though. That knee was right on the chin, bro. Like, oh my goodness. Fucking Simon's a Oh, man, spinning wheel kick there by Talbot now. Simon just eats it, though. Throws his own spinning body kick there. Dude, Simon's got a chin on him, bro. How does this guy... Nice left hook there by Simon now. Talbot just beating him up, though. Like, every time T Simon lands, it's just... The power's just not there. Maybe kicked him in the cup there. That's good for Simon, man. That's going to give him uh, time to recover. Holy shit. What a fight. <laughs> what a fight. What a fight, man. Holy shit. What a fight here. Talbot just beating the shit out of him here. Nice kick to the body there by... Uh, oh, nice head kick there by Talbot now. Oh, my goodness. Nice. <laughs> Another head kick there by Talbot. Nice leg kick there by Talbot. Nice left hook there by Talbot. Nice knee there by Talbot again. Cameron Simon trying to throw his own knee. Oh my goodness. Another combination there by Talbot. He's just beating him up. <laughs> yeah. Laura Sanko is right. He's just not respecting anything from Simon. Nice left hook there by Simon though. What a fight, man. These guys are... This should have been the co-main win, to be honest. This is the co-main <laughs> co win. This is probably the main win, to be honest. This is the fight of the night right here, man. I hope Dana White's riding the fight of the night check right here. Another left hook there by Simon now. Uh. Holy, holy shit. Take the at the end there by Talbot. Catches the kick. Yo, if you guys had the overs, like, um, I had the over in the parlay with the long term parlay, but it got fucking dusted with that over. I had the over in the corn pillow, so it got dusted. But um, if you guys had the overs in this one, like, damn, bro, like, Society. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Talbot's beating the shit out of him like he owes him money or something. My goodness. Talbot's like Talbot's a menace. And Talbot only gets better and better as the fight goes longer, too. <laughs> so this dude uh, landed over uh, 69 significant strikes in the first round, dude. That, that is unreal. And then I had the knockdown too. That is unreal, man. That is wild. Yeah, Talbot, I think he can put up a... It's too early to show, but I think he can put up a good fight against guys like uh, Mali. Like, his striking is actually good enough that he can hang with the Mali on the feet. Jesus Christ, man. That knee, I don't know how Simon stole <laughs> his feet, bro. If anything, man, Simon is fucking tough as you come, bro. These South African dudes, like, good luck knocking these guys out. Like, here we go, second on. No, no, another jab. Another knockdown. It's always going to be over now. Chris Simon is going to stop it. He's just grinding and pounding Simon right now. Time is out. It's going to be it's gonna be over. Oh, my goodness. Ty Tyone is going to stop it now. Grounded pun by Talbot. He's going to stop. It's over. It's over. 
Holy shit. Talbot by second on KO. Holy shit. He got him out of there, man. Holy shit. He knocked him out. Hayden Talbot is a fucking dude, man. He beat the fucking shit out of Simon. Jesus Christ. He fucking beat the shit out of Simon, man. Wow. That left hook, oh my goodness. That, that left hook was so nasty. That left hook was so nasty. Holy shit. That left hook was right on the fucking chin, bro. He was, it was like a flash knock, knockout. I mean, he could have stopped it right there. Chris Tyone probably should have stopped it right there. He gave Simon too many fucking chances, bro. He let him take too much damage. Chris Tyone, I don't know what the fuck he's waiting for. He should have stopped it right there, man. Like, he should have stopped it in the first round, in my opinion. Wow. That is crazy, dude. Talbot is a fucking dude, man. Holy shit. Let's do a poll for the next one now, guys. Next fight is going to be... Um, uh, next fight is going to be... Um, Sabajian taking on Dobson. I think Sabajian is going to knock him out here. Holy shit. Talbot beat the shit out of him, though. Tabot looked like a minus 500 out there. Like, this dude, like, I should have bet his money line. Like, I should have bet him over Billy Quinto. I don't know why I bet a 35 year old guy. Yeah, that's Sabajian. Sabajian taking on, on Dobson. Well, that is a crazy finish there by um by Talbot. Holy shit! Yeah, I like Simon too, bro. But he took to the Chris Ty lonely fucking take. Let him take too much damage out there. He said, "I hate Talbot. Worst stoppage I've ever seen." Yeah, that was a late stoppage in my opinion too. That left hook was fucking nasty, bro. Did it really knock his teeth out? I mean, holy shit. I think I don't know who's gonna be Talbot in the UFC. Like, until unless he gets in the top fifteen, like this dude can do it all, man. Crazy finish, yeah, that was a sick, bro. That was a sick finish there. MDK said, uh, him and Jalal could be the features, yeah. Jalal looked phenomenal too. Yeah, bro, Simon, like he should have the fight should have been stopped in the first round. Like, I am top fucking Chris Ty lonely, man. That was a late stop is. Yeah, he got fucked up, yeah. Alright, this is the next fight now, guys. Sabajian taking on um Dobson. I think Sabajian's gonna knock him out early. But I don't trust him enough. They're not gonna bet him because I don't trust his cardio. I don't think AJ Dobson's gonna be pushing him to the limits where he's gonna have a problem with the cardio. I think Sabajian can land something crazy and get him out of there. Let's see what Talbot calls off, man. That's a big win for Talbot, man. Simon's actually a good prospect. The Talbot is a... That left hook was... Oh, my goodness. Actually, his feet went flying out, too, right? Did I see just... I don't know if I've seen his teeth flying out, but I think I might have seen it there. That was a fucking bad stoppage, man. I mean, they need to hold uh, Chris Tyone responsible. Mustaf said, I need um, Edmund to win for my long shot parlay to hit. Let's wish me luck. I hope you fucking cast a long shot parlay. I think Sabaji is going to get him out of there early. Uh, I bet Talbot over Mali. I swear. Yeah. I mean, I would bet Talbot as an underdog against Mali too. Because I think he's got a good stylistic in matchup to give problems like to a guy like Mali. He's longer. He's long and rangy too, right? How tall is he again? He's like 5'10", yeah. So he's like just as tall as O'Malley almost. And striking is legit too. I mean, I'm glad they gave him a step up in competition against Simon here. Sucks for Simon, man. He's on a 2 fight losing streak right now. That sucks. He just got knocked out. Wow. No, that was crazy. 
Holy shit. Yeah, it's, that was a really bad stoppage, yeah. I don't know why why it took him so long to drop uh, the um drop the fight there. How long are we going to take till the next fight now? Guys, I'll be right back. I need to get out fucking. I need to go to use the restroom. I'll be right back in a minute. In like two minutes. I think we're going to, they're going to take a while till the next fight.
He said, my bad guys, I have to go to use the restroom. When I came back in a minute though, I didn't really see that long though. Yeah, I mean, we've been here since like fucking seven, so I knew that. Restroom break. Well, we're, let's go, we're back now. Yeah, <laughs> he said, use the cup, pick him now. I'm good. I'll pass on the cup. Um, He said, drop, drop that deuce, brother. All good. I think he said, I hope Edmund wins. I think he's going to win here. I don't think he's going to lose this fight. Well, I got to use my earbuds. I keep doing that. Better. My fucking head, head doesn't hurt when I use my earbuds. You got a thousand coral, bro. Let's go. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one, man. I think this one's going to cash. I think Sabajan's going to get a knockout out there. <clears throat> 10 bucks off. They don't really give you $10 off. It's actually still like $75. So I, I got the pay-per-view for $2.99 on uh, Sportsnet, and they give me $10 off. Still paid seventy five with the tax, like it's a fucking scam. There's no ten dollars off. Maybe in America you get ten dollars off because you don't have to pay tax. Yeah, guys, let's freaking go. I think Sebastian is gonna get a knock out here. I got Sebastian by first round TQ. I think he's gonna get a knock out here. If Sabaja loses to uh, Dobson, just cut him. If he loses to Dobson, just cut him already. Just cut this guy if he loses to Dobson. I don't want to see this guy refight again. Dobson's going to be fighting for Mark Coleman. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Coleman. The fucking goat. I mean, rest in peace, Mark Coleman's dog, by the way. Max, uh, Max better than Dalvin and Rose, bro. That's gonna cash, man. That's really gonna fucking cash. That's just fucking good plus money. Like, plus $2,000 for the parlay, bro. We're going fucking crazy, dude. Let's go. I'm here, so why wouldn't, why? <coughs> okay, let me, let me see here. Let me read this guy. Um, Amir said, why on the road, why on earth would you buy a pay-per-view? I have been watching UFC for five years and have never paid for a pay-per-view. So the reason why I get a pay-per-view because I'm watching, I'm doing a fight companion, brother. So I don't want to be like two minutes behind on a fucking stream and the, the stream's like lagging in and out and like sometimes it doesn't work. Like I don't want to do that, right? Like I'm trying to like do live stream. So I, I like sometimes like back in the day, I didn't used to buy pay-per-view. I used to just watch it through the stream. But I don't mind paying like uh, UFC fights, like UFC 300. That's, that paper is absolutely worth it, in my opinion. But, I mean, you don't have to buy the paper if you don't want to. But I don't want to have a delay, right? When you're streaming, like, when you're trying to stream along, like, you don't want to have a delay there. Like, if I have a two-minute delay, then I'm going to be, like, way behind than everyone else. Because there's already a delay during the stream. When you stream on YouTube, I think there's, like, a couple of half a second, uh, maybe, like, a half a minute delay. But, yeah, I, I get what you mean, though. I think I said I hope Edmund wins. I think Edmund will win this one. AJ Dobson is not good, in my opinion. I was picking uh, Trisha and Gore over it, AJ Dobson because that's the guy that he was supposed to fight on UFC 298. Sabajan walking out right now. <laughs> Let's do a poll. I forgot to do a poll for this one. Yeah, we did. We did a poll. <laughs> I forgot that I did a poll already. <laughs> That's <was> crazy.
Chadwick and Savage now 67%. We got Dobson at 33% in the chat. If Dobson wins, I mean, they got to cut Savage and just get, get him out of there, out of the UFC, in my opinion. I don't really want to see him in the UFC if he loses this fight. I got a bet on Aaron Blanchfield next week. Almost a unit on Aaron Blanchfield, money line. And I got a parlay. Al Gio to win, Matthew Swin as our underdog. Ruzi Boyev to win. And then I got Ruzi Boyev and Silva parlay. And I'm betting some underdogs next week. Not like crazy, not like putting a ton of money on it, but I'm betting like some slight money on underdog next week. So like like the underdogs, there's more chance of underdogs coming through on a card with the uh, with, with there's a crowd out there. We're gonna be out there in uh, Atlantic City. I can't wait for that one. Yeah, that was a one-sided beatdown. <laughs> yeah, Simon was landing some shots. He just doesn't have that power, bro. He just doesn't have power like the one punch kill power like uh, Talbot. That beat that left hook was so beautiful too. I really enjoyed that left hook. Like, I like Simon, but that left hook was fucking beautiful. This can be like this can be the highlight reel for fucking ages for the next two weeks now. <laughs> Let's go, Sabajin. I wish we had Bruce Buffer in, in, in the Octane. You guys know Jacob's gonna be going crazy for uh, he bus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. AJ Dawson looks like a menace, though. Bro, what's wrong with fucking? What's wrong with his lungs, though? You guys see those? You guys see his lungs? What the fuck is going on with his lungs? Yeah, Sabaj's lungs look like they're fucking, they're gonna pop out of his body. Let's see if the Golden Boy can uh, get on, get back on the win streak here. They, they're really giving him tough matchups in the UFC. Imava, Fuffy Hernandez, I mean, uh, like some other tough matchups. Bronson, who's a really good wrestler. I mean, Edge Dobson can wrestle. Like, he's not really a guy that's gonna throw a ton of ground and pound, but he can wrestle. Dawson looks like a fucking man. I mean, Dawson looks like a menace, though. This is ribs, yeah. Let's see how Edmonds approaches this. He's going to fight. Oh, nice. Uh, Dawson already cracked him. Wow. Three piece there from Dawson. Dawson might knock him out in this one, the way it's looking like right now. Dawson's hands are actually looking fast right now. Svajin just looks like slow. I mean, he just looks slow. Nice leg kick there by uh, Dobson. Svajin is not even throwing punches right now. He's trading leg kicks right now. So I don't like this the way Svajin is fighting. He's not fighting all right now. I don't, he's just like, he's scared to gas out, I think. Not a good sign for him. He already got rocked by Dobson. Now he's got to affect for his power now. Nice left hook there by Savajin, though. But nice combination by Dobson. Dobson looks fucking locked in, though. Nice left hook. Oh, nice combination there by Dobson. Dobson just landing the more damaging shots here. Nice left hook there by uh, Savajin. He's gonna lose to Dobson, it looks like. He's gonna lose to this guy. Oh, nice left hook there by. Oh my goodness, he got rocked. Sabajin got rocked bad. Dobson, oh, Dobson has him in the. Oh my goodness, he's gonna knock out Sabajin. Knock... Sabajin's about to get knocked out. He's got wobbled like crazy. He's gonna get knocked out the first round by Dobson. Oh my goodness, why is he. The way he's trading, bro, like he doesn't have the type. Oh, nice takedown by Sabajin now. Wow. He needed, he needed that takedown from uh, Sabaja needed that takedown, but he's got to do some work here. Dobson's not going to settle. 
Let's see if we can take his back. Sabajin trying to take his back right now. It was, oh wow, AJ just fucking gets to sleep. Wow. AJ gets to fucking sleep, though. Yo, it's just a fucking pit bull. Holy shit. It's just fucking good, man. <laughs> He's already leaking right Who's leaking right now? Is it Dobson leaking right now? Nice grind and fun by Dobson. Dobson winning the first round right now. Clearly winning the first round. And Sabaj is not really got that. Good. His cardio doesn't get better as the fight goes longer, right? He's looking for triangles now. He's going to get pounded out here. Thompson. <laughs> nice elbows there by Sabaj in the office back. He's just getting fucking manhandled now. Sabajan back up to his feet though. He's gonna throw something, he's gonna land something big here and hurt so Dobson here. He needs to hurt Dobson. He hasn't shown that he can hurt hurt this guy. He's trying to take Dobson now. He's gonna gas gas himself out. Bro, Sabajan's gonna gas himself out the way he's wrestling right now. He gets so tired. Like if he wrestles, I've never really never seen him wrestle in the UFC. He's already get, he already gets gets gassed up when he's striking out. A nice left hook there by uh, Sabajan though. Oh, nice overhand left right there by Dobson. Dobson has a chain and Sabajan doesn't have a chain. That's what it looks like here. Oh, so, forty seconds to go here in the first round. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Dobson got rocked. Dobson got rocked. He's gonna knock him out. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be over. Dobson's out fucking cold. Dobson's out. Grounded pound. Big grounded pound. He's out cold. He's out cold. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dobson fucking Sabaj did it, bro. Holy shit. He fucking did it, boys. Holy shit. Holy shit. He fucking came through with the first round knockout, bro. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, he needed that. He needed to fucking do that. <laughs> Things were not looking good for Sabajin in that one. Rest in peace, everyone. That bed fucking dobs and lie, bro. Like, that fucking sucks, man. Holy shit. Dobson just got fucking slumped out cold. Bro, Sebastian was actually looking good out there. <laughs> he was actually looking really good out there, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, Sabaj is a menace in that first round. You gotta be careful with this dude in the first round. Oh my, what was that? Was that overhand right that rocked him? Holy shit, he fucking knocked him out cold. Jesus Christ. Wow. <clears throat> wow. First round TKO for <laughs> Sabaj. <coughs> Let's go and miss that. Who, who had the $2,000 parlay? <clears throat> One second, guys. Y'all dogs have to do a survive the first round. And he couldn't survive the fucking first round though. What's the next matchup now? We got a uh, Coleman win coming up next now, right? Yeah. Damn, Dobson just got knocked out for the first time. Mark Coleman is embarrassing Dobson now. <laughs> That's the first time he's been knocked out too, right? Yeah. Like that's the way Sabajan was gonna win. It's just gonna go. This is gonna go longer. I was. I think Dobson might have won the longer fight. False guy said, uh, "Edmund usually looks way better than that in the first round." Yeah, usually he looks really good in the first round. 
I think that power from Dobson was giving him problems. DK Play said, LOL, let's go. Um, I thought um, I was fucked. Yeah, I thought you were fucked. <laughs> but let's go, man. You cast $2,000. Let's fucking go, Mr. Prime. I'm happy for you, brother. Um, he said, Edmund got rocked. Yeah, I was, I was nervous for you. I don't even have to do this fight. I was nervous for you, bro. I was like, is Edmund going to lose this fucking absolute scrub? Because I don't think Dobson's all that good. We actually looked decent out there. This Tim Clip said I got I got Rose money line still to go. Oh yeah, you got that one. I forgot about that one. Rose is gonna win, I think. <laughs> he said miss up the first round like two times badly. Yeah, I mean Sabajan was looking terrible out there in the first round. But this is the type of fight that he's gonna win. Right? Like when you're taking on legit guys that are ranked, he's gonna have a problem against guys like that. I think he was trying to fight at a slow pace. Like that's what he's trying to do. It wasn't really working out for him. Yeah, Mark Coleman's gonna disown uh, AJ Dobson now. <laughs> He's gonna disown him now. All right, guys, let's do a poll for the next one now. Next fight is gonna be um, Carl Williams. Uh, Carl Williams taking on uh, Tafa. I'm not confident in this one. Like, I think uh, Williams probably wins it done by wrestling. Though, if he wrestles, he's gonna get it done. If he wrestles here, let's do a poll for this one now. If he fights anyone in the top 15, I think he's gonna have trouble. <laughs> yeah, that line was plus five hundred, right? For you, I saw I saw you in the chat earlier. I had my money in the parlay. Yeah, you should have. I mean, I didn't like the way it was going. Usually, Savage looks very good in the first round, so I think that's why people are like betting on Dobson because he's rocking him all over the place. But good for Savage though, getting it done. He's actually still a young guy in the game, so he can definitely still put it together. Um, Chauncey said, I almost got my Edmund pick wrong. He, he looks so bad early. Uh, and he said, uh, Edmund chin is suspect, but he just needs to build his way back up. Yeah. His chin isn't that terrible. He just is like, he's just like trying to fight at a slow pace, I guess. Let's go, guys. Coleman went and Min went left now. Are they going to show Jacob or they don't? Flavor, we got Flavor Flav in the, in the fucking house. Flavor is a big fan of the UFC, man. Shout out to Flavor. And he said, just don't give him tough matchups. Yeah. Someone that's ranked. I mean, I don't think he's losing to guys that are going to be outside the top 15. Guys that can wrestle and won't fold. Like Dawson. Good win there. Good, great win there for uh, Sabajan, though. All right, let's talk about the next fight now. <laughs> They're probably going to take a while until the next fight, I have a feeling now. All right, next fight is uh, Williams. I know Tafa's a favorite underdog this week. Most people are picking Tafa here, 54%. If he keeps it, if he defends takedown, he's life for a KO for sure. Williams versus a Tafa. I'm actually excited for next week. The next week card is actually going to be really good. I mean, so it's good, Grammy. He said, uh, it's all in rules for me now. Yeah, I think Rhodes is going to win too. Prime Minister said, uh, damn, Talbot looked uh, fucking good out there. Yeah. Talbot looked 
fucking phenomenal, bro. Like, he should have been minus 500 the way he looked out there. Simon does, does, just doesn't have power like that. Tabu just a more skilled striker. Chauncey said I'm picking Tafa. Good luck if you're picking Tafa. You think that uh, Williams is kind of slow? He does stick to a game plan, right? Like, I do like guys that stick to a game plan. Not really a finisher, though, so. But I'm picking really, I think he's going to wrestle fuck him. I'm so upset that Carl Williams let's freaking go. Yeah, I, I'm picking him to win, but I'm not betting him, though. Brian said, um, who do you got, Who do you give Talbot next? I mean, feed him Dewey boss ride. Yeah, feed him Dewey boss ride. I think he would fucking knock out Dewey boss ride. I really hope they feed him Dewey boss ride next. And Nate Brown said, uh, fights have uh, been pretty decent uh, tonight, uh, better than last week, but uh, the last card turned out, turned out like shit as far as I'm watching it. Yeah. The way the Coleman win ended, ended, last, ended last week, I mean, battle, the Andalusa quit out there. Like, it was really fucking weird. I mean, that's Simon versus uh, Cowboy fight. I think that was the fight of the night, right? Unless we get a better fight on this card, I mean, that's probably the fight of the night right now. I think Talbot's gonna get a he's gonna get a 50k bonus for sure. Andrew said, um, I love you all very much. I respect you all, including Isa. I love I have to end my life to be on YouTube. Bro, what do you mean by that? You're gonna maybe you wrote that wrong. He said, um, I'm really sorry, and I know you're hurting as well that uh what I just done, I'm sorry to put you. Um what happened, bro? I'm just really confused what you mean by that. I hope you're not serious about that, brother. Nibran said, my life has been fine. I'm definitely laying off the rest of these. Yeah, I, I'm not betting these next fights. Um, I would have hit a plus 600 parlay, long set parlay. Fucking, the law didn't get a submission in the second on. If it just went over two and a half. But uh, that's life, though. Remy said, I'd like to see Talbot versus Kyler Phillips. This is way too quickly for Talbot, in my opinion. Phillips is like close to being ranked right now. Is he ranked right now? You think he's ranked right now? Give him Jameed Basra, in my opinion. Or Raymond Jahabi. I think he beats both of those guys. I don't want them to uh, hurry up with Talbot up the rankings. I want them to build them up slowly, like... Uh, remember clips so of what happened, Andrew? Yeah, I'm just sort of wondering, bro. Let's, let me know, Andrew. I'll clarify what, what you mean by that. Let's go set um, back to back women's main wins. The UFC has uh, too many cards. Yeah, they're just trying to fill up the contract with the ESPN Plus, right? That's what they're trying to do right now. Remember clips said, Are you a Ray? Yeah, uh, l let us know. Um, uh, Andrew, bro, let me let me know if you're good, bro. I mean, just just hang in there, bro. It's gonna get better. Just never fucking uh, don't be down on yourself. I have no clue what you're going through, Andrew, but I hope just hang in there, brother. We all got your back, if anything. Mustaf said, "I Talbot versus uh, Pedro Munoz to so get him, get him in the top five, 15. I think you can beat a guy like Munoz, but Munoz is still like fucking tough dude, man. He's still got some skills. It's too quickly, in my opinion. I want give him another two fights out the, outside the top fifteen. If he goes out there, finishes two more guys, like give him a ranked opponent next. Isn't Pedro Munoz still in the top fifteen, or is he not in the top fifteen anymore? I think guys like Umar would give Talbot props. Like guys like can wrestle nonstop. And McLeod said, what happened, Andrew? Uh, let's go said, uh, yeah. Ooh, holy shit, I'm fucking getting sleepy now. Grammy said, uh, yeah, he's ranked. Yeah, Pedro's still ranked, right? Yeah. Grammy said, if Bashar fights like he did last fight, Talbot would kill him, in my opinion. Yeah, the way... He was scared of to exchange in the pocket, right? But the uh, with the uh, Jalal, not Jalal. I mean, uh, Jahabi. 
If he's just scared to engage in the pocket with the, with a guy like Talbe, Talbe's going to put him out cold. Miss Salcedo or Talbe versus one of the upcoming Asian fighters like Tatsuro. Tatsuro, you mean like Asian fighters? Tatsuro fights at 125, though. So they wouldn't really match. They wouldn't really do that matchup. Uh, let's go set Talbe, Tato fight. Let's go. <laughs> Way too early, in my opinion, yet. I think he can be a title contender soon, though. The way his skill set is. I mean, knocking out Simon, the way he's knocked him out, I mean, that's really impressive. I mean, Simon's going to need need to lay off the social media for the next couple of uh, weeks. Because the highlight reel is going to be playing nonstop. Let's go, guys. Have your fight coming up next now. Sean Z said, I'm 8 and 3, and Gurry's 3 and 8. Well, this is a fucking tricky card, man. I don't blame him for being 8 and 3. That's funny, though. They got him, Muji. Um, uh, Mustaf said, uh, or what about Talbot versus Alex Perez? Doesn't Alex Perez fight at 125, too? He fought, uh, he was, maybe if he doesn't want to cut weight anymore, he used to fight at Bantamweight before. Like back in the day, I don't think they won't make that matchup. Man, Tatsuro fights at 125. Doesn't Tatsuro fight at 125? I'm sure Tatsuro Tyra fights at 125. He's a flyweight, right? I'm excited for next week, man. Next week's card is actually not bad. Look at next week. We got Blanchfield. I already have a play in Blanchfield money line. Uh, Bruno Sova in a parlay with the uh, Uzi Boyev, Aldio, Connor Matthews. I got Connor Matthews play on uh, as as an underdog of plus one ten. Pacheco. I sprinkled on Pacheco too, plus two fifty. This is the guy that fought Danny Silva on Dino Contender Series. Went to war with Danny Silva. Not a bad card. I mean, look at this card, right? We got some decent fights in this card. We're going to have a crowd out there, too, in uh, Atlantic City. We got Jandy Roba taking on Lupita Gardinas, too. Look at the fucking, look at the face on Jandy Roba. Like, how can you not love her? And who doesn't love a cross-eyed fucking chick? Colin Nelson's back. Colin Nelson's a fucking absolute chad. I think Bill Odds is going to whoop him, though, next week. We got Reese McKee, the fucking gold, taking on Chidi Njukwani. Reese, Reese McKee might win this matchup, man. If Chidi Njukwani has horrible gas tank. If he doesn't get uh, McKee out of there early. All right, guys. Next fight. Um, bro, where was we? <laughs> now, Kurt Williams taking on Justin Taffa, Batman Taffa now. That's the next fight card now. That's the next fight now. The top of defense, Tayton is going to be live for a kill here. Kami said, yeah, fuck it. Talbot versus Sugar. Yeah, I mean, I want to see that matchup. <laughs> I think we will see that matchup. Uh, it works up the rankings. There's some killers over there. Abandon it, though. He's going to work. He's going to need to work his way back up. Wiseman said, um, any chance Rose uh, and he bust goes to draw? Nah, I mean, he bust like... Uh, <coughs> Rose does have a lot of split decision wins, so the fight's going to be close. I have a feeling he might knock out Ahibas. <laughs> I think the kill is likely here. And Buckley looked like a monster against Morona, yeah. But Morona doesn't really have, uh, I mean, Buckley doesn't really have, uh, I 
I mean, Moroni doesn't really isn't really the best striker out there. Eh? And I picked Moroni to win in that matchup. That was a horrible pick. I actually picked Moroni to win by decision in that one. <laughs> Did I pick? Uh, I might have picked Moroni. I think I was picking Buckley. Then I changed my pick. I don't I even remember who I picked in that one. I think I picked Moroni though. Yeah, Martinez, Jonathan Martinez versus, but he's fighting Joe Jose Aldo right now. I must have said, I think 125 and 135 are basically the same. Uh, the fight to the, not go the distance is only minus 180. I'm hammering the hell out of it. I think this fight's not going the distance. I, I think I'm picked by this isn't though, but if Williams wins, it's not, hasn't really been finishing people in the UFC, so I'm not really crazy confident. Tafa has been finished in two of his losses, right? Now he's been knocked out once. Let's go, guys. Let's see what happens here. Listen, Tafa this isn't. I don't see Tafa's winning at winning at this isn't here. Tafa by KO is uh, plus 215. Tafa by this isn't. Plus 900. Holy, she's not getting a. I don't think he's getting a fucking uh, decision. I don't think he's getting a decision here. We never know. He might land the more damaging shots and get a decision somehow. Williams' most significant takedowns and decision plus 300. I don't think that's bad if he wins. All right, guys, let's go. Come on, we now. Let's go. Let's see what happens in this one. Let's freaking go. Two more fights left now. Joe Martinez as an announcer. Tuffo might knock him out early. I wouldn't be shocked if he does. Let's go. We got one more fight after this one. This could be a early fucking finish here. If Jakar Williams play around, plays around on the feet, he's going to get knocked out cold. He's going to need to wrestle nonstop. He's going to need to wrestle for his fucking life. Tafa has been knocked out on the feet, but Williams doesn't really have power like that. Let's go two more fights. I'm gonna get some food and then get some fucking sleep later. We have Herb Dean, yeah. We need a Herb Dean emoji too. Once we get more, like I think I need like a couple more members like to add more emojis, but I already have like over like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could probably remove one of the emojis. Let me know what emojis I said remove and we'll add another one. Maybe Herb Dean emoji. <laughs> That'd be funny, Herb Dean emoji. Like I wanna add the Herb Dean emoji in there. There we go. Tafa looks fucking big there. Williams better fucking shooter take that. Nice straight left there, uh, right there by Williams. So. Tafa's got some of the most power at heavyweight right now. Outside the rankings, in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Nice. They're swinging, bro. Williams is swinging in the pocket with this dude, man. Nice body kick there by Tafa, though. Bro, Williams better shoot a take. <laughs> He's better shoot a take. That's going to get knocked out cold here. If Tafa connects a, like a clean shot, he's going to put him out. Bro, Tafa's trying to line him up for a big left hook. Oh, my goodness. That rock. Oh, my goodness. That rock. Williams is rocked right now. He's going to get knocked out. He's rocked. Oh, nice knee. Nice take on by Williams though. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, this dude was playing around the feet and he got rocked. Now he's fucking now he's take, taking him down. Why was he taking him down early? Like let's see if Tafa can work his way back up here. Holy shit, he rocked him bad. That wasn't even a clean shot either. He needs to do some he needs to land some grounded pond. You can't can't just hang on here.
Yeah. What the hell are they talking about? What's the John Feld, Paul Feld they're talking about right now? Scissor? Dude. Williams, throw some ground and pound. Nice elbows there ground and nice by Williams, though. Wow, Tough is about to get up to his feet right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was thinking about. He takes him down. That's Garden Pond by by Williams, huh? This is gonna take the power out of uh of, out of him though. How fast live throughout the whole fight, fight for a KO, in my opinion. Because we've seen a, we can add one shot on Williams, you can, you can hurt him. <coughs> How do you score that first round, though? Like, I don't know, clue. William is trying to take him down again with a single leg. Alpha's doing a pretty well. Nice job, but nice takedown by Williams now. <laughs> William's going to win this round. But Alpha's still alive for a kill if he keeps it standing next round. Oh, nice up, up. Well, uh, that was a illegal off kick there by Tafa. <laughs> I was like, keep fighting, but that's a hard warning. <laughs> I fucking heard these funny, bro. <laughs> he was just not, he was just gonna fucking forget that he even seen that. Then he's like, hard warning. <laughs> Dude, this is turning out to be a fucking stinker. Like, this might good just go like this with your rounds. I hope that Williams gets a finish or something. Nice ground and pound there at Torres end by Williams. Williams gonna win this round 10 9. Yo, Herbs is fucking hilarious. Herbs doesn't give a fuck. No fucks given by no fucks given by Herb Dean. Ten nine for uh, for Carl Williams for the first round. Yeah, Williams definitely wanted back ten nine. Yeah. Herb Dean is the best referee. Yeah, I like Herb Dean. I like uh, Jason Herzog, though. Like, I don't mind Jason Herzog, too. I, I don't like Mark Goddard, bro. Mark Goddard has some of the most, like, early stoppages and, like, bad stoppages. Like, I don't like Mark Goddard. Did you guys watch that video that I mean, Mimigaru made on Mark Goddard? <laughs> that was hilarious. I watched that this morning. Let's see if Tafa can knock him out here. My battery is fucking running out of my earbuds. I gotta put my overhead um, ear, 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 headphones. I mean, I gotta use my fucking headphones now. Bro, Williams gotta be careful because if he trades in the pocket with a guy like Tafa, you're gonna go fucking out cold. You might go out cold any fucking second. I need to put my headphones on. Now. I need my headphones now. Oh my goodness. Big body kick there by Tafa. Big shot to the body there by Tafa now. Tafa carries his power late, so. 
Ingram's got to be careful here. He hasn't. He's not shooting a take. He's trying to trade in the pocket with this dude. Nice body shot there by William Zoe. Oh, nice trade right there by William Zoe. Yo, this is that uh, Tafa, like his brother took that fight and showed notice. Junior Tafa was supposed to be the one fighting him here. Tafa landed a nice left hook there. Tafa has been the one doing more damage overall. Williams got a short takedown here. Nice takedown entry by Williams now. Because he's got the single leg. Tafa defends the takedown though. Tafa just drugs him off. Good son for Tafa though. He defended the takedown there. Tafak might win this decision if he just fucking keeps it up here, but it's probably going to land a big shot. On the feet, Tafa's got way more power. Oh my god, that's left hook there by Tafa. Oh, my head kick. But he gets taken down. I don't know why Tafa threw that head kick. <laughs> wow. That's the only way he's getting taken down. Big shots by Grounded Pun there by William Zoe. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I gotta lay back for a bit, bro. This is a type of fight. I don't think we're gonna see a finish in this fight, looks like. I said it was good, Tai Tai. He said, um, it just loses this. The tougher brothers gotta fight each other and just in the UFC. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one minute 40 seconds to go here in the second on William just on top of him, throwing some pitter patter ground and pound shots. William's like too worried to let Tafa back up to his feet, so he's just trying to fucking lay and pray, I guess. Nice grounded pound now by Williams now, finally. Yeah, Tafa needs a knock in the third round. My Sportsnet stream is like, I don't know why there's a delay on Sportsnet. I'm at one minute right now in the second round. He's looking for a head and arm triangle here. I don't think he's. Good. he's I don't think he's, he's got the head and arm triangle. He's gonna be tough. No, he, he got out. Tough is fine. You got 24 seconds. Probably because they're in ESPN Plus, right? I don't have a ESPN Plus in Canada, unfortunately. It's gonna be 2018 Williams now. Put that ground and pound. Alpha's gonna need a knockout here. Has he ever gotten third on TKO? He's never gotten us knockout past the first round or second on. All but one wins. All of, like he's never gotten a knockout past the first like round in the UFC. All his knockouts in the UFC are first round. Tafa low fight. I don't know why he threw that head kick. He probably would, would have struck him or knocked him out if he just stepped on the feet. Williams is implementing his game plan, right? That's what you're supposed to go and do, man. He's implementing his game plan out there.
bro. This fight is so boring. Like, damn. I thought we were going to get a fun strap here. Let's go, guys. Third and final round here. Let's see if some top can make something happen here. Play great hand by Williams now. He's catching top over the left with left hand there too. Oh my goodness, big, big hooks there. Tafa rocked him, uppercut by Tafa. Oh my goodness, Tafa's hurt. Tafa's hurt. No, Tafa's not hurt. He rocked him. Williams is hurt right now. Oh my goodness, Williams is rocked. He's going to uppercut. Williams is about to knock him out right now. Bro, Williams better get this hate on. He's going to get knocked out of here. Holy shit. Tafa was about to knock him out. Oh, he's about to knock him out of here. Williams needs to take down with everything that he has, or he's going to lose this. He's going to get knocked out of here. Holy shit. Williams better fucking hang on to this leg here. Get the takedown. Why <laughs> he got the takedown? <laughs> Holy shit, he actually got the takedown in Tafa, bro. Tafa was about to knock him out there. He almost died, yeah. <laughs> he almost fucking killed him there. Holy shit. I mean, who's landed more damage, right? Tafa's landed more damage overall. He might give it to Tafa. I would be shocked to give it to Tafa, man. Alpha's rocked him so many times. Bro, where are the live odds right now? You guys know what the live odds are? Let me see what the live odds are. I'm just curious to see what the live odds are. Herb being telling him to work, so he's got to work here. Live odds are. Uh... Yeah, my fucking internet's not loading up right now. Herb being telling him to work right now. Well, Carl Williams is minus 1450 right now. He probably won the first few rounds, right? I think Carl Williams won the first two rounds. <laughs> Miss Up said my hurt, yeah. I would I would probably be like that too if I had money on this fight. He almost died. Yeah, that pretty cut like Tafa was swinging fucking big hammers. If Tafa gets back up, he might be live for a KO, but I don't know if he's going to get back up. William's just going to ride him out here, I think. This is what I was. This is why I picked this isn't because Williams like, I was feeling I was I had a feeling that he might not go for a finish because like, and Tafa like he doesn't want to get let Tafa back up to his feet. Right? When you're trying to go for a finish, there's opportunities that present your opponent to get work his way back up to their feet. So that's why I was like Williams probably just gonna hold him and try to clinch him. But I like it's not fun fight. We don't want to see this shit. I'm a big fan of Tafa too. I like I like the Tafa brothers. And they're both gonna lose this year now. He's got a minute to go here. Over just 90 seconds to go here for Tafa to work, make something happen in the feed here. How many takedowns you guys? Six takedowns? Ten minutes of control time. Well, Tafa has rocked him a couple of times. Race of fight. I mean, it's not a wrestling match. I think Tafa still needs a knockout here, though. Nice knee there by Williams, though. And he just he just goes for a takedown. Williams is tired too. Williams is exhausted right now too. He just, he's just trying to cross sniff. He's just trying to cross cross sniff right now. William just cross sniffer, bro. William's one of the best cross sniffers at heavyweight. <laughs> Damn, bro. Holy shit. What a fucking co man. Why was this the co man? Man, they should have kept Simon Hobbit as a co man. Man. I think the UFC was hoping for a knockout here. That's how they made this a co man. Man.
Okay. William's going to win 28 28, I think. Tough was exhausted at the end, too. Tough was 100% taking the defense. Absolutely fucking done. <laughs> done that. What a fight, Ray. Williams is fucking dog shit, too. He's tough, though. He's, he'll stick to a game plan. Holy shit. Scott, Scott, Scott said it. Um, I like top fight until he walks up, but these fatties need a reality check and get in shape for real. Yeah, you're right. You're 100% right there, brother. Uh, I'm a club said, I neither finished nothing but all their, but, uh, all their food. Yum, yeah. Fat get a KO or you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what it is. I have you in right now. It's KO or bust. Bro, I'm fucking take my headphones on. Off, I mean, I really hope they hurry up with the main win now. We just fucking sat through 15 minutes of fucking absolute <laughs> snooze fest. Oh man, Williams fucking got it done. This isn't for Williams. Really <clears throat> said the day of a fat man with power slowly ending as MMA. Advances, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the guys are getting smarter, right? I mean, Williams has a chin, it's fucking tough too because he got, he got a rock, almost finished. Top five, if he just had better takedown defense, he would have finished him there. Wiseman said, Uh, it's all it's all the taro. <laughs> Who's up? So that's good though. Fatty shouldn't be rewarded for uh, being slobs. Let's see the scorecards here for 928. Yeah, Williams. Yeah, Williams got it, 28-28. All right, guys. Next fight's going to be um, Nama Junas next coming up now. <clears throat> Let's go, guys. Main win time now, finally. Let's see what happens here in the main win. We got Doug Rose by second on KO DKO. <clears throat> he was hurt, yeah. Pasta. This <laughs> episode, they lay on each other and make fights boring, man. I mean, that's what wrestlers do, right? He's a wrestler, grappler. He'll probably do up his striking. He was trying to strike out there for a bit, got clipped, and then he went back to wrestling. Let's do a poll for the next one, guys. Poll for the next one. Main main time now. Let's freaking go. Nama Junas. Sipe Miochi, no fucking way. Just call Sipe. <laughs> yeah, no way. Just call us Stipe, dude. After a fight like that, you don't call us Stipe. Come on, have some respect for Stipe, dude. He wants to do a barbecue charity barbecue for a firefight. Okay, I thought he was really trying to call him after a fight. <laughs> That's crazy. Hook off, yeah, it's not a fight. I was like, no, he's calling us CP after a fight like that, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, main rain time now. Nama Juno's taking on a uh, Hebus. Hebus. Let's go. I got Doug Rose by KOTKO. I was picking this season. It might go the distance, to be honest. I'm not confident in this one. But I think Nama Junos can get it done inside the distance here. So you can also get a submission, too. So he's got some really good Renega chokes. I'm probably going to be KO. He busts his toss. He's got really good grappling, too. I really hope they hurry up with the main right now.
I'll make the next card picks video tomorrow. I gotta watch some tape tomorrow. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. That's the next matchup right here. Nama Jr. is taking on Hebus next. I got Hitag Rose by a second on TKO. I think she can get Hebus out of there. But I like Hebus as a fighter. I think she's fun. She's, she's one of like she's actually an exciting fighter to watch in WMMA. I don't say that for a lot of these chicks fighting in WMMA. Well, let's go. Main main time now, finally. Let's see how this one goes, man. I'm excited for this one. Barbecue sounds lit, though. I could go for some ribs. Yeah, I'm craving some chicken wings right now. Here's a... I'm probably going to order some. I don't know. If I, I got some food right now at home, but I might order some food right now. We've got some 24 hours places that are open right here. Places that are open 24-7. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. People on Twitter were saying, why didn't you stand and bang with Tafa? <laughs> I mean, would you stand and bang with Tafa? Dude, they can fucking put you to sleep in under a minute. Under, like, any second. I don't blame him for not standing and banging with Tafa. Boskak said, uh, Rose said, I've never left Trevor Whitman. Yeah. Pat Burry isn't, a, isn't that good of a coach, but I mean, he's still not, not that terrible, though. Maybe so you don't want to pay money to. I know a lot of these guys, a lot of these fighters don't like paying 25 paying money to the coaches. They want to save money, right? They probably want to save money overall. Millie said, uh, boss, uh, why, why did you see? Why did you see? I don't even know why. Boss, if you know, if you know, let me know in the chat. Vesco said, uh, let's get to the fucking fights. It's almost 9.30. It's over 9.30 over there. It's 12.30 over here almost. 12.30 a.m. in the morning. In in the East Coast right now. And <laughs> it's, let's cut Trey Ogden, Miles Johns, Carl Williams, then, then make new rules. <laughs> All right, so let's go, Rose. Uh, don't do pie for me. She has a habit of like letting fights slip away and the longer they go. And I guess that I have referees break up uh, and have referees break up when people lay and pray. He was landing some like pitter patter ground and pound, but it wasn't like crazy ground and pound. But you're just not trying to stand and bang with him. I don't blame him for not standing and banging with him. And he said, Carl Williams called us deep. What a joke. He called him out to a barbecue. It's not a fight. I was shocked at first, too. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Main main time now. Finally, let's freaking go. Make sure you guys hit the like button, guys. We need those likes up. How many likes we got already? We should have over, like, 20 likes now. <laughs> let's go with 36 likes you guys are fucking smashing the like button i appreciate the likes guys let's go she's saying i'm the best this looks this looks fucking ready to go man rose looks fucking confident here yeah thug rose looks confident here
Rose needs to him in. Yeah, I think she does. But uh, I think this fight, she's probably not going to need him. Let's go, Rose. For Jacob, he's there. They're not gonna show him show him yet, but he's there. Remember, imagine, I think they'll probably show him when uh, Amanda Hebus walks out. I'm sure that she knows that he's in Octagon. I'm not in Octagon. I mean, he's there in the cloud. We need Jacob versus Hebus next for the fucking title. Dr. Rose is fucking chanting that he's the best. Yeah, he spent 5k to be there, bro. Crazy, I mean, but he's probably enjoying the fight, so. Yeah, he's 5k for that uh, fucking sofa seat that he got. I mean, the guy likes him and he both. I mean, if you, if you got money like that, why wouldn't you spend it, right? First thing, I wouldn't spend money on a fucking Apex card. I'd go watch like a, a better card, like a pay per view or something. He both looks locked in though. Yeah, I saw the bite mark on, on Twitter, brother. I saw the bite mark on Twitter. That was crazy. Damn, that says you got fucking bid bonus. That's actually hilarious, dude. Holy shit. Is that a real tad? Dana White's gonna give him 50 25k? Bro, good fucking shit to Dana White. Giving him 25k. Wow, uh, good for Lee, my man. He actually got his you got you just made some money. Because that was one hell of a fight, though. He boss looks ready to fucking... Is that Moicano? That's not Moicano. I thought it was Moicano for a second. I'm tripping. Let's see if he boss can get it done, bro. She gets a win over uh, like over Rose. She's probably going to be in the title contention. MDK said if she loses to this woman again, she's got to wrap it up and go back into baby making mode. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's sick though. They, they know it's gonna give me money now. Bonus. Those those bite bite marks are not gonna go away. Those are gonna be there for for a long time. Ernie said Jake we're gonna be hanging on the cage. Are you okay, Hebus? Let's see, bro. I mean, I don't think Hebus is fucking. I think she's in this fight, man. If she doesn't get knocked out early, she's in this fight. Hebos is a fucking dog, man. I actually like watching Hebos fight. Rhodes is the better technical striker, so I think she's going to get it done, but it just goes longer, man. I mean, Hebos is a girl that can work her way into fights. Rhodes needs to get her out of there early, in my opinion. I'm fucking starving. I can't wait to get some food after this. Hope we get a finish here. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Of the evening. Let's go. Main wait time now. I'm excited for this one. I was saying thug no more. Yeah. (laughs) 
if Rose fights the way she normally does, she fought, the way she fought against Bailey, even in the second rematch, like the rematch, I mean, she's going to run through uh, e boss but Jacob's right there. You see Jacob right there. I finally showed him clean. I finally saw him now hanging that fucking with that Brazil flag. <laughs> Bro. Let's see what happened this one, man. Look at Padbury in the background. Let's get some Pad Padbury emojis in the in the chat. Padbury fucking <laughs> that's exactly how he looks out there right now. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. Padbury emojis. Padbury looks like such a fucking creep too. <laughs> Pat Burry got, got with her when she was like 16 years old, right? Or some shit like that. Damn, he busts 2 and 1 as a dog. Damn, let's see if she can go 3 and 1 as a dog. Chat's picking Nama Junis at 77%, and we got 23% on he bus. Look at Jacob, bro. Jacob's going crazy. <laughs> Jacob's, Jacob's got that hoodie on, too, with he bus fucking face plastered all over the place, all over the hoodie. He's got that um, Brazilian flag. I mean, like, imagine he bust knocked her out cold. Like, that'd be fucking crazy. You're never going to hear the end of it from fucking Jacob. <laughs> Yo, Jacob looks like a fucking menace out there right now with that fucking flag. Here we go. Let's see, he bust can start early. He normally starts late, kind of. He bus looks taller out there. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go. They're just filling out the range right now. He was like really twitchy. I mean, she's moving. Nice right left there by Rose, though. Nice left, left, right hook there by Rose. Bro, those, that head kick was close. Damn, the head kick was close from uh, He bus. Nice right left there by Rose, though. Rose looks pretty good here. Nice leg kick there by Hibas. Oh, nice right hand there by Rose. Oh my god, nice right left hook there by Rose now. Hibas is fucking bringing the pressure right from the start here. Nice leg kick there by Hibas. Nice spinning back kick there by Hibas. Hibas trying to take her down now. Rose sees the takedown coming. Nice right, right hook there by Hibas now. Nice leg kick there by uh, Hebus. Oh, Hebus doesn't look too bad here, guys. Oh my goodness, these they're swinging. These girls are swinging. Rose to tag team Pat Berry and bring him in here to beat uh, Hebus. <laughs> Both of them, Pat Berry versus Hebus, tag team matchup. And he busted tag team fucking Jacob. <laughs> we need to, we need to see that fucking uh, those uh, that matchup. He bust and uh, Jacob and Doug Rose and Padbury. Bro, he was looking clean here. Nice kick, side kick to the body there by He bust. Nice takedown entry by He bust now. Big takedown by He bust. Rose back up to her feet though. Nice knees there by Rose. If this goes long, it's going to come down to whoever wants it more. And Hebus probably wants it more. She hasn't made the money that Rose has made fighting in the UFC. So this is her first, first main win, by the way. Nice knees there by Rose. Nice knees to the body by Rose in the clinch. This is a competitive fight, man. He bus actually looks decent on the feet here. You see, yeah, he bus never fought five rounds before, but yeah, it's your first main man in the UFC. Two minutes to go here in the first round. Oh my god, that's swinging. Nice right hook there by he bus. Nice straight left there by Rosso.
He was trying to take her down right now. <laughs> nice takedown by Hebas. He's got the yo know, nice reversal by Rose though. Beautiful reversal by Rose though. Rose got to be careful here though. They were showing Jacob when they're uh, when Martinez was announcing Hebas. <laughs> <coughs> Ninety seconds to go to go here. I don't know who's winning winning this round here. I think Rose probably winning this round right now. <laughs> Jacob from <laughs> we we want pigs on YouTube. <laughs> Rose ten nine ten nine first run. I mean, those guys make a ton of money out out there. Yeah, those guys are making a ton of money out there and um, on the channel premium. They do the premium thing. They got like over a couple of thousand people premium members, so I'm I'm sure they're making a ton of money on YouTube and stuff too. Your real sports bet picks was good, man. I get to see you in here. He said, "Uh, surprise, Jake could afford it after losing all his money on C Rod." That was that was a bad decision in my opinion, but um, it, like C Rod's fucking tough, man. If C Rod was still fighting at one thirty five, I would have liked to see C Rod with the uh, Talbot maybe. Jacob's family's rich. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a lawyer. Fucking good for him, bro. Yeah, I think Rose probably ten nine here. Rose ten nine. Yeah, Rose 10 9. I'm just gonna go to Rose 10 9. He was usually loses the first round, so let's see if Rose can get out of there in the second or third round. Yeah, I would like to see C Rod versus Peyton, but um, C Rod move up to 145. I don't know if you can make 135. I, mean, I don't want to see Miss Wade and then go on to fight a Peyton. I hope that C-Rod just stays at 145 now. Well, that would have been a really good fight. Here we go, second round. That head kick is close, man, from Hebus. Well, nice straight hook there by Rose, though. Nice uh, left hook there by Rose. He was with constant pressure on her. The way they're fighting is probably going to go the distance, the way they're fighting right now. He was just kind of following her around. Nice right hook there by Rose now. Nice leg kick there by uh, He was now. Well, nice left hook there by Rose. Yeah, Rose's boxing is looking really clean. Nice body shot there by Rose. Nice left hook there by Rose. Less than four minutes to go here in the second round. Nice left hook there by Rose again. Nice another left hook there by Rose. Nice left, uh, right hook there by Rose. Nice spinning kick to the body there by uh, Hebas, though. She might go up top with a wheel kick or something. She does do that from time to time. Nice right hook of the top by Rose. <laughs> Three minutes to go here in the second on. 
Rose looks like she's getting a little bit tired right now. It's not, she's just fighting slow, I guess. He was just landing good leg, good leg kicks. It's going to give her a rose of problems as long as this goes. Nice uh, left hook there by right hook there overhand right there by Rose. Nice hate done by Rose and Rebus right back up to her feet already. Nice uh, knee in the clinch there by Rebus though. This is probably going to go the distance the way the fight is, this fight is going. Over one and a half was minus 420. Damn. That was fucking juiced. He was going for a leg lock right now. So not gonna, I don't think she's going to tap the knee bar. She's fine. Rose is fine. Not, Rose takes her back. He was went for a leg lock there and got taken down now. Yeah, Rose has good fight IQ. She's fought a really good, really decent opponent, right? Like, really twice. Uh, you want to do check twice? Like, since she's been at the highest level, right? She's a two-time champion, too. Like, that's not easy to be a two-time champion in the UFC. I think the first time she lost her belt to Andra when she got slammed on her head. Oh my, this upset. Oh my god, that angle. <laughs> One minute to go here in the second round right now. He was he just on her, on her back right now and just trying to look for like a triangle or something. She can't end rounds on her back, man. It's not good for Hebos. Nice elbow by Hebos off her back, though. You guys are fucking crazy in the chat. You guys want to know what it smells like? That's fucking crazy. Probably fish. Boskak said, I feel like Ebus is holding her own on the feed. Then this happens. Yeah, she's actually looking good out there on the feed. Well, she's getting rocked with better punches from uh, Rose on the feed. 2 nothing Rose. 2 nothing Rose, yeah. Ebus is giving up these takedowns. He can't give up takedowns at the end. Look at Pat Berry in the fuck. Look at Pat Berry's fucking head, bro. It's so fucking huge. Pat Perry. <laughs> I need a new emoji for Pat Perry. That one's kind of, you can't really see it clearly. Real Sports Best said, um, F G good call on his. Damn, bro, you're pissed off, man. I mean, that's, you got to blame Hamos for that one. I blame Hamos for, like, I picked Hamos, but I blame Hamos in that one. He, I don't know why he was shooting takedowns. I mean, he was, he was close to knocking Arosa out on the feed. Then he shot takedowns. I don't really blame Arosa in that one. Like, well, you can't really blame Arosa. Arosa got, got, got the job done, right? You picked a Rosa, yeah. Boss Gags picked a Rosa. Good, good, good fucking pick there. Four minutes, fifty seconds to go in the third round. This is just a try, like point fighting. Well, nice. No, that kick was close, though, for Hebus, though. That kind of landed. 
Bro, he's looking for his wheel kicks. He busted looking for this wheel kicks. Nice leg kick there by Rose now. Nice right hook there by Rose. Oh, nice. Uh, that was like a off balance for Rose there. She's fine. Four minutes to go here in the third round. Nice body kick there by Rose. That was a nice body kick. You can hear that body kick land on Hebus. Isn't the commentary sucking up Rose? I mean, she's winning the fight, right? Like, what do you want? What do you want them to do? Nice no, clean overhand right there by Rose. I mean, Hebus' chin is holding up here. Like, Rose is almost doubling her up on significant strikes right now. Landing the cleaner shots. Three minutes, ten seconds to go here in third round. This is me watching this fight right now. Come on, Rose. Just get her out of there early so you can go to sleep. Oh, nice left hook there by, by Rose. Oh, man. Holy shit. Oh. I'm so tired. Two and a half minutes to work here in the third round. Over two and a half just hit if you guys played over two and a half. Nice the right hand there by Hibas though. Nice spinning body kick there by Hibas. Come on, Rose. Put some combinations together or something. Hibas is landing more and more now. He was getting the takedown. So he got the takedown. He was just got the takedown. Nice scramble there by Rose, though. Beautiful scramble by Rose. Oh my goodness, that scramble is beautiful. Wow. He was just gets a beautiful scramble by He was. Now, he was is actually a really good looking girl. Woman, I'll say. I mean, she's older than me, so. This is a good looking chick, though. Is Hebus winning the second round here? Third round, I mean? Maybe. So I see, oh, she got the head and arm, head, head choke here. The bull choke here. I mean, she's trying to land some ground and pound here. It was going to be out of here though, soon. I think she's going to be fine. Nice job by Hebus turning into her, though. It's gonna be he bust now. This round's gonna go to he bust now. Good sign for he bust here. Rose needs to win the one more round in the last two rounds in the championship rounds. Nice elbows there by he bust. Big elbows there by he bust. Oh, the run's almost over now. Oh, it's over. It's going to be over. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. No, it's not going to be over. Dude, there's no TKO in there. There's no TKO, bro. Real sports bet. You got to stop trolling us, man. There's no TKO there. Like, it was, there's he's landing some ground in front, but there's no TKO there. It was almost, yeah. I mean, it was... She landed some clean ground and pound shots, but it was it was the close to being finished. It's two one rows right now, yeah. But I mean, Hebus can definitely win the fourth, fifth round. I mean, so Hebus might be live here.
<laughs> yeah, Pat Murray is fucking tweaking. T Bus is getting confident now, man. He must won that round for sure. Rose needs to win one more round. We're gonna say one, one, two, one, just to be safe. Here we go, fourth round here, championship rounds. He has never been in championship rounds before. Namayun is still favored to win here, minus 270. Holy shit, I'm getting fucking tired. I hope you get a knockout or something here. Nice straight uh, right there by Nama Yunus. Nice leg kick there by Hibas though. Nice uh, straight left there by Rose now. Nice overhand left there by Rose now. Hebus is looking fresher here right now. Oh, nice straight right there by Hebus, no? Big shot there by Hebus. Rosos have a habit of letting fights slip away sometimes. I think it's 2 1 right now. I think Hebus won the third, like the last round. I don't know what this guy that's scoring the fight is seeing, but maybe they're seeing it for a, for a Rose. Hebus is having more success here in the fourth round here. Hebus might fucking win this fight, man. He's looking like he's going to win this fight here. Rose is just not throwing enough shots out there. He's getting picked apart with the leg kicks now. I think Hebus is winning this third, fourth round right now. He must won the third round, in my opinion. He's winning the fourth round here, so. Rose is letting the fight slip away slowly. Ahiba uh, just, just looks fresher here with the better cardio, it looks like. Nice straight left there by Rose now. Bro, that head kick was close from Ahiba. Nice straight right there by Rose now. Rose looks tired, though. Rose is looking tired. She's trying to time a takedown. She gets a takedown on Ahibas now. Nice takedown on Rose with the Rose. Get that takedown. The only credit to Rose with one takedown? Wow. Well, the strike, significant strikes numbers are dead even now. Look at this. Significant strikes are dead even now, like 70 to 73. Rose has got more control time. He was just doing more work off her back right now. She's throwing more elbows and stuff. I should have bet the over four now if I plus money. I mean, the over four now was plus money. Plus money. <coughs> <coughs> Oh man, we got one more run after this. Thank God. Hmm. I'm fucking so tired, so hungry. I don't know how they're gonna score this fight anymore. I have no clue. Bro. 
I hope Rose throws some um, better ground punches. He's looking for triangle here. He was looking for triangle here. He's not going to get it, though. There's not, not enough time left. Rose is fine. She's just landing pitter patter shots, bro. Rose, come on, throw some ground and pound. Holy shit, I'm so fucking I'm falling asleep right now. He was with her hands up right now. Whoever wins the last round is gonna win the fight, in my opinion. I think the fight is dead even right now. I think the odds would be minus one ten on each side. He was probably I have a feeling he was probably gonna win that fifth round now. I mean, Rose does have 70 minutes of control time, but hasn't been landing crazy strikes on top. Let's see what happens here. I mean, he was might steal this fucking fight. I wouldn't be shocked if he steals this fight. That's why I said the longer this, this goes, it favors he because he stays more busy overall. You think they'll give it to Rose, around to Rose, but I felt like she did nothing that round. Yeah, me neither. She was getting pieced up on the feed before that takedown. Nice body kick there by Hebus now. Rose, she needs a big moment here in this the fifth round, in my opinion. Hebus is going to take it. She's going to want it more. Nice combination by Hebus here. Nice punches there by Rose now. He was just landing combinations right now. Rose is like landing one power shot and then she's landing one. Bro, look at Hebus is going all in right now. Like Let's see whoever, whoever wants it more is gonna win this fight here. Whoever wants it more here is gonna win. Nice right hook there by Nama Junos though. Fuck it. You think Rose is up three rounds? She could be, but you never know, man. I wouldn't be so confident, in my opinion. I think she won the first round, second round, and then she won the fourth round, maybe. I wouldn't be so confident, bro. Like, I don't know. Nama Junos needs a... I mean, people seem really confident that Rose is up right now. She might be up right now. Yeah, one, two, and four. Yeah, those are the rounds that I think. But she really didn't do much with the takedown, right? Like, takedowns don't really count for much if you don't do much on top. And Eba's got some takedowns, takedowns of her own, too. She so got, like, four takedowns. Last three minutes to go here, guys. Here's <laughs> a castle, so thank God it's almost over. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if Rhodes can get it done here. I'm fucking starving right now. I can't wait to get some food and get some sleep later. I mean, the card overall has been fun. I'm actually kind of enjoying the card. Just other than the main win here and the co-main win. Bro, it's 1 a.m. over here where I'm at right now, Eastern Time. Well, he was is actually out striking her right now, like with significant strikes. He was is out striking her in the fifth round here, man. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked to give it to Hebus in this one. Nice wheel kick there by Hebus. Hebus just wants it more, it looks like. He was just more busy here in the fifth round.
There's another spin uh, kick to the body now by Hebus. Nice right hand there by Hebus. Hebus is going to take it, man. I have a feeling Hebus is going to take it. I think Hebus is going to take it, I have a feeling. I don't know. I could be wrong, but... <laughs> Hebus is going to take a take the decision here. Rose trying to shoot a takedown, but... Rose looks tired right now. Hebus is out striking her now, too, bro. What are the odds right now? I'm curious to see what the odds are right now. I think Hebus might win this fight. <laughs> Hebus is plus 500 right now. Damn, they just they just locked the odds right now. Nice right hand there by Nam Namajunas. It's all good, man. You'll be back. Uh, I mean, a lot of people didn't have good good card this this card for betting. <laughs> nice right hook there by Rose now. I wouldn't be shocked if it goes either way, in my opinion. Let's see how the score this fight. You think it could be a draw? I don't know how they're going to score, right? I don't want to be a fucking judge in this fight. Yeah, it comes down to the fourth round, how they score the fourth round, because I think he bust one <laughs> third round. <clears throat> Rose did really didn't do much with the takedown, though, so I'm, I could see them giving to he bust. I really hope that Rose wins for you, man. Miss up, I mean, with uh, Miss up, I mean. <coughs> I think you had that parlay, right? I mean, with Cliffs. But uh, <laughs> Tobit and Rose parlay. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> I have no clue how I was going to score this fight. This could be a split here. <clears throat> They're taking some time for the scorecards. I hope that Rose wins, but who knows how they're going to score this. My family said if it's he bust and it's robbery, but they might give it to her because of her big money on Rose. Nah, he bust is more, but she's just, she was just more busy in the later rounds. Nama June is probably going to get it, though. This will be 20, this will be 49, 49, 46. Rose, probably Rose, yeah, Rose. Rose is going to get it. Let's go, man. I mean, good win for Rose, man. I wasn't too sure. <laughs> I wasn't too sure she actually fucking won. Yeah, but damn. I wasn't too sure, bro. I mean, I don't know, man. I've seen some crazy stuff in the on the, on the scorecards before. You can never be too sure with the judges, bro. All right, guys. She fucking got it done. Good win for Rose, I guess. That was a fucking tough fight, man. Amanda Hebus gave her a tough fight. Yeah, that one, two, and four, yeah. Hebus definitely, like, I was like, that takedown, I mean, I wasn't sure if that takedown was going to be enough to win that fourth round, though. That's the only worry, that's the only round I wasn't too sure about. But yeah, let's go, MMA Clips. I'm, I'm happy you cast, bro. Let's fucking go. Cast, you cast $2,000, right, on that parlay? Let's fucking go, brother. Yeah, Rose was landing the cleaner shots overall, but he was landing some nice leg kicks and stuff. He was just holding up, right? I mean, good for Nama Junos, though, getting it done. We went nine and um, 
Four-run picks, not bad, honestly, on a card like this. Not terrible. I lost with the... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, we won with Nama Junis, uh, Williams, Sebajian, Talbot, um... Bro. Is Rose going to be the rankings? He might be in the rankings, no. Lost with Corntello. Pillow fight. Lost with the Pillow. Won with Trey Ogden. Almost, uh, almost would have got a knockout if he just didn't shoot eight times in that fight. One with Johns. Stephen Wynn dropped the ball back. And that was Aaron's looked the best that he's ever looked in the UFC. Jelezniak over one. Lima one. Disqualification. TK will be a white mark. And a perk is one. So honestly, not bad on picks overall. The betting calls weren't great, great for this car, though. <clears throat> good, I mean, good, good fight by Hiba. So see, if he was tough. Credit to Hiba's man. I actually like Hiba's. So give Rose a tough fight. All right, guys. We're out of here now, guys. We've been here fucking long enough, I guess. Yeah, um, honestly, not bad on picks on a card like this. I, I was like, I, I picked Nama Yunus by decision at first, then I changed it to then I, then I changed it to knockout. I was like, she might be able to get knockout out, but she couldn't get the knockout, though. So she just stuck with the decision. But Williams, I mean, Williams, just boring fucking snooze fest decision. So Bajin, I mean, he he looked rocked in that first fight. I mean, first round, he was getting rocked by either Dobson. Uh, lucky for him that he was able to clip Dobson and put him away in the first round. Talbot, I mean, looked fucking great. I think Talbot probably had the best performance on the night overall. Um, lost with Corintillo, lost with the underdog lock of the week. Um, Pello is what it is. We'll be back with the lock of the week for next week. Uh, Trey Ogden. We won with Trey Ogden, Hamos. Last uh, submission got subbed in the first round. We hit the under one and off in that one. Johns cast uh, this isn't ticket. Uh, Steven Wynn got the bag. Lesnico. I pick flipped on this one. Lesnico will fight. But this is a close fight, though. So. Yeah, I mean, Muhammad Usman, I don't know why he wasn't wrestling out there. Why would Muhammad Usman not wrestling out there? I was really shocked that Muhammad Usman didn't shoot a single takedown in that fight. Really weird. But, guys, um, I'm going to give some shout out to some people right now. Uh, shout out to Nate the Brown again, bro. Nate Nate Brown's been fucking. He's gifted like over ten memberships on the channel, bro. Big shout out to Nate Brown. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate the support. And uh, we have uh, yeah, guys, AJ, are you gonna go live right now? I'll drop your channel right now if you're gonna go live. Uh, guys, AJ, AJ is gonna go live right now. Make sure you guys go check him out. Let me know when you get when you get the stream up. Uh, I'll send I'll send the link in the. You can drop the link in the chat right now. I'll drop it right now. Well, I'm out of here, man. I'm fucking way too tired. Uh, we've been here almost like, um, yeah, we've been here almost like seven hours at this point, like going seven hours. So fun stream, man. Um, I appreciate you guys all coming and hanging out with me. Millie said robbery. It wasn't a robbery, but I was like, maybe he was probably could probably could have done enough to win that. But I was like, I mean, but not a bad decision though. But he, I honestly thought he was probably could have maybe got a split decision or something. But if he just didn't get taken on the fourth round, so he probably would have won. Grimey, let's go Grimey, Grimey. <laughs> shout out to Grimey. Audius, Ernie B. Um, uh, Miss Happy MMA. Shout out to uh, Wiseman. That's the first time I've seen you, brother. Wiseman said good picks so you can pick. I appreciate that, brother. Let's go. Uh, Scott, let's start. shout out to Scott. Scott, Scott again. He said W stream, bro. I'm, peace, I'm out. All right, bro. Hope, hope you have a good week, man. We'll be back. I'll probably drop the next week's uh, picks video tomorrow, like maybe tomorrow during, maybe late late night tomorrow. And then uh, maybe, um, I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow, to be honest, because I'm going to be working on that picks video, right? I want to get that picks video out tomorrow. I miss up, said I made an easy uh, 400 tonight. I'm happy. Let's fucking go, bro. I'm fucking happy to cash in. Ernie said Rose is getting by on a scale because Pat is a garbage corner. Yeah. 
when Rose was uh, when Rose had Trevor Women, she was out there had kicking. Uh, Trevor Women is actually a really good striking coach, right? He's one of the best striking coaches out there. Ernie B. Saratas, he would be robbed, but um, a very close fight. Rose needs a real team, yeah. I really hope he goes back to uh, Trevor Whitman, but now that's Yvonne with Ted Perry, he's probably not going to go back to Trevor Whitman. Uh, Boss Gags again, he said, I don't know, I think Rose is kind of washed. Old Rose would have killed he bust. Yeah, I think she would have knocked her out if it was, if it was old uh, Rose. Good on her for still getting it done, though, right? Real sports said on that was 100% on purpose. The only way to make any real money in this uh, was to take Rose by decision, then by split or majority. Uh, yeah, we should have to remember clips again. Let's freaking go in the clips. Yeah, guys, go check out a fire round too, man. Uh, spur supporting the channel also. And we did a podcast for for this card on his channel. So, if you guys want to, we'll probably do another podcast next week, maybe if I get some time next week. But, um, yeah, Ernie B, shout out to Ernie, Ernie B, too. Guys, I'm out of here, man. Um, Hey, Ajis, are you going to go live right now? Let me know if you're going live right now, brother. Yeah, peace out. Uh, first of all, I hope you have a good night, brother. Remy said, uh, Nima got a tad of the boy Mark. Yeah, I seen that. That's hilarious. Like, he got that tad real fucking fast, eh? How long did it take him? Like, less than an hour? That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> yeah, I'm fucking still sick. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, I think I'm just gonna go live right now. I dropped his channel link in the chat if you guys want to hang out. I'm sure you guys are tired too right now, but if you guys want to go hang out in the MMA stream, uh, I just uh, really chill dude, really good vibe in the streams. Go hang out over there and shout out to Millie too. Millie, I'll see you in the next one. Millie, I'm out of here now. Fucking so tired right now, bro. And we'll be back. Uh, I'll drop the pics video tomorrow for uh, Vegas 80, Vegas uh, 90. I mean, uh, <clears throat> later, guys. Take it easy. Later.